Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to what is going to hopefully be quite a fun, fun uh, game today. I'm going to be joined by EP3O in just a moment. He's also streaming as well. Um, hello if you're joining me on Twitch. Hello if you're joining on YouTube. Hello everybody. EP3O is currently also streaming on YouTube as well, so you can go check him out. He is linked down below in the description if you're watching on YouTube, if you're on Twitch. Uh, good luck. So there we are. Um, we, what's going on? What is going on? Well, you might have guessed it from the title here, but we're going to be looking at and watching a tournament today. Um, a tournament with the prize pool of 8,500 United States dollars. Not Zimbabwean dollars, not something else. That's the current prize on the table. Do we have a competitor's list? I'm going to go through that in just a moment. We are going to be bringing in um, EP3O briefly. Uh, let's just check if he's ready to uh, come in. Because if he's not, then we'll just obviously have a chat. And also, make sure that you do get your beverages ready. It's going to be uh, pretty much a six-hour uh, shindig today, unless it finishes earlier. Why is that? Well... It's basically a death match where the last five players standing all get uh, some amount of the prize, which is pretty cool, actually. Mm. But uh, if your beverage is pre-prepared, that is fantastic. Pot Noodle Master, hello. It's going very good. Nice to see you back. Apologies about the desync. We ended up all desyncing yesterday as well, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. How many players? At the moment, there are... Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen players as it is. Um, I no, you can't become the crisis. Completely locked out. You can't even become the custodian. That's illegal too. Let's bring EP three O in. Good afternoon, sir. Good evening. Good morning. Wherever, wherever good you are. Everything. How uh, how is your chat doing today? I think my chat's good. Some, I'm good in chat, in Monty's chat. Spam it now. Right I now. Do, yeah, people in my chat are still still grappling with the fact that you've come to join us. They're asking questions like, is Total War allowed? The answer to that one is, is pretty much no. no. Um, um, oh, my chat is saying I'm good. Oh, Lord. Yes, everyone spam I'm good. Or, I don't, or don't. want Monty to see anything except for I'm good. Yeah, or, yeah that, Wait, that's a solution. Yes, I'm going to type it in your chat. I'm good. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, look, EP3 is good in your chat. Oh, the, <laughs> you, you didn't have to. Did, people, people, if, we're good. And There's, if you want a better stream, you can come over where I always ask you how you are. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're not fighting each other today, EP3. There's no need for this aggressive Wait, and not. hostile behavior. No, no, we're co-hosting. Oh. We're co-hosting. I thought we were... Oh. For those of you who don't know, EP3O was um, the rambunctious um, uh, empire to my northeast the last time we met in the Entropy event that needed to be taught a thing or two about um, who his betters were in the universe. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, you were just killing all the Xenos, and that wasn't cool, you know? I think the words bring them to justice or something like that. Yeah, we're, well, we're, we're friends now, right? We're fr friends. <laughs> yeah. Just love us, friends. All right, shall we briefly jump into the lobbies, into the lobby, and we can actually, no, let's not go into the lobby yet. There's, not, there's, there's too much time. So it looks like we're going to be starting up the game, looking at the internal super secret chats in around 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, they're waiting on one, one other person. player, yeah, apparently. <laughs> typical, which, uh, typical. There's always one person. There yeah. we are. For those of you who don't know, I like bullying EP... I didn't say that. Somebody in my chat said, for those of you who don't know, I like bullying EP3O. This I is did true. not say that. I have talked to um, his parents and they've they've told him to be <laughs> nice to me. I told on him. <laughs> oh, I left that, Monty's that stream and then immediately true, got it? recommended this one. Well, welcome to the best stream in the history of... Pekasori, you've joined the better stream. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Let's uh, let's just go and just raid your chat for a moment because I'm not entirely convinced by this. That is an actual message. Uh huh. No, I'm not oh, saying it's not a message. I'm just. It just sounds like nonsense. You're banning them from your chat. <laughs> I'm not banning anybody. Um. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm. I'm excited. Are you excited, Monty? 
Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting seeing kind of the the bloodbath that's gonna unfold because you know I've streamed tournaments before, but usually there's not been any money on the table. And when there's no when there's money on the table, people do tend to act differently. I'm imagining there's going to be a whole lot of saltiness. Um, you know, we're going to be able to, um, you know, completely prepare an entire fish and chip dinner with the level of salt coming from this game. I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> um, I think my Discord audio just broke, so I'm going to have to just quickly leave the call. Actually, oh, wait. no one can hear you. No one can hear me. Yeah, no one can hear you. Wait, try talking now. Oh, I'm still talking. Okay, um, I fixed it. Okay. Good job. My OBS broke. Um, that's just one of the many technical difficulties that we'll get into and fix while we uh, <laughs> while we play. Um, I've seen a lot of people say um, that I'm going to lose a lot of money. I would like to clarify: this is not our tournament. Oh yeah, no, this all. is yeah, no. We we have we have not organized this. We have nothing. We are only co-hosting um, together to do a a stream to show the events that happen in the game. We are a completely separate entity from a legal perspective. Don't. Don't shoot us. It's yeah, nothing to do with us. It's not our money. We're here for a, just a bit of co-hosting. We're here yeah. for a good time, right? Yeah, the best of times. You're gonna see the the matters, and yeah, we're not we're not playing in this game. We are. We are oh, that's a good point. Yeah, no, we're uh, we are. Yeah, we're we're, we're co-hosting. We're gonna stream what will happen. <laughs> well, uh, speak for yourself. Uh, we're, we're, we're. I am definitely not good enough. I, I mean, maybe if we impose lots of rules and weird challenges, I might be able to. <laughs> do something but a normal game of Solaris so my chat I want to know how it's actually got organized this tournament right okay so how has it been organized there's a YouTuber called Aggressor who uh, streams Solaris content he is linked down in the description oh, yes down in the description of my video he is linked down there um, and he's organized it there's also a link to the website that he's put up or he's co-organized I think there's three organizers I'm not entirely sure um but uh, yeah, the rules should also be in my description as well and the website and all of that. Um, so yeah, go yeah. and look at that. We should go through the rules briefly, actually. Bear with me. That That's would be a good point. plan, wouldn't it? Then we can tell everyone what on earth is going to be happening. Um, ba -ba -ba. Yes, 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 yes. There's also a mod yeah, running too, isn't there? Yeah, so there's a mod, but it's mainly just like balance changes. It's not going to change the way the game's played, but a few things are different. I mean... From what I've seen, it's a lot of like luck-based stuff has changed, so it's a bit more reliable. Like anomalies. So winners are determined. Basically, four hundred stars, eighteen players. Winners are determined by the total number of victory points you have, ignoring tributaries, federation, or relic points. So that's like the vassal points, the federation points, or any relic points. So this is your economy points, your science points, all of those sorts of things. That's how they're going to be determining score at the very end. Um, what else is going? Galaxy settings. Well, tech cost is 0.75. Uh, habitable planet density, 0.75. Primitives, Fallen Empires, Marauders, Xeno Compatibility, and Caravaneers, they are all gone, off, nada, none of that no stuff. No primitives. No, they hate the primitives because uh, I think it, well, it, well, without the prim primitives, if you get a primitive planet and let's say you get 10 pops or 15 pops from that, yes, you can't do much with them for 10 years until, well, the stellar culture shock, but those 10 pops are still 10 extra pops that another player won't get in pop growth, so... That's it's, true. Uh, I it's like the randomness. RNG. Yeah, exactly. I like the randomness of it, but they are trying to cut down, I think, on certain parts of the randomness. Make it a bit this more is, of a, an eSport. This is pure skill gaming right here. Oh, 100%, no totally. No yeah. luck, yeah. Except the luck of the tech rolls and all of those types of luck type things. Um, yes, but otherwise, absolutely no luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, can, um, you can affect the luck of the techs, though, so I guess it's not full rng based like primitives like yeah, sure but for instance and... let's say you need to roll psionic and you don't get psionic theory that just that's get good i think that's just just get just good get, what that's just um, good. uh that, that's What's that's ep3's opinion Christ? not mine uh not not throwing that one out crystal infused plane is very strong that's why that is uh... is it banned uh, well, someone said it in my chat. I haven't read that. Grist Infused is banned. Yes, it is. Right. Oh, this Let's is get to right it. So, Somebody guaranteed... skip. Stop reading ahead. Spoilers. I didn't read it yet. Well, <laughs> guaranteed... Chat. They can read? <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed habitable planets um, 
two, obviously. AI difficulty, Classic. Commodore with normal aggressiveness. That's if someone drops out, I believe. High plane density, abandoned gateways, wormhole pairs, all set to one. Empire placement will be distributed. Growth settings, 1.6. Logistic growth and 0.1 growth required scaling. Any it's questions about that? Chat? standard, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's slightly different to the default settings, isn't it? 0.25 and, no, and 1.5 is the default, yeah, I think. Yeah, so this I is remember, actually... Right? Reducing growth required scaling benefits um, hive, uh, benefits machine empires more, and increasing logistic growth scaling purely benefits bio empires and, and hive empires, not yeah. machines because they don't have any pop growth. Uh, okay, so banned. What's banned? Banned origins, hegemony, lost colony, uh, common ground, scion, fiefdom, anything that spawns an AI. What's also banned? Clone army, unless you take the descendant path before 2230, then it's fine. And you also can't be a militarist. Prosperous unification cannot be taken with rogue servitor because at the moment that is that is insanely overpowered. Uh, really? Yeah, I rogue servitor, um... prosperous unification. It's just much better than anything else. You get just such an econ boost. Um, yeah, that's all true. those extra pops. All the total war civics are banned. Barbaric despoilers is allowed, but the bombardment stance itself is banned until twenty two fifty. Clone army necrophage and teachers of the shroud can choose between aquatics trait and the masterful, masterful crafter civic but cannot pick both at the same time at that's start, actually quite so yeah they that's can, uh, they can reform into it but well no they can't pick both oh, at the no, same time no, no, so, that, so you bad. can get rid of aquatic i suppose and then take masterful crafters but by that point yeah let's let's uh i imagine most of them are going to take aquatic over masterful crafters though masterful crafters is very very useful for the building slots those I extra bonuses yeah, but those extra bonuses on aquatic are just so good. Um, you also can't... Uh, rogue servitors cannot pick, pick the aquatic trait for their bio trophies. Fair enough. Crystal infused or crystal forge plating is banned. Become crisis is banned. Declaring a player the crisis is banned. That's sad. That'd be really funny. No um, emperor. Yeah, no emperor or custodian. Protons or neutrons or kinetic uh, battery artillery can be researched but not used before 2250. And you can't stop upgrading your ships until 2250.01.01. Nihilistic bombardment stance. That's banned until 2250. We've already mentioned that, though, because that is the uh, barbaric spoiler bombardment stance. Jump drives into the enemy territory uh, you don't fully control. That is both the space and the planet are banned until 2275. Jump drives on a colossus, and we're hoping to see some colossus. Isn't that right, ep 30 Oh, I love it when a planet gets cracked. Oh. Oh yes. <laughs> You're a bit of a sadist then, right? Yeah. <laughs> just a little, just a touch, just just the right Stellaris them out, right? Yeah, yeah, not too much, not a war crime amount. Just you know, get them to surrender. Well, it's not a war crime if there's no one to take you to court, right? That's true. Who are they? Who are they going to sue us with? They're all dead. Yeah, ex exactly. So um, the highest court in the land really is the court of the Colossus. When you get down to it, I suppose. Exactly. Uh, oh, you can jump the Colossus into its native territory, uh, the one that was there before the outbreak of hostilities. Ah, okay. So you can jump Colossus into your own territory even if you don't own it anymore. Okay. Oh. I wonder if that means you can jump the Colossus into neutral territory That's though, as well. That's what I was well. about to say because saying mm. offensively does just get rid of uh, like offensive territory but if you were just saying limiting it to your own space it would say only your own space so that's mm. a good question i think you could put it in neutral space we do have, i would um, hope so apollo is in my chat oh so. oh hello no stream sniping smiley face oh a uh, massive uh, thank you to space needed. taco 86 uh space taco 86 just did a super chat and told me to take his money thank you very much i will very appreciated <laughs> No, I'm joking, Apollo. I'm joking, you will. Um, yeah, so interestingly is the jump drives. Um, you're allowed to jump into enemy space mm -hmm. after 2275. So Yes, but not, you can't bring a Colossus with you, though. No, ever. you can't bring the Colossus, but you can just do the jumpy jumps. Um, and when we played, I think the last multiplayer we, game we played, it was banned the whole game. Yeah, right. So it, it does change the dynamics when you can jump drive. Like you can't just get a choke point and hold it forever. Because I find that's what we did a lot. Like just get fortress worlds. Interestingly, I think this does give a case for usage of a quantum catapult though. Yes. So you could, if you can't use the, if you build a quantum catapult, just the first stage next to your neighbor, like at the year 50 or something, 
um, which should only take you 10 years or so, then yeah. you could use the quantum catapult to throw your fleets and throw your colossus into the enemy space, and they wouldn't see it coming. No one expects a quantum oh. catapult at this level because it's just so, it's so, everyone everyone it's knows not, how bad good. it is. <laughs> but that means if yeah. you do it, you subvert the expectation, and suddenly, suddenly it becomes quite good. It really I could possibly. I've seen but, I've seen Ragoons do it before in one of these games. Yeah, he did it against me. It was so annoying. Yes. Yeah, did yeah. <laughs> Well, you but didn't deserve I had it. all my worlds of fortress worlds. Um, yeah, and you deserved so it. Let's it be was fair. Fine. So somebody in my chat's asking, how do people moderate these rules? So what I've seen, the mod does ban a lot of origins or just gets rid of them from the game. Uh, yeah. But the ones in game is more like player based, and there's a host, I believe. Uh, and... I think there's three. There's three administrators or adjudicators. That's aggressor, and then there are a couple of others that are also adjudicating with him i don't know exactly who the adjudicators yeah. are and who isn't so, so the game will be paused and it's more like oh you sent ships you cheated do you have to delete them or don't attack with them it's more of like a handshake rule than in the game you can do stuff about it but the host can kick you if you don't oblige and you'll lose eight thousand five hundred dollars potentially so don't break the rules there are some te there's some diplomacy team related rules as well. Let's go through those. So team size is limited to two players. If in case of war you have a situation you have more than the allowed sum of allies, vassals, you need to free some of them. You may choose which one should leave your team. Fair enough. Allies is non-aggression guarantees, support of independence, defense pact, federation members. Okay, so just a non-aggression pact counts as an alliance according to these rules. That is pretty stringent. Goodness gracious. Where are you seeing these rules on a website? Yeah, yeah, it's a document. I'll send you the Have you not? Let me just I don't send think you the I have link. the document. There's, 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 you don't have the document. It's, it's in the website. It's also in my description. So come and check out my uh, my oh, yeah. my description somewhere or other. Thank you. Uh, okay, I've got it. Thank you. Right, fantastic. So, also, Ally Mechanic uh, is only allowed for neighboring empires. There must be a path between the capitals of empires through allied or unoccupied territory wormholes can be used for pathing explanation an alliance was formed when you followed all the rules but then for some reason you lost route to an ally the alliance is considered legitimate and there is no need to worry the conclusion of a non-aggression pact with its subsequent break will be considered a hidden alliance ah so if you make a non-aggression pact with someone then cancel it that counts as an alliance Okay, interesting. So you can't change your alliances. No, you can, but um, you have to spend. You have to, you can only have one ally at a time because the max team size of two. So you can oh, change okay. it, but you can't. You can't have more than one ally. And having a non-aggression pact, pact, and then making and then breaking it to get a ten-year peace for those ten years, you still count as having an ally. Uh, that's a good workaround to like potential abuse. Well, I mean, it, it is and is. I mean, I think the, basically with this one, it's it, a lot of these rules prohibit diplomacy, I think is the best point here, the point to be made here. Or um, diplomacy is going to take a back seat to stabby, stabby, killy, killy. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be just more murder. I don't think we're going to see many diplomacy plays except for people just allying with someone who's strong next to them. And that's about it. What else is it here? So, engaging in diplomacy. Apparently, these things count as engaging in diplomacy. Voluntary subjugation or surrendering in the subjugation war. Guaranteed support of independence, defensive pact, federation, joint war. It is not considered engaging in diplomacy. Commercial pact, research agreement, involuntary subjugation to achieve war goals. Okay. You're only allowed to create AI vassals as part of a subjugation war or from planets conquered in a war with another player. You can't modify AI vassal tribute contracts from the default settings. All right. The allocation of vassals from the occupied territories is allowed. At the same time, building branches on AI vassals obtained in any way is prohibited. If you made a tribute or a vassal, you must wait 10 years before rebelling. Yeah, that's a thing. So if you're made into a tribute or a vassal now, you can currently just go, I rebel immediately. We're at war again. Uh, and then if your overlord has their ships in your space, which they probably do if they just beat you, all their ships just go boink and they're sent back, which means you can abuse that to basically surrender and then declare war immediately to kill the overlord um, and take their stuff. It can be deeply upset. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be, right? Yes. Specialized vassals are banned. Resource transfers, trading assistance, fleet leader transfer to other players is banned. Subject contracts can't have a loyalty value below minus two or requiring more than 30% of a single resource type. Keep them standard. Okay. 
There's a peace timer until year 30, as ever. The fabled year 30. Prohibited actual allied actions without forming an alliance. Simultaneous attack by several players on one. So apparently, if a player is attacked by another player, you can't also declare war on them. I'm not entirely sure what, how that's going to be enforced. We'll have to see as the game goes on. First contact war is fine. Offensive joint war against solo players is banned until 2250. And solo players can declare war on a team. So basically, you can only have 1v1 for the first 10, 20 years. I think that's fair, because you might just be locked in by yourself, and then you just lost. Essentially, you can't 2v1 at this level. Everyone's going to No, be... no. I mean, even a small change is going to make it difficult. Claim in line is going to be in effect. Um, so basically, that means you have to claim systems in line. You can't just claim the capital world when you go to war. That requires you to spend a bit more influence. Until 2250, at which point it is gone. No scorched earth. Basically, don't destroy your stuff. Um, we've seen it in previous streams. People have done it, but it's wrong. It's don't so do it. Toxic. It is so toxic when people do it. It's like, that's it. I'm losing, so I'm going to kill all my pops, and I'm going to move my pops away and let you kill them in the bombardment, and then I'm going to demolish my buildings. No, 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 no. It's like, okay. Okay, people. That's It's a game, isn't it? All right, so... Well, I say it's a game. Today, there's $8,500 on the line. Yeah, this, is um, a game. this is a life-changing <laughs> game. This is a set, this squid game for Solaris. <laughs> all right oh basically and that's all the rules oh wait no fair there's a bunch of fair play rules goodness gracious don't be a kingmaker yeah stuff like that all right lots of fair play rules goodness gracious me all the exploits are listed it's very in-depth i mean it has to be really yeah, you'd hope so. You'd hope so. It's uh, how many pages is it total? Uh, I can't count. It's eight well, pages. Well, good thing is, Montu, we do not have to enforce these rules. So, no, we don't. My chat are asking what what we what I think the most popular build is going to be. I don't know. I know. I think we're going to see some rogue servitors. Rogue servitors. Yeah, yeah, that's very powerful today. Um, definitely see some. Yes, possibly some hives as well. Uh, well, because hives techno necro, primogenitor hives. Oh, wait. Yeah. Or is he listing origins? Just random ones. Oh, I don't know if he's responding to us. Yeah, fair or enough. Or one of the players. Teachers of the Shroud's good. Oh, yeah, it is built. Yeah, Teachers of the Shroud's good, but isn't it very RNG dependent? No, no, no. Teachers of the Shroud is very not RNG dependent. That's the good thing. Oh, That's why it's Cheaters of the Shroud. Right? You, exactly. You get it already. Um, Phil, the link to the rules is in the description. Just go to the description. You'll see it right there where it says the rules. Um, it's written that as, was... uh, let's see, what's it called? It says, the full game rules can be found here, and then there is a link. It's, it's right there, I pinky promise. Um, How we doing what time does the match start? The match is meant to start in five minutes. The five minutes is the, the final, um, the final, the final cutoff. They were waiting on someone to, who's late, apparently, to join. Also, I've been asked questions about the prize pool. It's eight and a half thousand US dollars. There's a split pool between five players. So the top five players each get, I think, I think they get the same amount. Um, but actually, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't think they do. I think it's ranked on the, based on victory, is it not? Or I might be completely but wrong. I, but then how much does each player get? In that case, I wouldn't actually know. I thought it was just split each play. So each player gets $1,700 if they come in the I'll top five. Yeah, just yeah. ask. Good point. Good point. How does the prize pool work? There we go. <laughs> Let's see if we get good answers. So I'm looking through. One, two, three. I see four machines. I see at least two, three. I see three lithoids. Three lithoids? Interesting. Yeah, three lithoids. So they're probably one almost the certainly necrophage. No, it's no, it Conrad's shouldn't. Be. Playing a lithoid, it looks. I know a little bit about Ragoons, but ah, okay. So first prize. place, we got the prizes. Okay, do you want to read them out because they're pretty juicy? We'll we'll start at the bottom. I think we'll we'll work our way up. You know, get some hype going. So fifth place, we'll get six hundred dollars, which is still that is mental to be fair for playing a game of Slars. Then fourth place, we'll be getting nine hundred dollars. Third place, one thousand five hundred. And second, 
two thousand dollars for finishing second. So that, if you if you're quick at maths, will leave you. If you win this game, with three thousand five hundred dollars. So there is a lot to play for. Even just being the best in this game, you, you get like basically three thousand more dollars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so the difference here between last place and uh, fifth place and first place is um yes yeah, three thousand yeah two thousand nine hundred exactly goodness gracious me that's insane i should have trained for this <laughs> <laughs> well it's more than sponsorship deals yeah quite a bit isn't it um uh yeah i mean maybe 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 we should have joined but uh my channel are asking me if i'm playing and we're not playing no we are both yeah. um we're both hosting for you we're going to show off what is going on and uh and Try that and kind of some thing insight <laughs> into what why they're doing well why they're doing badly um mainly mom too i'm here ah. for a good time i'm thinking we're gonna have right we're gonna have got a bunch of hives i can see some portraits which i'm almost certain a hive we've got some hives we've got some necrophages we've got some machines it's gonna be rogue servitors for sure um we have no is playing it. well bio is quite in vogue at the moment it's very meta you know um because and also with this rule set you can play aquatic master crafters if you're a regular bio empire whereas oh, you can't do only that for... only banned for necro what was it necrophage uh let me In find the void, the... Was it no 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 clone army necrophage teacher of the shroud had to choose between aquatic or masterful crafters oh okay so Which regular bios I like these rule sets it's not because a lot of the times we only see one build or one or two Mm. But it's looking quite diverse, which is really nice. It's going to be, boring. it's going to be good, right? We got, I think we're about two minutes away from starting. Ragoons, get your bottom into the game seat. You're about to start, young man. You, you leave this chat immediately, and you go pay attention. He's not in the game, is he? No, well, he's in. No, he's in the game. He's in the game. Yeah, Ragoons is playing. No, but he's not. Oh yeah, he is in the lobby. I didn't yeah, he's in the him. lobby. He's right there. Playing with his... Well, we're not going to reveal anything. We don't want too much stream sniping going along, going on. Um, Comrade Truck is also playing today. Yep, you you did notice that chat. Um, he's 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 not streaming because, of course, you do need to... There's a lot of money on the line. People would be clearly worried about stream sniping. So we're also going to be trying to give you good insight onto what's happening without kind of... Because uh, there probably will be stream sniping happening at this level. Let's be fair. Unfortunately, that... That yeah. it's, it's it's a lot of money, you know. People are going to take We've the got opportunity. Lists, so um, I wouldn't do that if I was you. If you are still watching this, any players, we can see who's watching. All oh, right, uh, we got okay. We're I think they're about to about to kick somebody if somebody else joins. Where this is almost at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. We are one minute off. Never Ooh. watch an esports Forest tournament. Well, it's not many to be fair. Like there's a few that. Uh, like ISS host, but none for this much, this this much of money. It's uh, it, yeah, it's quite a prize pool, isn't it? Um, wow. Okay. Any predictions on um, any of the top five? Um, I don't want to make a prediction too soon. It depends, you know, it does depend on the spawns. It depends on the RNG. It depends on quite a lot of different things. It depends on who they're next to, you know. Um, yeah, there's a lot of luck that goes into this. That's why uh, some people get a bit salty at this game sometimes. Yeah, I, they, they, they have tried to remove some of the randomness from this to make it a bit more e-sporty. I think in some ways that's not necessarily the right direction to go in. Um, all right, looks like Daki isn't coming, and that means we are about to start. Let's, uh, we're going to take you now live to the lobby, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Welcome to the nervous. lobby. Uh, playing. Yeah, no, uh, we're, no, we're not. Um, here's the settings you want to repeat it at home. I'll just go up and show you all in case you, you've missed the rules readout, because there was a readout of the rules very briefly. Good luck to all of these players as well. Here they are. Here are the players. Um, as you can see, there are quite a few names you may have seen before. Unfortunately, it's not Monopoly money. Well, I mean, technically speaking, it's all Monopoly money. All money, Monopoly money. It is... Um, <laughs> it's technically Monopoly money, I suppose, isn't it? Because it's... Uh, what's the payout in? Um, it says yeah, somewhere. The dollar's not it. doing too hot. Isn't it? What do you mean? 
Isn't the euro like one to one with dollars almost? Anyway. Yeah, that's that's bad for the euro. Oh. Yeah, that's hey, the, that's the know, euro like, going down in value. I'm a child. <laughs> I'm <not really>. No, <laughs> <that's>... <laughs> don't ban me, YouTube. I'm not a child. Oh goodness gracious me! Um, uh, my chat looks like they're now betting. Now I'm never going to endorse gambling, but uh, if you want to bet, go for it. Um, anywho, there we are. Oh, we are. We've we got go. the load in. Here we go. Oh. And we're going to have 400 stars, uh, a match to the death. And a D-Sig. Oh, no, I'm joking. No, do, oh, do, not, <laughs> do not jinx it. That was heresy. We're going to... Don't do that. That was wrong. Right, here the we go. It is uh, 400 stars, too, instead of classic 600. All right, how are we doing? Let's wait till the end of the month, and then we'll see who starts off on top. Here is all of the players. How are we doing for spawns? It looks all right so far. No one seems to be on top of anyone else. Some players have quite large amounts of space around them. It does seem so. Hmm. Just trying to see who's the closest. We got the, in the top left. Oh no, they're not together. Are they're they? not actually very right. close. Yeah. There's quite a bit of a gap because of the way the systems actually wrangle out. I've never seen good distributed spawns before, but this is this is very good actually. This is pretty good. The only one who's going to be in with some issues is R is at the end of a long chain, which is blocked off by Silas PT. The only way R has of getting out is Silas PT. Um, right, let's check on the top builds at the moment. Starship Troopers in first place. I'm guessing it's. Prosperous unification. Fair enough. This is uh, Uku Kirill. And what have we got here? We have uh, Masterful Crafters Meritocracy. Prosperous unification. And they are stuck in a lovely little choke. This. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that is so nice. That's kind of. Two. That's very defensive there, isn't have it? Have you seen the planets as well? Yes. An ocean world, an Arctic world, another ocean world, just beyond a tropical world. And why are we pause? We might be getting a rehost. R has a problem with his spawn. No, I think the spawn's pretty good. Apparently, R has a problem. R has a oh. problem. Only one world. R is so doomsday. Not if some people aren't called what they are. R is doomsday. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> We've got it, ladies and gentlemen. What? We have a rogue server to doomsday start. That is wild. Brilliant. I've actually shown people? this build off. I've got a, I've got a, I've shown this build off. I've used it in a 1v1. I don't know exactly. It's probably this. It's the same build. Yes, yeah, the same build. Okay, fantastic. So the plan for R is no one, no one is going to want to attack R. Oh, wow. Oh no, but this basically means now that, um, Ah. Oh wow. Well, at least he got a planet. He so no, 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 no. So basically, the issue here is right. R was secretly a Doomsday Origin start, and he wanted to keep that a secret. And the arbitration, the arbitration, just shouted it out in the chat to all of the other, to all of the other, um, to all of the other players. That is really so. Basically, a, a lot of what I was relying on here was people not knowing it was Doomsday. Because that, that means if you know they're Doomsday, the way you play against it is you just build armies and you go, well, I'll just defend. I don't need to fight you. You'll die. But because of this now, that means that the Arbiters have just cucked, um, to, to quote people on my stream, Doomsday here. And uh, sorry, uh, uh, and that is the tune. Eight and a half, you know, that's three and a half thousand dollars possibly down the drain for him. That's, um, Doomsday isn't banned. No. This is this is sad. That was uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting choices. So Starship Troopers here, another tropical. Wow, look at this. So Uku Kuril, who's really great with econ, little end, uh, starting space here, and then a tropical world, tropical world, continental world, ocean world over there in the other direction. Probably won't get here, but there is a tropical world. So like eight, uh, six insane. worlds. Uku Kuril's got some great start there. What are we? The new number one is. Rogue server to remnant here. Let's take a look. Yeah, what's their start like? Oh um, wow, singularity. Oh, I was actually dragon. looking at Badubu, and singularity has ocean world, ocean world, Arctic desert, and an arid. So like six worlds around. And sorry, singularity. Is about. Here be dragons, rogue server. To, yeah, that's a choice. Here be dragons. Basically, why is it good? Well, it gives you a defensive dragon. Here's um bubbles the magnificent. 
Uh, everyone, if you could pay your respects in chat to Bubbles. Um, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, this is going to give you some fantastic um, defensive abilities at the beginning yeah, of the game. It's not like it's weak, that dragon. It's about, I don't even know, I was trying, like 50k, is it? Or? No, it, it, it takes about 15k of targeted ships to kill it, if you know what you're doing. But it's worth, in theory, yeah, for, sorry, it is worth 40 or 50k, something like that, you're right. Um, yeah, but if, if you want to heavily counter it, you can kill it with a lot less, but... I don't think you want lots of And there we are. Things. R is already ahead here. Uh, and what they've gone with Lithoid. Yeah, this is... Oh, poor R. Poor R. He actually got... He's using a Corvette. To scout. Maybe this is yeah. part of the mod. Because nobody else is doing that. Except <gasps> no, I tell you what he's doing. Look at his edicts. Oh, He's triggering I, crystalline actually, sensors yeah. every now and then because, oh, this is very smart. So his oh, lithoids is... have scintillating skin, meaning that he has some rare crystal income. He's bought one per month, and then he's triggering and turning off crystalline sensors, allowing him to forward scout <laughs> with his ships. That's that's, so a, that's a big brain thinking right there. So uh, also Jojo is also doing this, I believe. So only two people in the game are... Oh, no, wait, no, he's not. He just has a ship. Interesting. He's using a ship to follow the science ship. Um, I'm not. No, sure no, the, the science ship is being followed by the construction ship. Oh, unless you're talking about someone else. Do you R or someone uh, else? Jojo. Jojo, Jojo. Oh, that is probably because he's going to be a uh, progenitor hive build. Yes, he is. So you need to tugboat your. So every ship gets the minus fifty percent sublight speed. Even oh, your regular no. ships, unless oh. you send. Because you check that ship out, you'll see it's an offspring ship. Yeah. Okay. I've actually mm -hmm. not used that origin yet, which is weird, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So it's quite cool to see that some military ships are actually useful now, because usually you just recycle them. Uh, and that's why everyone else's fleet power is zero, is they've just... I feel really out. bad for R here. His entire game plan, I'm sorry, I just got to go back to this though. His entire game plan revolved around the fact that he's doomsday and no one would know. And... Yeah. And the moderator went, oh, oh, oh let, uh, there's a Doomsday player, and just said it out loud. Yeah, because Comrade said check <sighs> the um, yeah, check the origin, but he didn't say it could be Doomsday. He exactly, just... he just said check. He just said check. Oh, that was next level. Bad. All right, Ragoons is coming up on top now in, in number two. Let's see what Ragoons is playing with. He's running He's minus 120... Running. Um, 120 energy credits? That could be a problem. Well, it won't be. Spam selling sell to private collectors, though. Um, it's on cooldown. Ah. So I think he's just... How did he get so many so early? Uh, I don't know. He's so found his guaranteed that. pretty quickly. Let me check. He's got Precursor Cyberx, but he doesn't have any of the, uh... His power is really yo-yoing. Every time he's able to actually buy all that stuff, his economy shoots to the moon. And then as soon as he's not able to buy it, it falls down into the dirt again. It's um, it's quite a thing to see. But uh, so he's, let's see, he is, uh, here be lucky. dragons. Possibly with those relics, yeah, possibly. Here be dragons, masterful crafters, parliamentary system. Okay, yeah, and he's got his parliament up straight away, so he's pumping out extra unity. He's also Ooh. making them happier. He's playing with, you might have seen this build before, minus the Here Be Dragons, but um, Fanatic Egalitarian, yeah, we've seen this build before, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Egalitarian build, isn't it? So how has he got the faction straight away? Because, so they made an update to Parliamentary System. Factions now spawn day one, oh. meaning that this is one of the best ways to get unity as, um, as a regular empire, as a bio-empire. On top of that, he's now getting plus 10% happiness to 21% of his pops. He hasn't turned on Encourage Political Thought. I hope he does turn it on because it's free yeah, and it would shift more of his it. pops over to being um, egalitarian because it, it increases the chance they move. Interesting. I I don't know a lot about this game. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, it sounds like you've missed out on a little bit of the recent meta changes. I didn't think they'd been that big, but apparently there has been some big shifts in the meta yeah, the last few months I since you last played competitive. I did that. Um, mm. That's interesting. That's quite cool. I'm being told that Giltanus, who's playing the Attack of the Dead Men, is running no mi miners. Okay, he's running Corporate Death Cult Clone Army. Interesting. Mega Corp Death Cult Clone Army. We've not seen this before. Earth has 
Miners at the moment. Okay, Jern Saxe, it seems like he's got miners. <laughs> but he's going to be getting rid of them, possibly. He's buying lots of minerals. Um, okay, interesting. He's got the, his first planets coming up as You've got to pause. Forge? Oh. Revolt day one. <laughs> Let's check out what is going on for the Rule mule. Break. Uh, yes. Let's just signal the rule. Someone attacked with a corvette is a rule break. That was Cold War, which we all know to be legal. <laughs> oh, no. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he got slaves radicalizing day one. On whose uh, planet, sorry? Oh, the mule. Yeah, the mule has got... So this is really going to hurt his build. Minus 20 stability on this world. This is going to completely, really hurt him. <laughs> it's not going well for... Uh, Some of the players, people. yeah. Cold War for guaranteed systems is apparently banned. That was the issue. Right, okay. Ah. Uh. And I'm assuming... Let's just check on R... Yeah, R was f uh, doing some stuff up here too. Which player is this? This is Silas PT. What's Silas playing with today? He's going to be coming up against R. He's playing Cheetahs of the Shroud. So he has Psionic, Meritocracy, Masterful Crafters. This is a pretty standard teacher's build. Oh, Jordan's saying, no, it won't hurt him much. He can get rid of it easily. That's a good point. He could get rid of it easily. He, the mule could get rid of it immediately by simply freeing all the slaves on this planet. Yeah. And he did that. Uh, That's what he's done. He's now done that. Yep, you're right, chat. And he did do that straight away. Because <laughs> you can't have slave uprising if you don't have slaves. It's next level thinking. So doing a bit of min, uh, like micro with the chambers of uh, elevation. Is he? Which sorry? Is that is that the mule? Yeah. So he's just disabling uh, on his capital. Just so and then enabling or oh, he's disabling the entire thing. Yeah. Also, those jobs aren't that good. You know, yeah, you're you getting. You want it to actually convert. Exactly at the end of the, the ten year cycle, isn't it? So you just got to remember to actually turn it on. <laughs> on the tenure. I think it still activates even if it's disabled. But yes. Oh, uh, we've got a new number one. Oh, now Singularity's back. Someone in my Twitch chat, hi Mayo Love, um, or Mao Love even, sorry. Uh, May no, Mayo, Mayo Love. Um, you didn't read latest patch fit, question mark. He had 0% chance of radical on Necro origin on guaranteed planets. Well, I'm sorry to break your bubble, but there was a radicalization on this world, which uh, was a guaranteed necro planet. So it's nice that you that they might say that in the patch notes, but what the patch notes say and what actually happens in game, it could be the mod, but I, I don't expect it to have changed that, to be honest. Mm. Um, I've seen a lot of masterful crafter meritocracy builds going on. The new number two. Masterful crafters is just so up there at the moment. It so, is. so in. So what we got... Prosperous. Hibby Dragons, Prosperous Unification, another Rogue Servant of Remnants over there. Uh, clone Army. So this is an interesting one to look out for. Uh, Giltanus is a master of the corp of the Death Cult Clone Army thing going on. This is going to be interesting to see how that works. It's such a fun build there. Oh, he's Mega Corp as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jojo is Progenitor Hive. Neural Network Aesthetic. Let's just check out his pops. He's gone with Intelligent over um, having uh, the energy... Uh, what's it called again? I forget what it's called. Um, the yeah, one which swaps energy, energy to food. Does. No, you swap energy to food. Oh. What's that called? Um, my chat will remember what it's called, and they'll shout at me momentarily. I've just suddenly forgotten. I forgot. Phototropic. Phototropic. That's the one. Yeah. So he's not going with Phototropic. He's gone with Intelligent instead. I did the math with comment on this. We're now of the opinion that Phototropic is better than Intelligent to take here. Oh, really? Just yeah, apparently. So with this, yeah, so let's just jump into the planet. Oh, no, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, who was this? Sipper. Was it Sipper? Who was, who was I looking at? Jojo. Jojo, yes. Jojo's called his pop Sipper. Okay, I see. I see. Um, but anyway, try Solaris here. 
So if we just jump into one of these hive, the, the brain drones, right? They're getting an extra 10% from their intelligent trait, but they're already getting here 20, 34, 44% from all the other bonuses in the Empire. And that's just going to keep going up as the game goes on and you get more bonuses from stability, more bonuses from um, also from getting uh, the technology, reducing the effectiveness of that intelligent there. Mm, yeah, and the moment it's scale. Exactly. It's not it's not actually ten percent even at the start of the game, it's more like six percent, um, six and a half percent. And then that's not even taking into account the fact that you've got research progress increasing and as the game goes on, Empire Sprawl growing Empire Sprawl going up as well. On the other hand, if you take uh phototrophic, you can you halve the amount of food upkeep you've got. Therefore you can use you can basically get rid of all of your uh, food drones, instead have um the food exactly hydro bays exactly yeah. and then put just t if you just put two extra drones on the brain drone job that's better than having intelligent yeah you just get more so, yeah exactly it's it's so in my opinion intelligence not the not the go-to here you want to free the pops up that's interesting very interesting so intelligent bad <laughs> no it, it's not bad it's just it's, <laughs> yeah, it, just for that it build. could be better exactly yeah for that build what else have we got? Anything else interesting? Let's see. I see another Death Cult clone army, the Grim Council with Hattori Hanzo. They already got debated origin. Okay, they're pushing ahead. Another, so basically all the machines are a rogue servitor. Not a single non-rogue servitor machine. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We've got one inward perfectionist. Krilsch, is oh. a techno pavuk enjoyer, is inward perfectionist, teachers of the shroud, masterful crafters. That is cool. That is a cool this is build. Really cool. It's inward perfection isn't bad. Like, well, especially in a bad. game like this where the rules yeah. are no diplomacy. It's like, yeah. oh, I can't form, I can't form defensive pack. I don't exactly. care. And what Oof. you can notice if you shift to their edicts, they're really making use of that. Uh, Extra edict cap. Oh, have they already? They've already completed. They've already completed. Wait, what? They've gone. I don't know why they've gone. Wait, what? Oh wait, no, it is five out of five. It is five five. It's just they're just not they're yeah, just not they're not, not visible. I saw the same thing. <laughs> I was like, how did they complete this without blah blah? Them. But sure, Veneration of Saints, Capacity either. Subsidies, Peace Festivals. Peace Festivals is really good. That's basically an extra uh, five percent resource output at the end of the day, yeah, something like so that. They're actually really using pacifists to its full capability. Bear in mind they get less um empire sites, so they're not even above a hundred yet. And they probably won't be for a good while oh yeah, ep3o the... you need to read your chat there, there people you just got let me just help you out with that one sorry um <laughs> somebody just named uh, i removed the comment but somebody just name dropped you in the middle of my chat like full on just was like name blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what did i do i don't know banana man saying something about euros oh, and complaining banana, at you yeah, for not being intelligent <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Well, he and me. I, I'm deliberately ignoring him. Oh, fair <laughs> the enough. Yeah, the gas crate, yeah, we won't talk about it. Let's talk about Solaris, not the impending doom of Europe's economy. No, no, it's just the British economy that's having all these massive yeah, problems, help. don't forget. Um, I read a tweet the other day, yesterday or this morning, from somebody I know in the UK that was basically like, my energy bill per month was, or my energy and fuel bill was £170 or £130 a month last year it's already 400 it's going to be 700 in october 1200 by january of next year how do i find an extra twelve thousand pounds a year it's, ridiculous. it's more than people's mortgages by um, it's more than rent at that point like a mode like yeah i'm pretty sure the average rent is less you know than 1200 pounds a month in some places it is, it is just not good <laughs> but yes um solaris will hide my pain Comrade doesn't look like he's having a good time. No, let's take a look at Comrade. What's going on with him then? Let's uh, let's jump in. Comrades, what's he playing he's, with today? He's figured I don't out actually... he is cornered. But he's got some. He's got some nice worlds there. Yeah. Oh no! If he can get that extra world there, that ocean world. Yeah, that is nobody's world. guaranteed habitable world. It's Strongblog trying to take it. Strongblog already has four planets. Oh good god. Let's see who gets this first. It, it, Comrade it's needs to be get this. Borg, right? Because he's already well, serving. Strongborg's already serving. Yeah. 
No one knows how how important the rush for that is right now, though, I don't think. That, I think, is going to decide who wins and who... Comrade's already surveyed it. He's just not bothered taking it. Oh, <gasps> no. What's he no, doing? No. He's just... He's gone he's down south. Instead, he's like, oh, it's fine. It's AFK. Oh, no, it's is not. Is he it's AFK? Building, he, no, he's building construction ships. He could have... He, is he? Oh, it might be going now. Please. Comrade, please. No, no, he's, no, he's not going to get there in time. He's, he's just... He's just filling out the, that's, the um, system. That's... So, why is this bad? Well, Necroblog is, is Tropical World there as well. Good Goodness gracious me. So, Strongblog yeah. is going to have five or six planets uh, and, at that uh, point. Sorry. Yeah, yeah the yeah, attack of the dead man's going to have four planets as well. Yeah. It is yeah, strong only 30% habitable for him, though, so... No, but his, his primary species are Lithoid. Oh no, I meant um, the attack of the dead men. Ah, okay. Yeah, but, it, but it would be fifty percent for uh, for for the necroblog species or strongblog. Yeah. <gasps> what was that? Somebody's Corvette. I think that was comrade. Whose Corvette is that? Whose Corvette is that? I don't actually know. Um, that is. I can't see. No, that's the attack of the dead man. The Gilf Gilfanas. He might have just saved comrade without comrade even knowing. Let's uh, let's see where's comrade gone again. The... <laughs> this is insane. Oh come on, comrade, send it up there. He's not sending it. Ah. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He is in in the lead, and uh, I don't know how long that will last. People in my chat saying comrade doesn't need the system. Well, comrade's got three planets at the moment. On the other hand, strong blog has five and if he takes that six six planets versus three six planets wins yeah a lot of people are asking why aren't people going tech ascendancy it's actually not that good oh wait so at this level not being able to so if you don't well let's find someone who's completed their first tradition no like it's, it's not bad but at this level you need something faster and Right, okay, here we go. Ezra, yeah, Ezra has completed the first tradition um, executive figure. Why? So that he can use his edicts. But actually, to be fair, unfortunately, he hasn't... Ro okay, he's only just about to get capacity subsidies now. So yeah. he is a little bit behind. His tech is quite low, actually, there. what? What's going capacity on with... Capacity subsidies is real strong. And he's well. got a food shortage. Quite a bad one. Is Ezra of AFK? What's going on with this? Why... Wait, is this allowed? Do you know the um, mm -hmm. the automatic building? Is that allowed in this? Because I think they, uh, the attack of the uh, the dead man is using that because he has a stockpile currently in his sectors. Uh, sorry, uh, what's attack? What's he doing? Attack he of the has dead a local stockpile, so I'm presuming he's using automatic building. Giltana, sorry. Uh, what's what's right. he doing? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, he's he's using the automated. He's got a local stockpile. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with using automated. He's automating the factory world to get the industrial districts built and the mining world. Oh, that's lovely. It's lovely to see when you pioneer something that it actually makes an impact on the matter. Um, oh, brings a tear to my eye. I wish I watched your video before doing my video. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of comments. Just watch well, no, Monty's video. I, 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 the thing is, you were mess I, I remember before you released your video, you were messaging me um, and you were saying something along the lines of, oh, I've done this thing on on on, uh, on automation. I was like, oh, yeah, I was having harsh issues with automation. So I reached out to the dev and he helped me understand what was going on behind the scenes so I could understand what all the rules are. And then it worked quite well. And you were like, oh. But I've already... I just tried to do it like without looking at anything. Yeah. It's like more of like how it's for newer players, right? So I'm like, okay, how would a new player use it? And I was like, I have no idea. It's not that kind of, <laughs> it's not that intuitive. But yeah, it's actually quite interesting. So he's converting energy, right, into buildings rather than minerals. Yeah, well it's much it's much more efficient. Energy's easier to get. Yeah. And um he's stockpiling yeah. minerals. I guess that's so you can run a deficit when he when he changes over to having uh, his, uh, when he has all of his industrial districts going. Sorry. Yeah. So at the moment, Hattori Hanzo's doing all right. Let's just check Hattori's world. Clone army here. A lot of research. Two more clone vats. This world is, oh yeah, obviously the industrial world. And then we've got a little death cult world going on here. I wonder what's going to be put in here. Blood for the blood god. They must sacrifice them all. 
Has Comrade managed to get that planet yet? Or is it anyone? Which planet? Let's check. Let's take a look. That planet is Comrade's at it's the moment in front there. with YOLO. There is what's that? Is that a science? Is a science ship in there? Giltanus is surveying it. Oh, God, oh, oh! Look, yeah, there Comrade's is one construction yeah. ship. Well, Stroblog is thinking about it. He's got a construction ship so close by, but uh, hasn't maybe taken it yet. Maybe they feel like it's an act of war if they take I it. I think. I think maybe. No, no. Here we go. Giltanus is coming up with a construction ship. Maybe Giltanus is going to push across. And is this? That's a science ship from Comrade doing automatic surveying. I think Comrade's got his three guaranteed, and he's just gone. No, I don't need more. Which I yeah. actually think is not like that's he's living inside the box here, and he needs to expand out. Otherwise, he doesn't realize it. But Strongblog, who's outside the box and has more worlds, is gonna is gonna have more of a good time. Unless Comrade rushes them down, I guess there is like a a cost to having that will before it pays off. Well, not if you simply use it for pop growth and just move the pops to your capital. Yeah, that's true. Or, or, or let them automatically resettle or, or anything like that. You know, it's never act, it's never bad to take a planet, no matter even if it's at zero percent habitability. It just it's it's like not if you want to build up that planet. Um, and it's much better to have it at full habitability. So what does low habitability actually do? Let's just double check that for everyone. So re increases amenities usage. At low number of pops, that doesn't matter because you can have turn on colony. Increases the pop upkeep. At low number of pops, doesn't matter. That's only one or two extra pops with like 40% more or 50%. Reduces resources from jobs. Well, if you're not producing anything, that doesn't really matter. And it does reduce pop growth speed by a maximum of 25%, which while bad, it's not that bad. Um, you know, still having pop growth here on this world of plus 2.5, even with minus 35% from habitability. Yeah. So you just gotta just gotta move them off. Doesn't How is the Doomsday doing? Have you had have have you checked in on the Doomsday player? Uh, who's that? Ah. Oh, he is. He's forward settling worlds. He's for look at this. He's got on a colony ship. So everyone's expecting him to just die, right? But it's not going to happen. Why is that? Because he's colonized other worlds. How's he doing? Right, so his capital is doing fantastically. He is ramping ahead on science here because all he's done is replace things with research labs. He also gets massive bonuses to his mineral and energy credit output, as well as alloys. And that negative modifier to habitability is completely irrelevant because he's a machine. I bet he's also already moved over to, yeah, he's now a manufacturing pro focus, which is going to further increase the output of these researchers. Um, oof. That is that is incredibly strong. If you got those, if you got the planets, you can find a planet. But you will be well, able. To he's got. He had a planet next like, to him. Really. He's already got yeah. a planet next to him. He's called and it he's University, a... and he's forward settling. Who's that? He's forward settling towards Ukukaril, who Ukukaril kind of had his own little space. Well. Yeah, and I think he's going to go and try and grab both of them. A size ten. The size nineteen is much better. The, oh, it's oh, high gravity and hazardous weather. Okay, so the habitability doesn't matter, but that extra building cost... Um, okay, the extra building cost, whilst bad, is kind of offset by this lovely plus 20% from uh, energy credits from jobs. Yeah. That is nice. And he is... Oh, no, he's a fishing processor, so it doesn't... He hasn't taken oh, you're checking his species energy. out. Yeah. He's also modded them now. He has put mass produced on some of them so i think what he's doing let me check on the capital i'm pretty sure yeah so what he's doing here he's forcing the mass produced species to grow and then after they're mass produced he's converting them into the not mass produced the zero That's next level. So then it, yeah then you don't have to waste uh society research or well, you do have to use a little bit of society to convert them across i think yeah maybe. But it's not as much as um Doing no, so sorry. He's building. Using, he's, he, he's building mass produced, and then he's converting them into the not mass produced. Maybe on. Oh, maybe he's not. I no, he's not. I think he's I, just using the the mass. He like built one mass produced, right? So that he could then just keep producing those. Let me check and his he technology. He, no, he got machine template system for plus one modification points. So he simply, when he got that plus one modification point, added mass produced. Part of his build order, proper his research order, he was hoping to get machine template system early. He got it as his fourth tech pick, um, so that he could switch over there into mass produced. I would suspect that something like yeah. that is what's going on. I don't on. think he's, he's not going to convert anything there. He's just going to use that to just get ahead with pop assembly because he's locked it on those. 
that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, no, that does make sense. I see. The base one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, he he just he just created a template and it's building the template. That's yeah. what's happened. He's not so, yeah. converting Instead the old ones. Instead of converting ones. everything over it. Ooh, look, look at this. Place. Look at this up in the north. All right, so Apollo was almost cut off here by Wreck and then has moved across Wreck and kind of cut Wreck off now. <laughs> the what? But Wreck has a shroud tunnel. Oh, no, the shroud tunnel is here. So the Shroud Walker tunnel is there. Interesting. Let me just check what the builds are up here. So Apollo, what is Apollo playing? Apollo was in your chat earlier, and Apollo is playing Cheaters of the Shroud, Exalted Priesthood. So Apollo can always get through to this system uh, if he builds a Shroud Tunnel. Um, Exalted Priesthood, Meritocracy, must have gone for Aquatic then. Yeah, Late and Sionic Aquatic, good pops. Apollo doing an Uno reverse, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you. Meritocracy seems extremely strong. I think everyone almost has that, and paired with something else. It's just great for that uh, special. The 10% special. extra bonus there is, yeah, it's really good. It is really it just good. buffs everything that's useful in the game. Alloys and science. Wreck is currently at the bottom of the table. Let's check Wreck out. Okay. Oh! This is our first, I haven't noticed till now, so we do have one machine which is not Rogue Servitor. So there's some resource consolidation, rapid replicator, maintenance protocols to start with. Interesting oh. choices. So he needs that Unity supplement, which is probably why he's gone for that maintenance protocols. Yeah, I mean, Robot it. Unity is so low. Look at this. He's, he's, he's built extra coordinators, I would assume, and he's only on 26 Unity. Um, yeah. Oof. He took expansion. That's almost unheard of. He took expansion to rush down to hot joint protocols and is so now going really into supremacy. Speed. Yeah, but he's decided not to take prosperity. I'm not sure that's worth it. I'm really not convinced by that set of choices. Mm, I don't think that will like add up and like in time. He's got he's got 19 years left and he's not doing too hot. He's rock bottom of the leaderboard. I mean, he's got a few planets. He is starting to colonize a few more planets now. Uh, and who's at the top of the leaderboard at the moment? Giltanus is at the top. Uh, it's going to be the the heart. The, so the clone armies, not hives. The clone armies, yeah, they're going to be at the top because they've got no more one economy. No planet yet. <laughs> it's just still there. Yeah, the top four players right now are all clone army. And then we've got uh, Prosperous Unification, Necrophage, and then Rogue Servitor. But the top four by, you know, kind of economic weight at this point, as you would expect, are the clones because they just get so many pops. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a bit the revolting. Pops are the most important resource. Well, yeah, pops do stuff, right? You know, you pops on your planets make things. Though, having said that, they're not making very much research empire-wide, actually. Ezra's only making 300 at the moment. As opposed to, for instance, Giltanus here, who's making 460 research and quite a few more consumer goods as well so uh, what I've noticed is a lot of people are only producing uh consumer goods to start with right yes yeah, so, so the current meta is first you start with civilian economy for the first 15 years and only produce consumer goods to build up a stockpile and then around yeah. year 17 to 18 you switch to militarized economy and the world you had as a factory world you swap that designation over and you make it a forge world yeah because you yeah that that's quite clever to be fair because you're making like a lot of use of that policy because usually people will just go straight militarized and burn their economy We'll just yeah. say it mixed. Yeah, that, that's not what happens bonuses. these days. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Be smart now. Everything is optimized. Everything is refined. It's crazy. And also, you got to make, uh, a lot of them have Masterful Crafters, so they're getting that tech bonus too by going full on on consumer goods. So they're just getting a bit more tech too. So at the moment, it's kind of heating up here. Uh, the planet hasn't been taken. No one's taken it. It's the neutral zone. So we've got Giltanus, uh, <laughs> Comrade, and Strongblog here. What is that? What is that? Look at this. The mule has rushed ahead and stolen a planet from under, um, under Strongblog's nose. A relic world. A size 25 relic world. Holy crap. 
Right, let's take a look at this. Take a look at um, the mule has reached out. Oh, wow. He doesn't even know Strong Blog is there. He's reached out. He's found the size 25 Relic World, and he's just gone, yes, please. Thank you very much. Oh, this is huge for him. And the features on this planet just make it insane as well. Yeah, so I assume if I was him, I would be removing the Collapse Spire first because that's going to give you access to eight researcher jobs with a total yeah. of plus 30% output from research, which it's is just... absolutely insane. Yeah. It does cost a lot of energy. I'm not sure if that much energy will be worth it in the long run. It might yeah. just be better to use the world as it is until year 30 and then switch over. He's right next to Imperium of Pig. Let's see. How's Imperium doing? As well. Yeah. So Imperium's... 390 tech, 70 consumer goods, whereas Mule is on... What is Mule running? Mule is on Necrophage and uh, Imperium of Pig is Clone. Yeah, but Mule is also not really producing any consumer goods yet. Why is that? Ah, he's not turned these folks into indentured servants. Is the Yildar his home race? Yes, it is. Yeah, that makes sense. He, yeah, he got his, huh. So, I guess he just hasn't really converted a lot of depots over. No, no, I mean, yeah, he, he's still in the process of doing that. He doesn't actually have any of the um, the buildings anymore. Two he's gotten rid of them. Just he's just gotten rid of them. So, I'm guessing he will eventually set the rights... Uh, he'll end up setting the rights of people to be um, undesirable and set the purge to necrophage, and then you can convert yeah. directly into necrophage. You can only do that if you're a xenophobe, and it's really efficient way of getting your core population. Yeah, he's and he really... does have multiple species types, so it's not going to ruin his... I don't know why he's not pushed some of these. Maybe he's just forgotten to convert these enslaved pops into indentured servitude and let them work the artificer job because he's really not making many consumer goods at the moment he needs to build up that stockpile and he hasn't yeah. done it um it's going to be interesting to see how play that that plays out we're almost at the halfway mark of the piece well we're like a year yeah in two but... years will be yes yeah oh he's just done it hmm he literally just did it he's pushed them into artificers <laughs> Yeah, maybe he's watching the stream. There we go. Let's check their rights out. Are they now indentured servants? Yeah, yes. He should upgrade their living conditions as well to, um, what's it called? Social. Uh, social welfare, yeah. It gives them slightly more political power, uh, but... Oh, sorry. Does it give them slightly more political power? Let me double check that. Maybe I'm talking uh, out of my bottom. Yeah, it does. Uh, no, not for workers. No, it, uh, not, not for, for special, slaves. Sorry. Not for slaves. They're slaves, so it doesn't actually matter. Yeah, it just doubles it, but it's... 0.1 so just... it increases oh, no, their consumer the goods thing. yeah no you, social welfare is what i'm thinking about that increases their happiness basically of all pops um by 10 percent. so you make the slaves 10 percent happier you in debt make them indebted to you forever i don't know give them credit cards and then give them socialized health care and they'll be happy so the, the yeah. moral of stellaris is give people credit cards give them crippling debt until they have to work their entire life to pay it off and then socialize their health care and they'll be happy and never revolt are we talking about Stellaris? Or? Yes, definitely Stellaris. Yeah, That's okay. exactly Stellaris. Nothing else. Because no thing other thing. Social for slaves too. Is it only ups the consumer goods by 0 0.05? So it's not like you're really losing anything. There's no downsides essentially. With the uh, consumer goods upkeep on those pops. Um. We do How's the neutral new... planet fiasco going is being asked. Still completely neutral. It is a lovely size 18 ocean world that could be used by either um, either Giltanus here. Oh, oh, only Alpine, I That's suppose. That's a construction ship going for it. Which one? Who's, who's construction ship? It is the attack of the dead man, Giltanus. He's just decided to take it. He's gone bugger it. Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty. We do have a new player in number one. Well, it's not new entirely, but it is Hattori the... Uh... Hanzo. Up in this north quadrant. 
I don't think we've seen him at number one. A lot of research, a lot of consumer goods at the moment. That's going to be mostly economic power or tech level, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, mostly tech when level. When I was skimming through the, uh, going back to the Ascension picks, every single player who had one unlocked, they have the Edic fund. Nobody. Yeah. Oh, there's actually someone who's got tech ascendancy now. Oh, yeah. Ukukuril. Ukukuril plays a bit of an old fashioned playstyle. He doesn't subscribe to the meta. He was into Hive before Hive was cool, um, I guess <laughs> is the best way to put it. Uh, Everyone and... else has it. Maybe Edict Fund. I'm guessing he's not... He's taken mining subsidies. Okay. He's not taking the Edict Fund because he can actually support it because his ruler is level three and he's managed um... to research the Edict Fund bureaucracy thing for plus 20 and adaptive. So because he's taken those, I think he's been able because he's only just recently unlocked Prosperity. So he yeah. went, do I need it? No, I'll go with Tech Ascendancy. I think that was a good call, actually. Yeah. I, I think, think that could have been a good call. There's a lot of RNG, but it's using, like, no more to do with the <laughs> RNG. Because, like, a more uh, newbie player like me would just always go for the same thing, but that he's adapting to what he's been given, which will help him in the future because it's a wasted slot if he's not making use of the, uh, the Edict Fund. How is Ragoon doing? Ragoon has four. Ragoon has four um, four planets. One is a research world. One is an energy world with a little bit of research. Nice. The matter of sky here is... Uh, it's, uh, it's obviously the mineral world. Uh, the, the, uh, the forge world, even. Yeah. So he's, he's building a lot of uh, luxury residences, which are actually pretty decent as they give you housing and amenities for no jobs worked. So you can yes. pump everything into artificers. So like when we were saying that pops are the most important resource, but you can use these to not work any clerks or amenity jobs. To get more pops basically for, for yeah, the cost of minerals. Yeah, you get more pops too because of the growth, uh, how growth works. And you get more stability, which outputs more resources. So it's, I don't think I've seen many people do that in this game yet. Uh, I they wrong. will. They will. It, it just. It, they usually they don't do it this early. Um, yeah. he, uh, he's been very, very quick. Let's take out our play. Let's check out our play. We know is going to perform well, uh, or we hope so. Anyway, comrade. Let's see what comrade's worlds are doing. So, comrade. Comrade has three luxury residences. He already has the alloy foundries on turned off. Nine industrial districts. He's really refined this build. Then it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. This is really a refined necro build. Uh, lots of energy, team. lots of research, almost 600 research here. Wowzers. This is impressive. How, how do they do this? Let's compare Comrade to uh, Strongblork. Comrade has more tech. Comrade has more consumer goods. Slightly fewer pops. But overall, Comrade's economy is doing better. Yes, Strongblog only took oh, Strongblog only took one extra planet. He didn't take the second one, so he's only got four. Maybe it's not going to help. Maybe not. So Comrade is running um, mining subsidies and capacity subsidies, and he's. I just saw him like he's toggling uh, crystal sensors just to see what people are doing around him. Well, if you toggle it before the end of the month and then turn it yes. off again, it doesn't cost. It's free. It's free of so he's charge. Just, when he's got nothing else to click on, he goes to Edix and toggles that just to see if he can get any information. Because that's really key in these sort of games, knowing what people are doing. And a lot of strategy games. He has got pirates, but I don't think that matters. And he's actually going over his starbase cap by quite a bit. Does he know? Is he getting Comrade? Time? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, he's. He's he, he's happy. He's going to go up to seven star bases, I think. Really? Yeah, he's going to go to seven. He, I think eventually he'll turn on the Fortify the Border Edict if it gets yeah. too high. But he's just going to pay the extra cost from stations, even at plus 100%. So if he goes to seven over four, um, he's four over three. If he goes to seven over four, even at plus 100%, that star base upkeep cost is only going to be what? It goes from two and a half to five per star base. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Sorry, at the moment, it's going to go from two to four. No, two to four, yeah. not two and a half to five even. So, he's only, hmm. Is it based on the buildings that are on there as well? The, uh, the Say again? Yes, yes. So part of that is that he's got a hydroponics base, which he will put down um, to get that food output because he's going to have... Let's check out his worlds. So he's already he's already got rid of all of his food people, yep, across yeah, the empire. You, you don't need food workers. <laughs> you just well, don't. not only as a necrophage, as a necrophage where your main necropops... Our lithoid, 
You don't need food because they eat minerals as well. Yeah. So it's kind of equivalent well. to having the phototropic because half of your population or your population uses half as much food. Yeah, and any leftover food you can just sell monthly. Um, but yeah, I just realized my not... music isn't playing. Oh, wait, yeah, my music isn't playing either. <laughs> It's been so intense. We haven't had music, ladies and gentlemen. The music um, is our voices. It's probably a bit loud there, though, actually. Let's just turn that down a little. So, yeah, because he's not filling out the modules as well, that's keeping the cost down. He's just purely using it to work those bays, which give you 10 food, which is the equivalent to, like, one or two farmers. So you're just saving on two pops. But that's good, though. Yeah, like, any any yeah. saving, any squeezing a little bit more juice out... Yeah, pretty good it's the idea. Best thing you can do. I, everyone who plays Solaris, well, that's all of you probably. Just do that. If you get star bases, just build hydro base when you get the tech. Early game, it's it's gonna change your life. Food jobs, no more. Or at least you don't have to work as a many. So, how so much this do you... northern. Oh, sorry. Yep. Go on. Sorry. No, I didn't mean to interrupt. How much Please do continue. The, uh, precursors actually matter in these sort of games. Nothing. Well, no, that's not true. If you get like the new bowel, that will yeah. matter a lot because you'll get tons of uh, relics. Oh, sorry, tons of not relics, tons of uh, minor artifacts that you can then turn into relics. Um, yeah. And then on top of that, you'll also get uh, the great relic from that, the which gives you the new bowel life seeding. So that would be fantastic. Turning. Let's say you turn your core your core world. So let's go to Ezra, for instance. Let's say Ezra here, uh, who's the top player at the moment, Rhodes. Imagine Ezra could turn Rhodes into a Gaia world. That gives an extra 10% happiness and 10% extra resource output from jobs, plus extra habitability for him. So at that point, that's equivalent to getting a, like a 20 to 25% boost to his alloys. Yeah, that, would that would be amazing at year 20. Yeah. It's been going good, Yamato. Anything notable happen? The planet was taken. That's that's the key. Hi, Zephnar. Zephnar says hello. I'm saying hi back. Um, oh, somebody asking where Comrade is. Comrade, Comrade is down at the south here in S. Yolo, completely blocked in by Giltanus and Strongblog. This is going to be a fist fight right here. But there Don't is a wormhole. A wormhole. <gasps> Where's it go? Ooh, into the middle of nowhere Actually. with some worlds around. Lots of nice worlds around. Okay. So if he takes that world and gets the wormhole tech, that could be very helpful for him. Yeah. Who haven't we looked at? I guess, have we looked at next grid? He's kind of blocked. He has a lot of space. No, is that at the top, isn't it? Yeah, our, our gone. Yeah. So this is part of the whole wreck uh, Hattori blockage with all these empires smushed in together here. How many planets is he running now? Four, five, and he's got another colony ship. Oh, this player is being a little bit greedy. Look, I'm not sure he's going to be able to support got so this. Much space, yeah. He can just get being too spread out can be bad. Like you, you need to defend as well. And without hyperlanes, he's built a bioreactor. I mean, they're efficient. They're just I wouldn't a building slot on a bioreactor. Goodness me. Huh. <laughs> that is interesting. And people also want to know how the Doomsday player is doing. Let's take a look down at R, who's probably got nonsense numbers. So R's capital has now got biotrophic output increase, but also is on is about to go to level three. It's currently on level two of Doomsday, so that's sixty percent extra alloys and stuff like that. He's it's not bothering to output alloys yet, but he when he does, which I assume he will soon, he'll he'll turn off some of those science researchers and turn on some of the alloys. Uh, and yeah. then, ooh, and then. He's also got three other worlds, so he's not going to die anytime soon. He has really spread himself out among the galaxy. He's going to use his capital to get so many alloys you cannot believe. Then he's going to move all the pops off there, and then he's going to go and he's going to stomp with like, he'll be making 200 to 250 alloys a month in five years' time. Or two, let's say, I'm going to say 150 to 200, maybe. I mean, it is possible to get up to 250. Let's see what he does. Yeah, that build is really interesting, though. The fact that he used Crystal Sensors early game so that he could keep up later on by getting those planets early. Like, it all, all plays with each other. It's, it's insane. Comrade's having problems. He has not rolled the Crystal Forge, meaning he all does the, not uh, currently have... 
he doesn't currently have the upgrade to the alloy foundry and that is crucial to get a high enough alloy output plus one to your alloy output is the equivalent of like an extra 20 30 percent yeah and modifies uh stack on that right exactly yeah yeah exactly so plus one and then you get all the bonuses that applied on top yeah, like um, stability and well, uh, in uh, the Doomsday players' case as well, it's mm. it's crucial. No, he hasn't rolled it again. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head. He's going to be <laughs> shaking his head so hard right now. But when something like this, you just have to be, um, you just kind of have to stay brave and uh, keep up a strong face. I mean, he probably shouldn't have announced it because that yeah. paints a bit of a target on his back. Strong Blog. Let's see what Strong Blog has. Strongborg has though. alloy mega forges, oh, dear. and is making not many alloys. Strongborg hasn't switched over yet, and is just upgrading is. the alloy mega forge now. Okay, we are getting into the uh, twenty-year mark, so we will start seeing people shifting their focuses. Yeah, he's probably going to wait to upgrade that forge and then switch over. Yeah, there we go. Did he switch he's over immediately? One hundred and twenty-three. Yeah, uh, Giltanus making 126. Giltanus is Death Corp, Corporate Death Corp, Masterful Crafted. So actually, these three are all playing Bio Empires. Two, Necrophage and the Clone. All of them can happily take the world from the others. Yeah. This is going to be... I, I wonder if we're going to get Who a team up and a 2v1 or something. We, there's rules against 2v1ing, obviously, but let's see how it plays out. Yeah, whoever wins there could be the winner of the entire game. Like, they can just snowball. Yeah, if one so player hard. takes over, so let's say Stronglog takes over Comrad and then is able to turn around and hit Giltanus in the face, that's three empires early, that could be a GG. The how the closeness of their space, each of their capitals is only about four or five jumps away, so that war is going to be lightning quick, meaning they can then turn around and attack someone else very imminently. Yeah, Comrade <sighs> just got it. He did, did he? Let's check, let's check on that, let's check on that. Otherwise, that would have been a bit of a GG for, for Comrade there. Not did having... He, he just... No, no, no. No, no, Comrade doesn't have it. He said in chat he did, so I think he's meta-playing people. No, no, no. No, he, sorry, he says, I have it, meaning he has the materials leader. So expertise oh. materials should increase the chance. Unfortunately, he has a materials technology. It's just exotic gas refining. <laughs> uh, uh oh What's oh, Esdrail's yeah. alloys? My chat is telling me to look at Esdrail's alloys per month. It's only 138. That's not too much. I'm going to just skim through and see who's got. We got 142 on Giltanus. We've yeah. got. Strong Blows 141. Yeah, 137 maybe. down here, Seth, with the Imperium of Pig. Ukukuril on 136. Comrade on 103. That's a problem. See, that's Next the power is low. Of the, uh, forge there. Like, he's what? Yeah. 40 behind everyone else? Yeah, he doesn't exactly. Have that forge. That's how much it matters. Wreck is 70. Silas is 90. Mule is 93. Krilshin, this is our weird one, the Inward Perfectionist. Hasn't switched over yet to alloys. I'm assuming doesn't have the alloy technology. Doesn't have it, no. no. Interesting. What's huh. his neighbor? His neighbor is... His neighbor's a machine empire. So actually, he's kind of rolled the dice here and gone, I'm not going to go to war straight away. It'll be okay. Yeah. I think well, that's what I'm seeing. could be doing some diplomacy on the back end. Possibly. Uh, Possibly, yeah. yeah. Someone asked how they got crystal sensors so quick. So yeah, they, the lithoids that they start with as their uh, bio trophies have the um, trait that gives crystals. Oh no! So you Rag get the access to the crystal edict straight away. Ragoons hasn't yet rolled the um, alloy technology either. So Ragoons is in commerce position, but worse, and is currently sitting at seventy per month, um, <laughs> and that's while buying twelve. And five uh, exotic, uh, sorry, uh, volatile moats get ready for it. He is, oh, that's, this could be good, but you gotta remember he, wait, where's his dragon? Is it settled down on his home planet? It must be. Yeah, you... it's I don't so, see yeah, he it. he does it have a, the um... dragon, so it could. Sorry, where is it? Oh, it's, I see it. Sorry, now I see it. It's yes. Feature, yeah. yeah, it gives plus 10 stability. That's amazing. And six more unity. Yeah, so he's he he's gonna be a bit scared. He does have that dragon to protect him, so he does check have out his uh, check out his um, traditions. Just take a look at his traditions right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ragoon's oh. traditions. Oh, ho, ho. he's going for he's going for a defensive build. 
So yeah, so he doesn't care entirely. I mean, he alloys are good, right? Everyone wants alloys, but I don't think it's- He doesn't need as many. Them. As long yeah. as he can defend, he only needs 70% the fleet as everyone else because there's a massive dragon that will be appearing <laughs> in his home system. Yeah. And let's see what happens later on. I predict we could be getting an undread, undead dragon defense. It is one of his favorite to pull out of the hat. Oh, it's, it's impressive. He's also met nobody. Ragoons has met. Oh no, he's met. Sorry, he's met R. Ragoons and R have met. He is like nobody's near him. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Ragoons is yeah. Ragoons is very safe, and the people near him have much bigger threats. Giltanus yeah. is kind of close to the north, but Giltanus is a big threat, to, uh, which is to the south. Um, Sinus so PT is kind of close, although R is sat there, and R is going to be turning into a monster. Let's check out R. R's making 160 alloys per month, ladies and gentlemen. 160. <laughs> And that is with only 12 Fabricator drones? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is insane. Each drone is making 13 alloys. Each drone is making 13 alloys. He's getting plus 90% from the Doomsday. Um, he's really riding his economy close to the edge here, but I think it'll be fine. I, yeah, uh, I don't think he cares. So back to Ragunas, I just noticed he is spamming hangers on his... Um, Capital. Capital as well. He's so undead he dragon defense. It's going to be the, yeah. Yeah, so the okay. method to kill your dragon is to use um, hangers and what their ships And uh, plasmas. Strikecraft Strike yeah. and plasma yeah. weapons, because plasmas are going to do lots of extra damage to that armor and that hull. It's going to be really yeah. helpful. And hangers will just go through. Hattori's um, 160 alloy. So I see the, the uh, what was it? The Doomsday start. Is it a similar alloy level? Oh my goodness. Ezra's just hit 190 alloys per month. Let's check out the world. Ezra's still only got a level one alloy forge, or, you know, the, the first upgrade. But what? 28 metallurgists, 180 alloys per month. So yeah. these are descendant clones too, right? They don't have to have descended yet, but have they? No, they haven't descended yet. He has to descend before year 30. And oh, it's best okay. to wait with the descending until you're really close to having, you know, until you've got all those pops. Because the moment he's yeah. getting 10 pop growth here from assembly on that planet for yeah. a total of 16 which would be more than if he switched over yeah he needs he needs eight more pops and then he's done oh, he's also comrades got it by. comrades got it comrades got it those cheers and they give me forge immediately afraid Comrade's got level two. He's going to be getting level no. two, so he's going to go be going from behind to oh ahead my. in almost no time at all that is wild He's already upgraded this one to a level one. Oh my goodness me. He's put the pops down. He's put down the planetary capital. He's putting a fortress down. In eight months time, he'll upgrade it again. This is going to be a disgusting fight. Where's Strongblog at next to... Strongblog's at 160 alloys per month with 4.3. Comrade's got more alloys. Comrade's already got more alloys. Giltanus, on the other hand, is at 5k with 160 as well. This puts Comrade in the power position here, I think. Yeah. Um, to dictate who's going to be his bitch it first. It that quickly. And that's the luck of a tech roll, you know? That's so, why this game um, is great. Giltanus is getting the, uh, the alloy output, 10%. Oh, so that should help. But that, again, that kind of a 10% as... bonus, yeah, it's not as good as the tier two alloy thing. What is really good is the capital building 10%. That's helpful, though the upkeep isn't as lovely, but that helps with everything. So that helps with um, with your science. That helps with yeah. all of the, your unity, project, everything. The clo he's doing clone fertility at the moment. moment. Which is interesting. He only has 89 pops, so... Maybe I think he's maybe he's just... to go on the other planets. Unless he's going to take it all the way to almost the end, then stop, and just wait when there's one month left so that he can do it with the right amount of time. Mm. Surely or something you'd want like... that tech first, though. Uh, possibly. Oh, R has confused his consumer goods income. And now, oh no, look at this. His pops, his bio pops are at minus 10% happiness because oh, no. he has a shortage of consumer goods. Oh, no. How terribly <laughs> unfortunate for everybody. <laughs> I think, though, I'm pretty sure a running negative deficit is illegal, so he will be fixing that up imminently. Yeah. Um, Can he not just cut investments? What does he not care? Because he has gone, that's like the four months in a row. What's he also running with his edicts? Oh my goodness, he's having he's running evacuation protocols to reduce the resettlement, fortify and capacity subsidies. His capital now has 16 fabricators. They are between them. Oh, his stability is very low because of the unhappiness. <laughs> Just from that planet. 
he shouldn't have let the stability go too low. He's risking a revolt on yeah. one of his worlds. So that that minus 10% happiness is actually turning into a problem. And it should go away very soon, though, because he is now making positive consumer goods. He's buying most. Uh, he but now he's going to run into an issue with energy. This He's, he's running into a slight economy problem. Loop. It's like a feedback loop. His other planets, though, doing quite well. He's just slowly building them up. Probably pumping... No, he's just trying to get those raw resources fixed. Yeah. And that should fix the stability issue because all of his stability is almost entirely coming from the happiness of these bio trophies. And they're currently only at 45% happiness because when you run out of consumer goods, the mandatory pampering thing goes out the window. Um, he needs to deal with that. That That's yeah. actually going to... That is really that, hurting his alloy yeah. income. Six that's... He's, he's now at 200 yeah he's got 200 alloys per month he would be making more like 215 yeah. um if he had that in there i want to see what that um guy was it guy world from the mule how's that what's he done with that ah yeah down south let's oh, see if he actually mine? bothered to put down relic will sorry not gaia She's he just it. went mining okay fair enough he's not gone he's not gone with the collapse by he probably will um, remove. I assume he'll remove these features eventually. Yep. He just can't afford the energy credits at this point in his build order. Would be my yep. assumption. It's his decision there. Makes sense though, because uh, he's just pumping a lot into alloys. He has twenty-three alloy jobs on one planet. Uh, just that's it. But those those are costing a lot of minerals. Bidu and Krish are both very low on their alloy income. Well, I say Krish is at or the you know the bottom player. The inward perfectionist is currently in the bottom. Passivism as ever never pays. Don't do it. Um, I've got I you know this is my dark horse. I'm saying it now. I think he he will do well. Or she. <laughs> or them. I mean it is a spider. Um. Yeah, it's not looking too good though. Just the every all the numbers are not really great. There's our uh, ours fixed the unity. The problems now is at 224 alloys. Slightly my my head math was slightly off. It was even more than I thought. Yeah, he's making 13.8 alloys per drone now. Massive mineral uh buffer saved up. This is at 90%. It's gonna go to 120% at year 30, and then the real alloy income starts at that point when you're making an extra 120%. It's actually crazy how strong doomsday with robots are. How Who's is that? Singularity has stolen a single system here. Look at this. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, but, not, but in, in the borders between Silas, PT, and R, he's just kind of sneaked ahead and gone, yeah, I'll take that. What's it got? <laughs> does it even have any resources? Let's see. I don't think it does. It's, it's got, got six, six energy. energy. Okay. Good. I suppose. My chat are wondering how Apollo is doing. They've got an affinity with him now that he's in the chat before the game started. He is rock bomb. <laughs> Of oh the crap! Leaderboards. Only sixty-three pops. What's he playing again? Teaches Teach the, the shroud. Only sixty-three pops is very low, though. Mm. No one else has that few pops. Science Ooh. is decent. Like just average. He had another that ocean world, but he average. didn't take it. That's what? interesting. He. I would have taken that for the pop growth. Yeah, just for the pop growth. I mean, he's making all right alloys. He'll be okay. Uh, yeah. Come, come the war. And the war is coming in about five years, ladies and gentlemen. Mark my words. It's going to get chaotic. I mean, I've already struggled to keep up with chat just from how much is already happening. But when the war starts, <laughs> oh, it's 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 going to be someone else. She's got a lot of unity. She's trying to just finish off supremacy. I think that's what everyone's trying to do right now. Finish off supremacy, get access to the policy. Um the war stances or whatever it's called can't remember the exact words but you know what i mean ah but yeah it's not looking too good i would love to see the diplomacy going on on, on the back end like is apollo teaming up with wreck to kill silas is coming for ragoon ragoon has a fantastically strong border here though at merrill i believe i believe he'll be able to build up let's check this out how's ragoon yeah. now doing Ragoon's There's making 126 like alloys doesn't have much of a stockpile saved up. Why is that? He's got a 7k star base. With everything... Oh, look at this. 
as he built up the star base. <laughs> and look, he's queued up defense platforms that are all going to trigger at the same time. But you can always get rid of them if you want. So this is a nice way of using defense platforms. He's used them as an alloy storage. So if anyone wants to check, he looks like he's got less alloys possibly, I'm going to think. Um, let's see, what else have we got? Starship Troopers, Ukukaril. How's Ukukaril doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so this game will be peaceful, is all I said. Oh, in my chat, <laughs> just said. <laughs> well, there is an I, inward perfectionist. Yeah, maybe he will convince everyone to just, you know, play it out for the six hours. Uh, and alternatively, I recommend my chat press F to pay respects to the only pacifist in the lobby. Yeah. Because um, um, no, he will be dying. Top five, I believe. Can I see some no way. in the chat? I believe. No, no way. Fs. I believe. Yeah, I want Fs. Give me Fs, chat. No, Give me I Fs. I have to pay those I respects. Believe. Thank you. Thank you, I was as on Twitch. Yeah, I see you. I believe. Thank you, you know, Jacob. For the I believe. No, you don't stop, believe. Stop Jump over F. to EP3O stream right now. I'm going to post the link and uh, go and press F in EP3O's chat. Oh, there's so many Fs. Go and do it. Run over to. I posted the link. Go <laughs> immediately to, to that and press F. Tell him F for that's the pacifist. No. <laughs> I'll put it. I'll put it on Twitch as well. There you are, Twitch. Run over to EP3O. Oh. Just. Press F no, in his chat. No, there's so many. No. <laughs> That's what believe. you get. No. No belief. No more beliefs. We're, we're done with that. Thank you, chat. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, I believe in believe the Fs. Uh, um, anywho, uh, <gasps> moving swiftly on. <laughs> Look at um, this. Look. <laughs> your chat. Your chat's just dead. <laughs> your, your chat's just gone. You're gone, mate. Sorry. You're yeah, done. Like yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. gonna just be like a massive spike. All right, so who do we think is gonna win in the top five of the moment? I'm betting. Yeah, no, shut up. Ezra is up there for me. Comrade Truck, Hattori. R, I actually believe R. I believe in R at the moment. I, I think this alloy stuff yeah. amount is gonna be insurmountable. Um, I think Ragunas has a chance. He he. You know, the thing he <laughs> he's got a thousand alloys. What are you saying? He is a meme man. And they, they won't expect the memes, oh, right? Look at his look at his civics. Look at his civics right now. Look at his Wait. civics immediately. Where is he? Oh, fumbling the bag. Has he just switched over? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, he's going to meme them. He's going to meme them with the dragon. They're not going to expect a 50 dragon. There it goes. Dragon. There it goes. Look at his look at his look at his capital. His capital. Look at his capital his capital star base. He has built a single corvette and then the star base. Is he tech saving too? Yep, he's society he's building up his society tech so that he can finish the project. Um he's just starting now to store it, I believe. So if any of you don't know, the dragon will get reanimated after a project. Where's the dragon? Where he is will it? be it able to be control it. And the dragon has jump drives. I know it doesn't. You can't use them offensively, but you can still use it in neutral space. Why is the dragon not taken off? Doesn't the dragon need to take off? Isn't that part of the plan? Um, I think <laughs> he knows when. I believe. <laughs> I don't know when it takes off. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, the dragon. Honestly, I don't think anyone's expecting it. And he has done this before. I think. Was he playing in a competitive game before and he just managed to get it online? Well, he managed to get the dragon to... He resuscitated the dragon just as a fleet turned up in his capital and the dragon just went, uh, no, sir, smack, yeah. and kicked them down. It was beautiful. It's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. In yeah, I, I actually managed, to, I actually so managed to see it live. Uh, while streaming, I was in his capital as it happened. It was, it was beautiful stuff. Um, sorry, as we Alex in my chat has said, Inward Perfectionist could make it via Doomsday Server to Ally, assuming they meet up somehow. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, maybe, maybe Doomsday Ally could make it with, maybe. We'll have to see, Alex, but thank you very much for the support and the chat. Are we starting to build cruises, or did he, did he misclick the, yeah, I think he misclicked that. He's trying to stack them up. He ah, he accidentally empty. clicked, popped. So he's only got tier one plasma, tier three railgun, but that'll be enough given how many alloys he is producing yeah, and will be gonna, producing. He's going to have a full fleet. So if um, somebody don't know the map, please, if you go to his shipyard where his cruiser is, he is currently building cruisers, but when they're nearly done, he puts them to the bottom of the queue. So he doesn't have to pay upkeep on them. 
as you pay alloy and energy credit upkeep on your ships. So he's just going to pop them all out when he's basically run out of alloys to keep queuing them up. It's really strong. Um, What's that? Also have what are comrades' out? ships like? He's got tier 4 kinetic, which is good, but only tier 1 plasma. Is he going to research tier 4 plasma? No, unfortunately, he didn't get it in time. His worlds, though... Comrade is going defensive. He's built fortresses. Okay, so Comrade has a fortress star base here at his cat at, at the entrance to his space. He is locked down. On the other hand, Strongblog does not have the same precaution. I think Comrade's going to come out of this fighting. Oh yikes! Mm, yeah, two hundred alloys per month. Ours at two fifty. Giltanus is at two sixteen. Hattori's at two twenty three. Ezra is at one ninety four. Strongblog's at two hundred. It is all going to be heating up in a moment. My top picks at the moment. I'm thinking R. I think. I think. I, I don't know who's going to come out on top here. I think it might be Conrad. It's one or of, one of these three. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. of these three is going to kill the other two. I'm thinking Ezra because I think Ezra can come down here and eat the inward perfectionist via after vassalizing Bidobu. That would be my expe expectation here for Ezra. Who yeah. else? Um, I would think Akukuril's going to do well because he is a very good player, although he's got no one to attack. He's right next machines. To well. yeah, he's got two machines next to him, and he is a regular biological empire. So yeah. who does he it's scale up with? Good. He There is a wormhole. Where does it go? Um... So the wormhole which leads into the inward perfectionist space. No. <gasps> that's that's yeah. Again, I have to pay respects to the only no, by uh, no, no. the I only uh, the only pacifist in the game with inward perfectionist. Roll those f's out, ladies and gentlemen, because he's going to be dying. He's got. There's no oh. way he can survive this. He's not got the alloy income. He's making <laughs> eighty alloys per month. He's not even turned his world over. He's not been able to turn his world over to a full forge world here. Like, there's a wormhole in his space. Next to him is Giltanus, who's just going to be like, yes, I'd like to eat those planets. Um, okay, you, you make a good point. But Giltanus, he's going to go south first. Here's the thing. Everyone's going to be fighting each other. He's just going to sit there, right? I don't know, no, no. If Conrad goes for... Oh, Conrad has to go for Giltanus because Giltanus took this world. Oh, I see. So yeah, because Giltanus took the world, to... they can't Conrad and Conrad and Strongblog can't fight each other. I think Strongblog in that that case is gonna come and fight the mule here. How's the mule doing? A little bit weaker. Mule is building cruisers Mule's. too. Mule, mule has got good cruisers. Tier two plasma, tier four um railgon. Uh Strongblog has tier one plasma. We could do that. Oh we could do that. James X, we could, we could. We're just plotting in my chat, you know. <clears throat> requirement to participate in this is not 15k fleet power year um year 30 the requirement is there were three heats this is the final there were three games before this the top six players from each of those games and there was like 20 players a piece or 25 players got through to this game here and this is the top players we are now two years away from the war kind of isn't it exactly it's uh oh, we'd like to hope so and that's why we've got ragoon in here with his memeing nonsensical stuff <laughs> But that's what you love to see. You like to see uh -oh. the optimal. Uh oh. Something is Ragoon, off. Ragoon's lost. He lost. Is it look, not spawning? Look, no, look. He didn't beat the dragon. Oh no. 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 <laughs> that's. I don't know what happened there. It worked well in testing, but it didn't work here. Ah, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, that's They're after Ragoon's laid in general. So Ragoon's plan here was to kill the... Oh, it has, it has, so the, um... Well... Let's take a look. This thing has uh, regenerative hull tissue, which grants half of half percent daily hull and one percent daily armor regen. Given the amount of armor and hull the damn thing's got, one percent armor every day is four thousand armor a day. So you have to do more than four thousand damage to just do any damage at all to the dragon. Um, Ragoons did testing. His plan here was uh, to to kill the dragon and then have an undead dragon defense, I believe. And he's just been killed by this. So. Yeah. I'd like to claim this was the um, pacifist doing, so he's already one up on on another empire. 
Well, he's got 5k alloys, but now the Horozgar is hostile to him in his capital system. <laughs> he's hostile to other things too if it declares war on it, right? Yeah. But so what? Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I think he's... Gee, he's that's dead, just though. so sad to see. It was like, R earlier had the problem... Uh, ooh, what's R? How's R doing? R's fleets are out here. <gasps> oh, look 16K. where R is going. Look where R ooh. is going. There's a player who's not going to like it very soon. How and else he... is it going? Oh, that's not good. He... Art and yeah. Singularity don't have a non-aggression pact. Okay. Does he have one with anyone? Mm, no. Wait, no, he has a non-aggression pact with Silas. We're starting to see some fleets coming out. Comrade here has 18k in destroyers. That's moving well, straight okay, up to the front. Um, Krillish? R has the, 15. The pacifist has 12k. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, 12k. It's not. 12k won't be enough to survive the wars to come. Apollo with 10k popping out. It's rapidly going up. Let's see if anyone declares war. Because actually, Comrade's probably going to attack Giltanus. Then making Kirill safe for now. Two months. Uh, okay, now we definitely need lots of Fs in everyone's chats because people are going to die. There is This is not going to be peaceful. There will be losers in the next few years. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The fleets are going to be coming out. There goes a psionic pop-off. That was that was uh, Esdria up north uh, taking it on. Okay, it's a, such a shame about Ragoons. But um, yeah, and that yeah. means Ragoons are going to be an easy target for someone now. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And it's now legal for wars here to be declared. Are there any Who wars incoming? It? No day one. Here we go. Up. No day one. But I I'm expecting a war declaration from Comrade. Let's check out Comrade's claims. And uh, he's on the border right now. Comrade has claimed. Comrade has claimed all, all of Giltanus' systems. Oh. That's it. Comrade's going to be declaring war in momentarily. Oh, no. Where's ours war? Marks? He hasn't gone in yet. Wait, is he going around? Oh, Who are? he's going for next grid. No, shh. That's the point. I pointed it out. Don't say it. Shh. Oh, sorry. It's a, shh. It's a secret. He's not going. He's going for... Exactly. Like exactly. Exactly. It's going to be amazing. Oh, Let's check out these ships. My. Ships are okay. Has he completed the hidden right he hasn't completed supremacy though that's unfortunate he got some of it but not completed mm, it he's not gonna finish it anytime soon either still no war yet i mean the thing is if you make a mistake so ragoon's just lost three and a half thousand dollars right there losing the first place completely oh they're um, speaking in russian that's what his question marks sorry carry on <laughs> yeah yeah well there was a rule about don't speak in russian and stuff but it seems like some players have uh uh, have, uh, have uh, ignored that. Let's see. So, where's Ragoons now? He's still in the game. He's just going to vibe, I think. Unless he can salvage it. If anyone can salvage it, it's him. Let's see. But Why are we paused? We got some rule breaks? I don't know. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. He doesn't even have cruisers because he's been doing that tech. Apparently there's been a rule break somewhere. Let's see what the break is. Is it because he flew, fl uh, flew through him? Someone's asking me where the prize money's coming from. I've got no idea. I've not organized this tournament. Nothing to do with me. Yeah. It's organized by Aggressor. Yeah, we're not responsible for any of this. If the prize money exists or doesn't exist, I couldn't say. I'm assuming it does. I mean, our aggressor is a YouTuber, has quite a few thousands of followers. If he, and also, what what would be the point in lying? I suppose. Um, yeah. But basically, we don't know where it came from. Black hole somewhere uh, would be my guess. What do you think, AP30? Of the rule break. No, where the money came from. Oh, the money. Um, well, they got like printers for that, don't they? <laughs> they got Maybe. printers. Somebody just know. printed all the money. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know how can you run out of money if you could just print more I don't, you know it's that simple no I don't know um, we're just here 
the money's a good incentive. It's good for the title. And me and Mon do like good titles. And, you know, <laughs> that's, we're here. Oh, someone in my chat saying it's coming from the Biden administration. Ah, uh, that, that'll be what it is then, ladies and gentlemen. Must be the Biden administration. What 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 were we thinking? Yes. Definitely. Oh no, I'm going to crash the economy. Why would I? How is printing money going to crash it? That's never happened. No, you couldn't. Uh, like printing more money just means that there's more there's money, more. and yeah, that means that you, you buy more things. The economy gets bigger. <laughs> and welcome to modern mon modern monetary policy. Yes. Um, it's not it is real well where we know that they um we were taught we believe that there's a prize pool and it's not a made-up number i mean we'll see what let's the see we, say we, 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 there is there's, there's there's something going on uh about some sort of pacts here <laughs> messy diplomat diplomat ugh, i can't speak messy diplomacy zero pack Currently, the number one player by score is, or actually not score, is that the, is that number one player by score? Yeah, power. Yeah, number one by score as well though is currently Giltanas. So if the game were to end right now, <laughs> Giltanas would win three thousand six hundred United States dollars. Well, actually, I believe the the prize is being given out in um in a crypto coin in uh in um. Oh, is it? What, yeah, I want to say USDT. Really that much, <laughs> well, no, it's it's one of those cryptos that's pegged to the value of the dollar. I want to say USDT. I mean, if you convert it immediately into regular dollars, it shouldn't be oh, an issue. Going. Oh, we are going crap. Crap, we're going, ladies and gentlemen. Ignore everything I've been talking about. Here we go. Matt, Nothing has happened that. yet. <laughs> yep. But yeah, this over here, this certain thing that's going on, very interesting. So... You know, hypothetically, a me a machine killing machine is better than a machine killing a bio, right? Uh Comrades at twenty one K. Year 30, 30 something comrades hit twenty one K and he's still going. And he's still going. He's still producing alloys. He's still got destroyers queued up building. He does not care about the caps. He just he's just going. His ships are rocks and they will be hurled at the enemy. Yep. So he is running. I'm not sure if we should say bills. I'll just show it on screen. Wow, well, yeah. Um, interestingly, he did grab a distinguished admiralty, which makes sure that your admirals and stuff start level three. Has he used that though? Fiery. Comrade hasn't has. got any admirals. Oh, I think he will. He's yeah, just bought go. them now. There we go. He's got his first one. Aggressive. What else? Oh, he's only got aggressive admirals. That could be a problem. Hmm. What's the what's the ideal uh, tree he's looking for? Hit and run. Yeah, he wants hit and run to match with the. Oh, no, not hit and run. Trickster, sorry. Trickster, yeah, sorry, to match with hit and run uh, war doctrine. That it's gives you maximum with... disengage. He is, but I think that's just he's going to switch when he gets to the fight. Yeah, yeah. I will nag you until you and Montu become xenophiles. <laughs> but it... We are xenophiles. We like people. Another species right monty i mean you're, he's literally a lizard look he's right next to me i'm not punching him yet I'll just give him a jab have that monty. you can't jab right. me right. my skin is steel right. oh. it's not oh, working it's broken yeah exactly checkmate <laughs> jojo has no ships are they all just queued up somewhere though i reckon they would be yes here they are he's got all his cute cruisers just cr queued up cruisers cruising in the queue yeah he does have the offspring ones. Now, the thing with offspring cruisers... He's not met he's anyone. Whoa, Jojo's not met anyone. What? He's not met anyone. No one's actually noticed him. Situation. No, no, because no, no one's found him yet. He's just too far away. <laughs> okay. That's... um. He's one system away. Like, two, sorry. People are being <laughs> very definite about their wars here, I'm thinking. Oh, we've got the war. we got a war. Well, uh, oh... Comrade defensive from Giltanus. <gasps> Giltanus declared it. I, I think this is... Uh, so they're both at 20, 24k. Attack of the dead men versus S. Yolo. This is going to come down to like the minute details here. Like this is the true test. We do... Mon um, Giltanus actually has a way better alloy upkeep at the... Uh, 
Alloy production. Oh no, Comrade. No, 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 no. It's about the same. Comrade's about the same. Comrade I will be I'm... doing some tick selling on his alloys, though. I think. Yeah. Just to, he's selling twenty-five to try to maintain his economy. Yeah. He hasn't selected a war goal yet. He also has he not set. He also comrade uh, comrade hasn't turned on any of his edicts. The war edicts has Giltanus turned them on. Uh, no. No, Giltanus hasn't turned them on. Okay. He's okay. He's just spamming sacrifice. There should be peace. No, we want bloodshed. So, the plan, it looks like a big stalemate here at the minute. Comrade's on the border, but uh, Giltanus is just on his capital. Well, even if Giltanus comes through, Comrade's got a fully upgraded fortress, which means yep. there's an FTL inhibitor. He hasn't finished, he has finished Supremacy. If he go dips into Unyielding, he can give this world, he hasn't got a shield generator yet, does he? He's <laughs> nine months away from shield generator. Oh, that's Giltanus, sorry. Giltanus is nine um, months away from shield generators. Comrade is nine months away from large plasma. Comrade does not have right shield gens for the planet, though. Comrade is unlocking kinetic. Okay. Ezra also has 20k in hand. Hattori has 20 uh, has 20k. It's spicing up. These are the only wars, though, which is really interesting. Apollo also has 20k. You know what we were talking about? Apollo was doomed. Apollo's managed to pull 20k out of his hat. He has to do something with it, though. And where is it going? Let's have a look at this 20k. It looks like he's got an uh -oh. agreement. Uh-oh. No, no, no. I don't think he's got an agreement with this person. I think he's going to war with his rival. Yeah. His think... rival here being Hattori Hanzo. Hattori has 24k and is ready at the border. He is strong. He's the strongest, almost. No, he is the strongest in the galaxy. Oh... Starbase, he is almost got the communication jam. Let's see. Let's see. If I was, if I was, uh, if I was Apollo, I probably would uh, think think twice about this war because he's yeah. just turned up, and the enemy has a bigger fleet than he does. Destroyer versus destroyer. There's another war's just fired. Silas, Silas is at war. Who is Silas at war with? He is at war with the pigs. Ah, okay. 17k here versus 17k. These walls are so close. Like, everyone's kind of got the same. Oh, guilt. Oh, Conrad's pumping out more as well. I'm just seeing on the outliner. Yeah, Conrad's at 27k here. Conrad's going up, and Giltanus isn't. If I was Conrad now, I would just take some of these outlying star bases yep. and then Make just move the back wall. to my capital. Just just grab. I mean, he, he, he is turning on and off that edict for the extra... Um, he's going in. He's going in. He is moving now. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. We ride together into glory. <clears throat> oh, the, the um, Sil Silas, what am I saying? Silas has gone in on the pigs. He's going to the capital. Is really? He keep going? No, okay, he stopped. Did he see the enemy? Yeah, they're just, uh, the pigs are just stacked on his capital. They're outside. Oh, oh yeah, okay. They are moving in. This could be... I'll keep eyes on here and I'll tell you if they go on. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at it now. We've come over. This is where we're looking at now. So, yep, wars going. at the moment going on. Uh -huh. War down here, down south. And let's grab... Let's take a look at what... Uh, Silas has come in. He's trying to bait them forwards. We're going to get a uh, uh, army um, he defensive... Yeah. Okay, he, he now he's leaving. What was in there, maybe, maybe he didn't see. Or maybe he just wanted to see if he could pull them forwards a bit. Yeah. Apollo's at war. They ha he has declared, but I, I don't think he's going in. Defensive? No, Apollo's a defensive war. Oh, he got declared on. And he's only got twenty k versus a Tory's twenty five. So and he's yeah. leaving. He's just like, nah, I'm done. Going home. Yeah, you can't take that with the star base as well. Especially but... if you're on the aggressive, you have to have the bigger fleet. Yeah. How is Comrade in? He is moving in, just taking system by system and. Giltanus is not moving. He's just waiting. Comrade is chucking some information in the chat. He thinks that he's saying that Strongblog is Mule's. Uh, the Mule is Strongblog's ally. We'll have to see how true that is. Oh yeah, the Mule has just got declared war on. 
Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, uh, sorry, Strongblog. Uh, sorry, no, I, I mean Giltanus' Strongblog's ally is what I meant to say. Sorry. Uh, who's the mule at war with? The mule? Oh, the yeah. mule's right at the top here at page three. The mule is at war with Strongblog. Okay. Defensive oh. war. The mule has 20k. Strongblog also has... Strongblog has 30k. Oh, he turned the edicts off. I think... Strongblog with the edicts had about 30k, yeah. Has Strongblog also gone? No, rapid deployment. All right. The mule just finished the primacy, I think. Oh, he's just holding a perk. Why did he just jump as well? Oh, no. He's still staying. I think That's he's just seen what he's coming up against. And he he's might be about to pull back. Run. That's kind of standard with destroyer builds, right? Oh, yeah, it's a, no, it's a standard destroyers or cruisers. Because even cruisers have that bonus to... Uh, to the amount they're going to run away. Yeah. Full on attrition. How is Comrade? Comrade is... Treating? He might be going back to put some of those upgrades on. Wreck in the north is at war. This massive blob um, where we had up north. Wreck is kind of sandwiched. Wreck has gone to war with uh, the Armonican. Wreck has also gone to war with Hattori Hanzo. So 2v1 is not allowed, but both of these neighboring players are both decide they're going to have a go at Hattori, which I don't think is illegal as long as they're not, like, colluding. Yeah. And I think that will overpower him. He can't... Are they colluding, though? No, I don't think so. They're going the same way. Wreck only has 10k as well. Wait, Wreck's ships are in the same place. Does this count as collusion? Yeah, because they're going to go to the same choke point. And Apollo's talking about it in the chat. Oh, I don't think Apollo was in on this. It's paused. Yes, it's arbitrating about this uh, this war at the north. Because technically... Um, it's not, but... Well, the thing is. is, I think it counts as being illegal. Because if someone's at war, you're basically not allowed to go to war. Because otherwise it counts as a 2v1. Um, yeah. In essence. Uh, which... No fun allowed. Naughty, naughty. Are there fallen empires in this game? No, there isn't. That's no, all fallen RNG. are removed. How's Comrade doing down south? Let's take a look at that. Comrade's doing fine. Comrade's got 27k. He's, I think he's going back to put those upgrades on because he did get Yes, upset. I would expect so. Let's take a look at his new ship designs. I think it's just... Tier 2 Plasma. Yeah. Tier 2 Plasma, yeah. That'll, that'll so he's going to go up a pretty hefty chunk, I think. He put, I'm not on two of the fallen empires. Yeah, after... There's five winners. They take on us. Yeah, except we used console commands. So <laughs> GG, guys. It's two separate walls. Yeah, they're just discussing the rules. It gives us a chance to just familiarize. Familiar? I can't speak. I can just, I just get used to the map. And have we covered the wreck? Yeah, that's... Yeah, never mind. That's so the current rules discussion is definitely this northern war. What's happened is... So... Armonican Covenant, oh, which is played by Hattori. Yeah, there's loads. There's walls everywhere. Armonican Covenant, double, which declared war on um, Apollo. Apollo, Apollo. Then, Wreck declared war on Armonican Covenant, Hattori Hanzo. Technically, you're not allowed to 2v1 in this rules, but I don't think this counts as a 2v1 because basically one player declared war on one person, someone else declared war on another person, so it's more of a war circle or a war triangle. Um, yeah here going on but there's no way to prove that they haven't communicated with each other to do the war together because I mean, yeah it's it's, it's if you're going to make stuff. rules about not doing this sort of thing it becomes very hard to enforce in these sorts of situations it's like can you prove that behind the scenes they didn't secretly collude no what's a secret collusion count as i have no idea yeah it's just one of those things with this game it's not like legal do but they could also clump their fleets together is the point now so they, they yeah. between them they have 30k which will beat hattori hanzo legally i think they're allowed to put their fleets together oh they're obliged not to lead fleets together that is all so they just can't fight their fleets together okay but that just means that they can fight on two fronts two fronts is still hard to deal with i don't think they have two fronts though there's only that they can only get in one way no no no, no. they're pretty sure they've got two fronts isn't it there's uh it looks like it, but if you zoom in, it's actually not. Like, well, I can't see the um, I can't see the hyperlanes at the moment because the game is paused. But as soon as the game unpauses, yeah, so the it shows me the hyperlanes. In that corner, there's no. He can't get down to Ifor or Beta Corvi. No. Oh, no. I see. 
So there is only one way in. Okay, they're piecing out. So we do well, have a double becomes... wall with the yeah. pig. The pig is in two defensive walls. He's getting attacked from both sides, I think. No, pig's only in one wall. Wait, the oh, pig? Glitched. You mean Imperium of Pig? Yeah. I only see him at war with the horsed horses that are horsing. For some reason, I think this is glitched, honestly. Apollo's in a bug. defensive war. Yeah, we know that. How's Ragoon doing? <laughs> he's he's okay. I mean, he's building up his alloys now. He's running a massive critical resource shortage of something. If he can try and... I don't know. I don't Do you think reckon he he's just AFK? Up. Energy shortage, apparently. He could be AFK. He's, he's buying stuff. He's buying food. And uh, alloys while the game is paused. Methinks that's not sportsmanly, given it could cause problems and desync the game. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Well, what, what we're currently, what we are waiting on. Um, with Ragoon's situation, you'd have to basically try Sorry. again. Yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, you lose loads of minerals, loads of uh, energy credits, loads of stuff in the capital. Yeah, he's spamming destroyers with level two plasmas. He might be able to kill it. Ah, uh, apparently, if I click on a ship, high planes render. That helps. Oh yeah, that works. Yeah, so if you go up the top. Ah, uh, well, I mean, Rhett could come to the north of Hattori Hanzo if he went through our wagon space, the next grid. How's oh, the next the grid the doing, left. though? Yeah. How's R doing? R's making yeah, only 44 out. alloys per month. Yeah, so he pieced out just to avoid collusion. Is it the best time ever for R to have um, to be built making alloys on his capital? But unfortunately, he's not able to support it. His energy economy's down. So he's, he would get plus 120% alloys. I mean, he also gets good energy here. So I don't think he can. I think he's used that like to build up and uh, he's ready. I mean, his his fleet count isn't as impressive as I thought it would be. No, he, I mean, he's got 20k, which is still good. You know, it's still yeah, it's good. good. Um, but compared to like Comrade, who has almost 27. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the real power at the moment in this galaxy, and we're moving again, the real power is coming down from this southern stuff over here. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Um, uh, Giltanus is on the move. With 24k. Yeah. I think he's just going to retake, retake his systems. Yeah. While Comrade is upgrading. And he is slowly just going to keep ticking up. I think he might be able to hit the 30k. Definitely will with Edicts. What Comrade? What is Comrade's ruler? No discount on ships. Reformer champion of the people. That is really unfortunate. He does have retired fleet officer, which is great. But that's kind of a stat. At this level of play, everyone's probably got that. Yeah. 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 On his, uh, on his, uh, on his uh, core sector. Yeah. Or just wherever he's building. Well, he doesn't actually have it. Only when he's building, I think, is he putting it out. Yeah, you just, you just alternate. But the thing with uh, AIs, I think, is it better? The it's AI what better? One? Oh, the AI one. Oh, no, it's the same. Uh, it's right? the same. It should be the same. Yeah, it just looks w better, weird because it's a different color. <laughs> Comrade's almost at 30k here. Yeah, 28k. Strongblog at 30k. How's this attack for Strongblog going as well? I'd like to see. Okay, we might be about to see a big battle here. Yeah, it looks like Strongblog's just strong. Strongblog's just said go. <laughs> Strongblog's gone. Yeah, yeah, go. Uh, what Dick's does? What does the mule have in defense? Otherwise, the, which is good. 26k is good. But what's on the star base? No, he should have put... The first thing you want to do when you see an incoming like this, not a gun battery change, put something like the communications jammer or the disruption field generator. Yeah. Because that's going to provide more of an impact to the fight than a single okay. gun battery. Yeah, I don't know what I really that's like about. communication jammers, especially at this uh, hit and run meta. You can just actually take down more of their ships because a lot of these fights happen over. All right, we're about to have this fight. Okay, here comes the mule. Here, uh, here, sorry, the mule's about to get get hit in the face now. This is going to be with the main engagements. Here we go. Here we go. He's in the system. The mules. 
the it's mules going straight and it's no bait yeah no baiting nothing's happening here we're just going to get a straight up attack and alert that star base tank 30k versus 26k and the army's in front i was in front yeah. they should take the opening round of fire which they did then the regular ships come in i'm getting a bit oh. of lag coming through here from the mule that is i'm gonna say this looks like a victory for the mule no way He's the mule just won that batteries are meta <laughs> no it was the communication would be better what Oh my goodness, and Stronglog's now down to 17k. In the meantime... <laughs> he is not happy about that. How and now, Giltanus's fleets have pulled back. Comrade's going on the offensive. Comrade's got 30k to Giltanus' 25. I mean, this is it. This must be it um, for, for Giltanus. Hattori Hanzo up north. Let's just check that out. Hattori is in a fight, or he... He won the fight. Hattori won the fight, but is now down to only 13k and is on the aggressive to Apollo. Down south, R still has not declared war. We can see R is up here on the border, but no war declared. On the pigs as well, I think. Yeah. Taking that charge. Oh, it's all happening. Unless there's a peace out has happened here. No, no, no. But oh, there we go. He's charging in. Yeah, yeah. And the pigs are trying to run away. Yeah, here they go. He yeah, they are on the run. I think he will them. catch them. I think he will catch. He'll catch the back end. He's, He's going to catch the back end. One is going to jump out, and then the other two are going to get caught. That is going to be really bad for Pig. You don't. Yeah, here we. Oh, he did. He turned around. No, but that's better for Pig because it means at least, at least they won't get defeated in piecemeal. Yeah, that's true. But the, the that's Pig still out. That's Pig gone there. Yeah. That means Pig down here is lost to the south. Giltanus is about to get attacked by Comrade up here, I think. Comrade yeah, is going. We're getting away, some interesting lag options. Uh, interesting lag happening here. Comrade is at 30k. Does, he doesn't even have edicts on. <laughs> Giltanus is not going to have a good time, I don't think. Comrade doesn't have edicts on. Oh my goodness. And he has 30k. He's at minus 31. 30 food as well. Comrade is at... Oh no, sorry, that's Giltanus. Comrade is doing fine with his Comrade economy. Giltanus is looting his economy. Gilt Comrade Three does years. have his edicts on now. 35k! Oh. Holy moly! Well, it's good. Uh, have to pay respects to Giltanus in chat, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Three yeah, that's, that is part of the problem with only running star bases with food, though, I suppose, is when you lose them, you lose the food. Yeah. Here we go. This is $3,500 down the train for Giltanus. Hours Comrade in the making. Prequel, pr preliminary fights have happened. But instead, he's lost it all. On. That's no, he's out. He's out. Yeah, no he's way. Gone. No, he's gone. Easy win. Easy win there from Comrade. Comrade still has 24k even after the fight. Yeah, Meanwhile, the mule, terrible. the mule is pressing forwards on the attack. In response, oh, Ezra is on the attack. Who is Ezra attacking? Bidobu. He's taking him out. Okay, so as I oh, mentioned, yeah, that. that's going to be a vassal though. Is this a vassal war? No, it's a war of conquest. Huh? He's claimed the planets. What? Is Bodobu a rose servitor? He is not. He's clone. No, Bodobu's oh, rogue servitor. Clone, sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah. Bodobu's rogue servitor. So that does mean there are some biopops on the planets, I suppose. I guess he but just wants there's not that many. Oh, I guess you you get a he's getting a relic world. Yeah. A size twenty two relic world as a capital. I see. Can you make AI puppets in this game? I believe you can, but you might want to check the Yeah, rules. no, you can. You like, can't change the contracts. Jojo's currently in first place, just quietly, quietly building up his empire. Only three planets, but like really pushing ahead on tech, really he's pushing not ahead on alloys. To beat anyone either. No. I'm and trying to meet one person. Is he? Has he has he set one up? First con he's doing two first contacts. He's seeing his neighbor getting taken down, and he's probably a little concerned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Comrade, meanwhile, yeah, this is Comrade's now going to be landing armies. He's taken Earth. Earth has fallen. Um, there we are. Oh, it's starting to go down to... How did Strongblog lose down south? Strongblog Ooh. is running R is better ships in. now. Where's R R's attacking. Yeah, R is on the attack. Okay, here the comes the determined exterminator attack. His, his home world could blow up at any time. It still has... 10, uh, sorry, 43 good pops on it. He's hopefully going to smash through here and take the capital of this player, which is uh, which is going to be a, a rogue servitor. So that's quite helpful. Yeah. It's, what's his origin? Uh, here Martin dragon. says uh, he can... Oh, there's a dragon in the defense. The oh, okay. Yeah, 
But Nex only has 10k of ships. 10k with a dragon cannot defeat what know. is coming against. It's, ah, no way. I, I'm saying no. Computer says no. It's not, but his build isn't optimized. I guess it is plasmas, actually. The Inward Perfectionist now has 15k, which is respectable, if a little later than the other players. Uh, gone with mining guilds to finish psychic, so I'm assuming... Uh, oh, think. what? How on earth? What? Oh, he was cheated of the shroud. Sorry, he was cheated of the shroud. That's why. I I misunderstood for a moment what was going on there. I was like, wait, how is that possible? <laughs> the psychic. Yeah, and he's got the psychor and everything. Yeah, no, no, not just that. Having a psychic leader. I was like, is that a migration pack? Now I understand. Yeah. Did Rune ever build enough fleet to get his zombie dragon? Let's take a look. At, let's check in on Ragoons, who's not last now. But unfortunately, so he built up everything and then lost to the zombie dragon. Uh, to the regular dragon. So there's no zombie. And Ragoons is still playing, but I don't think he really... I, I mean, that's the thing. You need to pull yourself back up. It would, it would take a lot of character in this situation to go, you know what? My entire plan has failed, but let's keep trying. Yeah. Um, we'll just have to see the what is, he does. All the game goes on, the more that meme dies. So it's yeah. I I don't see a way back now. That it maybe if he did it on that next attempt, but third attempt, I don't know. So here we go. Comrade is taking over that space. The mules coming up north. I think we're about to get another mule strongblog fight. Oh yes, there is. It's right now. It's about to happen. Strongblog's jumped in with 28k. The mule also has 28k. And there, we, he's tanked the initial wave with his uh, armies and then flown in afterwards. This is going to be another mule uh, mule victory. Solid victory going. there. The pig looks like they are out. They're just getting slowly sieged down by Silas. The mule has lost more ships in that engagement, though. Interestingly. Does the blog actually... Ooh, the blog does have... Ships. If he could... See, the thing the mule... Um... Wait, sorry, no. Strong blog won that fight. I apologize. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> I called the wrong victor. That was a strong blog. Of course. Yeah, sorry, that was a strong blog. I apologize. Ladies, but strong blog did win that one. I leaving the mule with less fleets. Yeah, so it's a very close battle between them both. One battle won from each. The other fights seem like once that first battle's won, it's it's over. But down here, it's tight. It's like <gasps> no, battle. look, look. So Comrade, <laughs> so um, Comrade's taking all the planets. These ships uh, are trying to take the space. Comrade's just trying to finish uh, finish off um, this player now. But unfortunately, the player would love to be able to go through Comrade's space and attack, but he can't because of the fortress on this world, which is just completely inhibiting any sort of yeah. aggressive tendency due to this Very FTL inhibitor. Great. It's going to be great. So he's, he's going in now. Oh, no, he's not. He's stopped. Oh, no, he's going. <laughs> he's going to go, and then he's just going to be stuck there, and he's going to yeah. go, oh, I see. The importance of those fortresses. Hopefully, Comrade enables it, because it's currently disabled. So what Comrade I needs to do imagine. is Comrade needs to put... No, it doesn't matter if it's disabled. You still get the FTL inhibitor. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, look. You can see it's active at the moment. It doesn't have the shield. He's yet. enabled it now. Armies are going to spawn in a second. That's the thing. Even if, even if, um, even if he wins the fight in space, even if uh, Giltanus wins the fight in space, he cannot take a single world because he has no planets. All of his planets are occupied and he has no armies. Yeah, so he's just trying Giltanus to... is out here. He's just trying to make it worse for Comrade to stop him snowballing, which is the honorable thing to do. Up north, Giltanus R is about to hit the capital. I think he's probably just seen the dragon, though, and he's gone, oh. So yeah. Nex has pulled back. He's now got 15k. That's much more survivable. 15k plus a dragon versus R. What's R got? Uh, R has got 22k. That is close. He does have plasma twos, though, so which is the counter to the dragon, right? Yeah, plasma two is really good. Extra armor, massive armor extra, massive hull damage extra. Yeah, he's got two. He got a large plasma, a medium plasma, large railgun, medium railgun. All of the top players except Jojo, who's just been allowed to do whatever he wants and now has 25k here. <gasps> and you know who Jojo's going to be attacking, don't you? Well, look, Jojo's moved his fleets up here to the border. Ooh. The border that currently is one player, but very soon will be a different player in just a moment. A player who has his fleets a little bit more spread out. 
A little bit less ready, a little bit lower. Yeah, Jojo is currently stronger in fleet power too. Otherwise, Hattori... And there seems to have been a bit of a back and forth up north. We haven't quite noticed it, but Tori must have been repulsed at one point because now there's 20k coming down to face her Tori's 20k. Even though Apollo was losing, Apollo now is at even Steven's position. Oh, really? But her Tori has built up the star base, it looks like here. So this star base, yeah. yeah, okay, this star base has got disruption field, communications jammer, a tier four guns. He's not going to get through this. E they have equal fleets. It's not getting through. Uh, Hattori's space is defended. Well. Oh, there goes the Bido. That's Ezra claiming everything. And he's going to be killing, unfortunately, killing all of those robots. Yeah. What a waste of robot pops. I have to pay respects to those robots, ladies and gentlemen. All yeah, of them disassembled. I kind of feel that like that's an attack on me. And now Ezra's at a war again. Guess who's declared on him? Yes, just as we predicted, Shit. Jojo is going to stab the knife in the second that peace deal came up. That was beautiful. And he's claimed all the worlds Ezra just took. Ezra does not have the army now, the, the forces here, to repulse Jojo with this immediate and aggressive oh, attack. No. And Jojo's going to get quite a lot out of that. Well, he's going to get the planets. But he's a hive mind, so he's not actually going to be able to do very much with it. He's still going to purge all of the pops. But he does get Worlds the are good, but pops are much better. You know, if, if another yeah. empire eats an empire where they get the pops, so in the case of Conrad, right? Where's Conrad? Uh, he... Yeah, that's the thing with um, the mix. When the meta was just robots, it just made the meta robots even more because everyone was mm. robot. <laughs> Conrad Tom, here. It, just causing a bit of mayhem but when well basically Conrad needs to get Giltanas to he wants to get Giltanas to 100% war exhaustion then two years later he can force the peace yeah yeah but he also doesn't want, to doesn't want to lose his fleets he could easily easily force oh no Conrad don't get your fleet trapped like this get out oh. of there get out of there he split chased. his fleet oh. up oh Conrad's been greedy there is he gonna get out no, he yes. did. No, he did get out. He did get out, but he has been greedy. I assume his fleets. What is he? Oh, he's. He, I think he has. He, no, he's trying to wrap around. He's not going to make it though. Oh, he's going back. On... Yeah, he's going back to Thoth here to grab the so Sith star Conrad, base. Though? Oh no, he stopped. stopped. Oh, good. Conrad stopped. Good. You don't want Conrad to kill himself. That'd be. Uh, oof. Meanwhile, Strongblog now has thirty k, and where is Strongblog? Where is fleets? They've gone north. Oh. oh. Strong Blorg. Strong Blorg is... What's he doing? Nobody expects the Blorg Inquisition. He is flying. What's the mule doing as well? Is he upgrading? Yeah, he's just chilling. No, he's, yeah, he's not doing anything. He's, maybe he's AFK. His fleets are not even repairing. Huh, I just kind of sat there. Oh, they are repairing now. Good, okay. Um, but it looks like Strongblog is moving his fleets north. Where are his claims? Apollo just lost a bunch of his fleets. Oh, no. Did Apollo just lose it? Did he, yeah. did he fly into Vin and, as yeah. predicted, lose it all? Yeah, because of the inhibitor, I think. Ah, uh, did not manage to take the dragon out. Did he try? I don't know. His fleets, I think, are AFK uh, on the way, but he tried and he failed. He took the fleets out, but didn't kill the dragon, and then yeah. he retreated. So he's going to attempt a second go, or alternatively, what can work quite well is if you fly in, kind of annoy the dragon in one part of the system, and then land the armies, because you still own the star base. If you get the armies down, you're fine. Yeah. I think that's what he'll probably end up doing. Jojo is... E oh, Jojo's fighting here. Jojo is fighting Ezra. It's the big fight here. So far, Ezra seems to be on the losing side of this. He did have a smaller fleet. It's destroyers versus cruisers in that matchup. Yeah, he's gonna... Yeah. And there it is. Jojo did just push Ezra back. Ezra now has only 13k, meaning Jojo can just take all of these... All of these worlds Ezra just fought it's for just are lost to him. Cut for... Yeah, and um, Jojo has all that claimed as well. How else are we doing that? Hattori 
Hattori's now pushing the attack, obviously. Silas has completely won the war. No questions asked over here. 22k. The mule is kind of just sitting back, building up again, hoping that it doesn't get attacked. On the other hand, Strongblog... Strongblog is... He's trying to go in... Like, there's something going on in the chat, which I've been reading. Comrades saying that they can't attack. I don't know what they're doing. It, to be honest. Comrade is saying they're in a pack and they're trying to um, 2v1 him. They haven't declared yet. No, so what's going to happen here, right, is that you're not allowed to 2v1. But Comrade's saying, oh, they're basically saying, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll, they'll both... Uh, so... They'll have a war. Is there a pact between them? Let me just check. They do have um, a defensive pact. If they have a defensive pact, that counts as an alliance. Yes. They have yeah, a defensive Conrad's pact, that's right. an alliance. Yeah. They're in a pact. Yeah, they're literally in a defensive pact. This is against the rules. Yeah, they are they in a can't. diplomatic alliance. They cannot declare the war. If they do, that is a breach of the rules. Yeah. So Comrade is looking good here. Well, basically, no, not really. Even if Conrad wins, he'll then have to deal with um, Giltanus's fleets. New Strongbolt's fleets. Yeah, rules say they can't coordinate fleets. They're not going to coordinate fleets, Jones Hacks. Um, they aren't in a joint war, no, but the rules say that you can't 2v1 a player in the fair play thing basically and in this case because they're in a defensive pact they count as being in an alliance there's a subsection about alliances and diplomatic relations and because of that exactly the simultaneous attack by several players on one and the simultaneous use of fleets armies neutral to each other will be considered an attempt to circumvent the rules regarding an alliance if they don't stack the fleets together yeah there's lots of russian confusion going on in the chat about why they can and cannot do something it's, the point yeah, is they're not meant to be able to do this kind of stuff that was literally the point yeah, because you can just target people, and Comrade does have a target on his back. A little bit. He is a streamer, and, you know. I mean, that's no... Ex I mean, sometimes he will just get killed fairly. But, to be fair, in the rules here, Comrade is in the right. They do have a defensive pact, which means they can't... I mean, what they could do is they could end the defensive pact and then declare war, but then it's like, well, obviously you're working together. <laughs> Come on, people. Yeah. And do Isn't it... Like, oh no, that's a non-aggression with the tenure thing. Everywhere else seems quite peaceful. It looks like Apollo's going to actually get taken out here. He has 10k versus a uh, No, so it was as in my Twitch chat says, ending a defensive pack still makes you have the truth. Truce, and you're counted as allies. No, and no, it's oh, you only count as allies if you have a non-aggression pact and then truce out from the non-aggression pact. All other truces oh, don't count as allies. Deals. It's not any truce. No, no, well, no, it is any. It's any of the deals, but it's not any truce. If you have a truce, you still count as allies. If it was a non-aggression pact, then a truce. Is the pacifist still alive? For now, yes. Yeah, he's gonna win. Was no, question, he's got 24k. So I mean, he's still get, he's getting better, but like, uh, what's, <laughs> he's not it's got. The long game. Oh, he's not got his world. I just don't. It's not. I'm not gonna. We're not supporting this kind of tomfoolery. This kind I of tomfoolery is not allowed. I believe he can't claim anyone. How can he get bigger? Doesn't need to. He's got manifest joy and and stride walker teacher. It's fine. <laughs> so there's also a rule in there about um. Ba -ba -ba. He well, you if you you in theory you could outlast, but you just can't scale economically. Oh, so we've got a new war going on. Where who? Jojo? Uh, no. Ukukril. Who? Ukukril. That's the one. Yeah, he is yeah. R. Oh, defensive war versus R. R. So R has declared on him. He's. Why? I what for? No. He doesn't have any claims on our stuff. Is he just waiting for the peace out timer against um, the next grid? He just can't be bothered to fight the dragon, maybe? No, 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 no. Singularity declared war on R, and R has a defensive alliance with Ukukuril. Singularity is at war with R. Oh, I've yes. misread 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so Singularity here, uh, Singularity here has declared war on R. Let's go to Singularity's thing, Close and we'll see this. And he's he's running around R systems. Singularity declared war on R while R's fleets are elsewhere. We know not where. Well, we do know where. We can take a look immediately. Where are R's fleets? R's they fleets. Are back. Well, they're they're kind of all over the show, aren't they? They're in Eglor. Wait, can you see my pings? Can you see me ping that? Yeah. No. Maybe ping again. Oh yeah, I could. On Eglor. Don't do that because everyone else will probably be able to see. <laughs> oh, can they? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I've always only people in the same federation. Oh, I don't know. Ah, yeah, not I sure. I won't do it, just in case. But now they're bringing their armies up together. So actually, yeah, okay, so here we got 40k is going to come in and it's just going to ruffle stomp Singularity. Yeah, Singularity probably a bit off more than he could choose. He probably yeah, he didn't realize. Grid had more. Yeah. Next has nothing. Ezra's in chat saying, wait, wait, please don't kill me. <laughs> Ezra's saying, rule break. What's the rule break? Jojo and me. Oh, there's another... I don't know if these are glitch. Yeah, these are glitches, actually. What? Like visual glitches of the war stuff at the uh, bottom possibly. Right. No borders. No borders? What? <laughs> no bitches, no borders. He captured, yeah, he captured the system, then they declared war. Yeah, exactly. He captured Bidobadu, and then oh, Bidobadu, 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 Bidobadu. He captured Abadubada, Bana Badavam. Is it because he doesn't have a system next to that? Like he's not claiming an alliance? No, they're, they're, people are getting confused between ally alliances. You have to be adjacent for an alliance and being able to um, being able to attack. Also, neutral systems count as mutual own, so it's fine. He can he claim through the neutral system here. No one has taken Wegtwert, and Wegtwert's just sat here. Look at it. What? Beautiful size 19 Wegtwert, absolutely untouched. No. It's just like, literally, it's like two jump, three jumps away from, it's only going to be Jojo getting, okay, Jojo's going to hide the heck out of this. Yeah. If Jojo gets those planets, he's gonna be strong. this is going to be strong. And he's getting that guy world. If, if he's left untouched. <laughs> It's not good. Yeah, I mean, so there is this is an issue, um, Airways as about the Stars multiplayer games. A lot of these multiplayer games have like eight or nine pages of um, rules, yeah. meaning in order to adjudicate them, you need to have like a bloody legal degree to get through the darn thing, um, yeah, or better. Physics degrees, what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> it means nothing, nothing. How's Comrade doing? He's gonna be able to piece out this war very soon, I would assume. Yeah. Stronglog has now Stronglog has 40k. Goodness gracious! <laughs> I'm choking on how much power that is. It does have edicts on, but still, that is it. year 40, 40k. That's uh, that's a k for each year of the game we've had. <laughs> and and the mule is going. Nope, 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 nope. I think I'll leave. Yeah. They are almost at 100% war exhaustion, though. It's not going to take very long, and they're going to have to piece out. At which point. That means Strong Blog will not get anything. The mule can piece it out I when they get to 100. Think the mule knows about that fleet pack because he is going in. He no, he turned around. Oh, he's turning around. He turned around a while ago. I am blind. And he can see it. I'm looking at his stream. He can see. Oh, no, his stream. His. His. Uh, what he can see. Well, he can't oh, yeah. see all of it, but he can see 27, 30k worth. Yeah. Wait, so something's happened with Jojo. Is he being forced to be sad? I think the issue was that uh, Badobadu is still in the game. What? No. No, no. All of those worlds were taken. They were owned by Ezra. Oh. Badobu's gone. His I empire is gone. Think. Oh, it's because his yeah. planet's called that. <laughs> yeah. It, the thing is, it wasn't a rule break. It was a confusion. Yeah. Meanwhile, Silas still there. hasn't actually... Let's just go to the regular... Silas still hasn't actually managed to end this war. He's now... At, the enemy's at 100% war exhaustion, so that should do it. But you can't just surrender in this game, as far as I know. Uh, Ragoons is just kind of chilling, doing nothing at the, at the moment. I mean, the thing he's is... Bomb, yeah, he's not bothering much. I think he could have come... I mean, he's had 15 years he is now. He's building up destroyers. He has 66 destroyers queued up. 
And it's oh, is he? Oh! Oh! Dude, yes, might, Ragoon! Might yes, come, come back. back! Ladies and gentlemen, Bond, do you do want you Ragoon to come back? Action? Oh, do I? Okay, it's My stream says it's healthy. It was uh, some oh, Discord. Solaris chat. What? Solaris oh. text. <laughs> There's so many different text chats and stuff we have going on at the minute. Yeah, I'm going to take this brief gap to tell everyone that's watching to remember to like this video or stream. No, it's a stream. It's a stream, guys. Like the stream. Like Monty stream. Like my stream. It helps out a bunch and gets it out to more people like you, as Monty would say. I don't know if he still says that. I don't think I say that anymore. I, I don't know. I, I ah, would say, at the moment, I would remember. say, mm, compete for that like button. Yeah, that's um, the one. Blood for the blood like button. God. <laughs> Likes for the like God. Likes we'll go for the with that. pacifist. No, no likes the pacifist. Dislikes the pacifist on... Go to like, EP throws and send them dislikes. Ratio him. No, don't really do it. That's Mr. bad. Clyde, be mean. Who? 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 Oh, Jojo's been at war for ages. No, the, the pacifist is at war with... Jojo, Jojo, because the pacifist can attack. Oh, that's of course. So the pacifist, even though he is pacifist, he's probably on. He's not fanatic pacifist, so he no, is able yeah. to do liberation wars, meaning he can just do full on wars of aggression against hive minds because they're not. He can't do ideology, ideological yeah. wars. What is it? It's a humiliation war. So he's you gone to war and then he's going to make claims. Right? Well, he, yeah, he hasn't got claims. Um, uh, he's got max influence. That's weird. He hasn't done it yeah. before. Is it just going to cost more now? Monty sounds just like a dog then. <laughs> when you really like, who? Who, who, who? Who, who? So somebody was just eliminated. I didn't quite catch who died. Oh, God. Apollo died. Is... Apollo yeah. just went. Comrade, the truck is steamrolling. It'd be interesting to see if oh. he does go for Strongborg. <laughs> Stronglog now has enough power. No, Stronglog doesn't have enough power anymore to fight him off. He's only got 33k. Yeah. Uh, but that's uh, Giltanus went out there. GG Giltanus, you you gave us a good uh, some good content. So Comrade is using all these new pops as servants. That's because he's so. It's really good when you conquer a new world. He'll have his default rights to domestic servitude as a rogue servitor and uh, not a rogue servitor as a necrophage you should go domestic servitude to start it just yeah, okay. it means all the planets will never have if you look at those planets he's conquered like the forge where, is 69 where are they yeah years. they have no they've got no stability issues because they've got so many amenities from all of those servants yeah yeah they're not making good. anything and that's a problem but you fix that once you start like you know you repurpose the world a bit and you fix it yeah or you do a necro, you purge the pops. Yeah, because he's getting different species too. They're all Just clone definitely. soldier descendants. Oof, pretty good stuff. Yeah, Comrade is looking real strong here. Silas is still working on the pigs. Ukukuril and Ukukuril and R seem to have done a good job. R's now probably going north, yeah, to deal with the dragon. I think he has 18k now. I think the, the 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 kind of the, the person we're not talking about who is really doing the best at the moment and is at the top of the leaderboard here is Silas PT. Yeah, he is just he's won his war. He's yeah, really converting those uh, any minute or any minute team. now he'll have completely finished the war. It's still not over, is it? Because it's still at. Um, and the pigs are. They're just out. Just a species. They're, they're so be gone. he's not going to have issues. Like he's going to get all these clone descendants. Are they clone descendant? Oh my goodness! And he is teaches the shroud, so he'll be just he'll just he'll just turn them into regular worlds. He'll go, yes, thank you, yeah. you can work for me now, and he'll double his economy overnight. Yeah. So Hattori, Hattori stole it. Hattori got all of Apollo's. Yes, sorry, you mentioned it earlier. I just didn't pick up on it. And look, there's a size twenty relic world, just sat there on the northeast. Of who? Sorry. Of sorry. Uh, of where Apollo used to be. Uh, of Hattori's oh, new space. Apollo, I didn't see... Oh, you didn't see Apollo dying. Yeah, that was... Uh, oof. Rest in peace, Apollo GG, if you're in the chat now. Where is R as well? R's homeworld, how is it doing? It's 
Must Ars Homeworld is gone. Yeah. Ars Homeworld exploded. Yep. So R it was a determined exterminator. Bump. There goes capital. his capital right now. We can watch it explode, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. At least he's getting some minerals out of that, I suppose. Um, he saved most of his pops, I would assume, because he's still got 117 pops. Sorry about that. I am back. Huh? Oh, I didn't know you'd gone. Sorry. Uh, hello, wow. Welcome back. <laughs> Estra is pieced out now. He's lost those planets to Jojo. Jojo says what? GG. But the thing is, Ezra's not out forever. Ezra's no. like he's still got a good fleet. Yeah, he's and got he a good lost fleet. He gained from the initial thing. It's... And what he doesn't know is there is that he can go and hit Hattori to his west. Only a few jumps away, there's a relic world he doesn't know about. Yeah. There's other worlds. Like people need to. Pe That's the thing I think happens at this point because everyone's fit so busy fighting. You're not able to econ. So in some ways, players like Jojo who didn't have any fighting at year thirty were able to continue their econ game and keep building up their fleet, and that's why he came out swinging. The later yeah. you can start the join the fight, the better you tend to do in these sorts of things. Yeah. Wait, Krill, she is peace now. Was it never actually a war, and it was just a visual glitch for me? <laughs> no, no, there was a war. I think he only went to war to try to save Ezra's stuff, and then he made peace. Ah. They have a truce for ten years. Yeah. Okay. He's trying to influence the galaxy. <laughs> Um, Zebin07, how did Hattori win the double war? Hattori won because uh, the Wreck made peace with Hattori uh, because they couldn't two, they couldn't both fight in the same system and uh, the Wreck decided that, that it would just be too annoying because there was only one way to go through so they'd have to fight one at a time and the Wreck decided to peace out instead and focus on his economy or whatever it is he wanted to do. There goes the Imperium um, of Pig. Um, that throws Silas up into the higher-ups as well. Yeah. The only war left going on then is Singularity fighting the next grid. Because down south, Tianka Vec was stolen by the mule. <laughs> Interestingly, <clears throat> Tianki Vec was stolen by the mule from Strongblog. And that's about it. Uh, there, there was little going on there. Strongblog's really come out, you know, not so well. His ally in Giltanus lost to Comrade. Comrade's eaten that up. Strongblog lost to the mule. 35k. Yeah, but the mule, no, it's about to be year 50. The mule, ugh, the mule hasn't met Conrad. If the mule could meet Comrade, Comrade and the mule could form a defensive alliance or form yeah. do a joint war against Strongblog together and just wipe him out. Uh, now the only person Comrade knows of is Strongblog. Yeah. And let's take a look at Ragoons as well. How's Ragoons doing? Has he pumped those ships out yet? He's going to have them all done, I believe, in somewhere in the region of... They're all starting to come out now, and he's building 90. 90 destroyers. <laughs> and then he's going to go Here in and he's going to show Horozgar that he means business. Here come the destroyers, ladies and gentlemen. So what he's done here is he's shift-clicked them all the way to the bottom, basically, so that they don't come up. Right, I will be just uh, momentarily back. I have run out of liquid libations, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you'll be listening to the dulcet towns, uh, dulcet tones of EP3 for the next 60 seconds while I run to the refrigerator. Good time here. Yeah, so next grid is currently... Oh, the dragon! It's almost time. It is... Did he... What is going on over here? So it looks like R is going around to just corner... I am seeing how I do it. I do have a drink. Don't worry. So R Wait is a minute. Sorry. I heard in my headphones. Dragon, which dragon? Who's dragon? So R is about... He's just circling the dragon. He's trying to take the other planets. Uh, I it, see. And then he's going to fly in for the dragon. I mean, the problem is there's still 9 or 10k in that system. Plus yeah. the star base, which has the disruption field generator and the extra range. R only has 22k there. I think he's just going to try and land it, and he does have 100% war exhaustion. Uh, yeah, I think if I was him, I might just take the two planets and say thanks, good enough. Yeah. Let's be honest, what's on the capital? What's on the capital? Research. And a bit of alloy production. Does he need the research? No. I think it's all the pops there. But he, what is on the other worlds? He's got 34 pops on one world producing a 200 energy. He could take the energy. And there's yeah, the peace deal. Right. There's the peace yeah, deal right there. 
Oh, he pieced out before he could get the planet that he had his transports on. Uh, he must have been at 100% war exhaustion, yeah. maybe. I think it was auto, but... The next group Meanwhile, Singularity up. are having a bit of a tough time. Singularity still has his dragon. Reg he, Ragoons has renamed himself Regalian Salvation. <laughs> if Ragoons comes back to podium here, this is going to be a tale of true fortitude and spirit. Didn't get a system because of Vlad. I had it captured and claimed, but... Oh, he actually did. So he did that on purpose. He was too quick. Oh. Uh, That's a real shame. I think the, AR, the other guys should probably be, have to give it to him, maybe. I don't know, but whatever. Yeah. I, I guess it's just tough, isn't it, at the end of the day. Anyway, I will I will take that. I do need to go to the refrigerator. I'll be back momentarily, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he just ran back. <laughs> right, Jojo is doing decent. He's got the... 2k if there's anyone else you want to look at just say in chat me and monty will try and cover people who you want to see stronghold does have 37k but yeah he's gonna be pincered you think jojo's gonna win very interesting comrade is 37k too what is comrade doing he has got droid workers he has got planetary shields now too, which is really good for just making some choke points. And that defensiveness. Hi, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. That defensiveness with the shield generators is really going to help. His yeah. his core worlds here being guarded. Unfortunately for him, it's his alloy world that's got is the guard, which is the <laughs> one world you don't want to have under bombardment because every point of devastation reduces your um output from your jobs. Yeah. Oof, what a lovely sound. But th that in the end means that you basically uh, will have no alloys being produced by this world as it gets bombarded, which you'll need to do to get past it. How many alloys everyone's making per month? Let's take a look at the top players. So, Comrade's currently making... Four... <laughs> He is using the automation. What? To, is he also... No, he's energy. he's also re-employed all of them. He's given them... He's put them all on his uh, social welfare indentured servitude. So he's got two alloy worlds. This is what we're talking about, doubling the economy here. So he just yes. literally doubled his econ. He went, yes, I'll take both. Yeah. The game this asked him how many terrible. alloys he needs, and Comrade said, yes, please. Yes. Yeah. How many good. alloys do you want, Comrade? Yes. Silas has done not the same yet. He's at 200, but Silas took those worlds a little later and he's currently making consumer goods from them. <gasps> he's had to switch them over to consumer goods just to balance his econ because he ran out. Comrade will yeah. have to do the same as well eventually, probably. Um, uh, and also Silas is going to get the alloy nano plants in just a moment. That should boost his income probably around 250. Right, Hattori. Hattori's at 250. Ukukuril's at 150. That's pretty low. Jojo. Uh, Jojo's at... 181. Ours oh, pretty low now that his uh, plants got. That's the issue with the snowball. Like he didn't really get benefits from his doomsday. Like he he did at the start, but he's not really captured much to help him. Just so apparently, Ars going to get those planets back. That planet. Um, they're just going to check whether or not. Uh, they're checking the save. It won't be in the save because he literally did it momentarily due to lag it was never on the save uh, my, my chance asking what i'm drinking i'm currently drinking a tubo ro which is unfiltered oh, i'm drinking h2o filtered Ugh, filtered no, it's filtered filtered it's oh it's welsh, welsh. so it's nice comedy and beef poppity ping Etc. No I one know. says poppity ping. Don't it's don't do that. Not real Welsh. It's yeah, slang that's... for a microwave. Let's do Welsh flesh lessons while we pause. We'll all say who we are. Wait, is that? Yeah. Oh, we... I'll post the Discord link at the end, Yern Sachs. Just 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 wait. If you stick around to the end, ladies and gentlemen, it'll come up there at the very end. Um, I Welsh promise. Welsh, Welsh water. Our Ecomonopolis is... Oh, I can't read. Are Ecomonopolis, Hive Worlds, Gaia Worlds, and Machine Worlds banned? Or are they allowed? Yeah, they're all allowed. Pretty sure. Gaia Worlds and Machine Worlds. Oh, yeah, there, there's somebody playing with a Gaia World, right? That was yeah. um, somebody. Yeah, uh, fine, right? Ecomonopolis. Oh! There are two planets in the Roshan system, and he didn't take both of them. So it's a skill issue. 
It was a skill issue. He just didn't notice the other planet. Oh, that is gutting. That is so gutting. Oh my goodness me. And that's why it's important to do save game checks. That is a skill issue right there. That yeah. is so, that's embarrassing. I had it. Why did it not happen? Oh, you need to take all the planets in a system. Even at this level, mistakes can be made. R has been fully memed by like pausing and checking. Yeah. Like, things <laughs> things have not gone. I do have faith. He is a good player, but it's not ideal. He really needed those two planets. Those were uh, the alloy worlds from uh, the next, and he doesn't really have an alloy world now. All right, they're taking a five-minute buy break. While they're doing that, we're going to have a look around the empires. So who's in the position of living still? Uh, Comrade's doing well. Comrade is um, necrophage, technocracy, masterful crafters. And then he's thrown in Distinguished Admiralty. He's doing really well. Um, yeah. He's the front runner at the minute, I think. Silas is probably is a good number two. He's also eaten another player. Uh, yeah. yeah. And has a destroyer focus build cost Admiral along with fleet expansion. That means that his destroyers are going to be at like minus 30% cost overall. Is Jeez he, Louise. He's using destroyers. Well, part of this mod, yeah, 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 he is. Part of this mod as well reduces the overall um, benefit from things like fleet expansion and destroyer focus. Because if you get them, it can be so GGing. It's um, it's a bit over the top. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, very good here. Hattori, not many ships, but has eaten another player. However, is now at war with Wreck. But Wreck and Hattori now have similar fleet size of like thirteen k, and they don't have the same output though. In the long run, Hattori here is making 255 alloys. Hattori's going to come out on top. Wait, Hattori and... Oh, I've clicked on the wrong thing. Hattori's at the very top of the screen. He ate Apollo earlier in the game. Ah, oh, yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. How's Ukukuril yeah. doing? Oh, Ukukuril's building habitats. Oh, Lord. Yeah, when you start seeing Ukukuril with habitats, that's the time to start getting afraid. He's going to... He will econ his way into the future, this player. Yeah, um, he's used uh, R as like a defensive meat shield. <laughs> he basically so has. Like he can just tech crush. Well, the thing is, there's no one around him that he can attack except Silas. So yeah. his, it's in his interest to kind of get ahead of Silas from a research and economy point of view. And then yeah. once ahead of Silas, eat him. Om nom nom. Yeah. Who's the weakest right now? Yeah, the Nex is probably the weakest right now. He's lost most of his planets. Most players have either lost everything or someone they've eaten. Uh, Nex has just lost some of his stuff. He only has three, well, three planets, but he's just lost so much. It could have been worse. And then we've got Jojo, who met no one until year 33, and then discovered Ezra, who was just invading um, Baboobadoo, Boopadoopadoo, Bidobu even, at which point uh, Jojo went, yes, please. I, uh, uh, sorry, Ezra went, I'm going to claim these systems. And Jojo went, yes, please, I'll have them, thank you. And Ezra went, no, 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 you see, I'm going to, yes, please, I'll have them, thank you, said Jojo. And Jojo got them. Even um, a Krillish, a pacifist, tried to declare war, and that didn't go well for Krillish. No, sir, D. Krillish is going to win there. He's bordering Conrad. After... Uh that's after the after um yeah. strong blog, that makes him the next target yeah that's a good point is it allowed to go in l cost someone's asking i don't think l cost uh like l gates are on i haven't seen any anyway i think it's in the rules yeah, i mean at this at the moment i'm gonna guess winners are gonna be conrad and silas I well, think. strongest players at the moment is looking Comrade Silas, Hatori. But the thing is, the thing is, as we've seen, Hattori's we're only up. seeing. Well, no, Hatori's doing very well. Hatori's currently got as many worlds as Silas has. Economically, mm. yes, Hatori doesn't have the ships right now, but Hatori has the economic power. And in this game, econ power is going to outlast it. Unless yeah. Wreck can sneak a win, which Wreck might be able to do because they have equal fleet and Hattori has much more space to defend. If Wreck can sneak a win, then sure. But otherwise, Hattori is in a, is in a very good position. Yeah. JoJo's looking up there too. It's mainly the people who have 
eaten someone. Exactly. Well, exactly. They're in the good spots here. Now, the thing is, it could all change due to one bad war. Comrade could get knocked out, for example. Like, two players yeah. could team up on him, and then he's gone. Yeah, um, it's all in the balance. Regina's Reckon Hattori are at war. There's no truce between Reckon Hattori. They're at war. It was a 10-year truce, Yon Sanks, and they're currently fighting. Uh, Rek yeah. is currently taking the systems that Hattori just got. And Hattori, on the other hand, is stuck. Where are Hattori's fleets, you might be asking, in FTL return, and they're not going to be back for another year. And then when they come back, they'll be in the capital, meaning uh, Rek can take all of this stuff, yeah. all of it, and then defend this far off system here or something like that from uh, from Hattori. Yeah, that's what I'm saying about Hattori. It's not looking too hot. If he wasn't in this war, he'd be in a good spot. But because he's getting attacked by the wreck, it's not looking too good. It's when you choose your battles, especially when there's three people next to each other. If one just waits for them both to like kill each other. <laughs> You're gonna be in a good position, especially if you had like if they if they fought really hard and lost yeah. a lot of fleets. It's, it's not gonna yeah. be good. Yeah, Singularity's lost all of Sing all of his fleets though. Oh goodness me, Singularity's in a fight here, down to only three k overall fleet left. Uku Krill has just cr crashed, uh, cracked his stuff. Oof, let's check it out. Only fifty four ships left. Twelve, twelve. Uh, what they called cruisers 12 cruisers and three destroyers is all that's left of the mighty navy of singularity <laughs> yeah singularity's not looking too hot he had to do something though if he just sat there and watched these neighbors grow strong he's just gonna be out he does have here be dragons though wait they still arguing about the same thing How many choke points does Jojo have? I mean, he's just like spread out. Too crazy. Oh, he does have Wenkwick. He has just uh, put construction ship on it, which is pretty huge. You do get the gardens, which just gives you 10% to output and sign up straight output, 20%. Wait, were they oh, Oz only long? just realized um, oh, oh, we knew. he did miss it. He did miss it. <laughs> he, he's, he's currently saying, no, there's only one planet. And it's like, oh, he's just seen there's two. Yeah, yeah, behind an asteroid. <laughs> okay, resumed. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Aragon didn't bother answering. Aragon was like, I'm not going to say anything. Um, so uh, basically, there's an asteroid here. Or something. There's an asteroid somewhere. Um, or a mining habitat or something. I said it's mining habitat. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Basically, okay. he just missed it. The mining base above this moon meant he didn't see it. It was just like, funny. Just all of the UIs like overlapping. <laughs> Skill gap here, right, guys? Get good. That's all we can say. Yeah. Yeah. Why? He could have just put it on aggressive. It would have just invaded it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, if you didn't see, uh, Jojo now has Wankwork, so he is... Oh, he did? He hasn't colonized it yet, but he he has just constructed above it. And yeah, the colony ship's come out. It's heading towards there, I believe. He's only just found it. Yeah, okay, he's found it. He's just gone, yes, please, I'll have it. Thank you. Good, good. Meanwhile, he's also turning these worlds into hive worlds. And he... Oh, so, to be fair, sorry, he can use the pops as livestock, but they're going to be very unhappy about it. He does need oh, to resettle as well. He hasn't resettled pops to the world, so like he's built things, but they're never going to do anything. Um, little awkward. Again, no pops, no pops. Uh, it's probably just got a lot to no micro at the minute. Pops, yeah, maybe. Or he might be AFK from that massive pause. Bad Entirely three, possible. It does have some it. pops, and yeah, got some pops. All right, cool. Oh, comrades in a war. Oh, who is he? A defensive war. Oh, I'm guessing it's against Strongblog. Yes, it is. Yeah. Strongblog's going on the offensive. Comrade is going to eat him up. Comrade has 43k. 
Strongblog does have... 39. 39. Strongblog's got 39. Conrad hasn't fired Edicts yet, though. Has Strongblog fired Edicts? No, Strongblog has Edicts active. Comrade's got up to 50. Comrade's got up to 50. Oh, okay. This is it. I think Strongblog should just... He's just going to turn around. So Strongblog's going to jump in. He's going to do it. Strongblog's going to do it. And he's Comrade's, hoping to Comrade's knock Comrade them. out. Comrade's meeting them. He's going to meet them in the air. Comrade's this is it, there. lad. Oh, oh I the missed. transport's have gone first as well. And oh, there we go. That's stomp. Red here is strong blogs forces. It looks like Comrade's pulling ahead, but it's actually too close to call. No, I do think that's a Comrade win. Yes, yeah. yes, that's a de decisive win there that for Comrade. He did lose 12k. On the other hand, what did strong blog only lost 10k? Please, yeah. Comrade came out worse from that, and there is the debris. Goodness me. Here it all at, goes. Uh, the bills. Why is Comrade? Is, he, is Comrade using a mix? Comrade's using destroyers. He's using a mix of DK and DE, which is destroyer kinetic, destroyer energy. T2 yeah. plasma, tier 4 kinetic. On the other hand, Strong Blorg has just one type of cruiser with a mix of both, which is fine. If you mix it this way, as they're both doing, they're going to have reasonable stuff. Yeah, but it looked like the cruisers did come out. Uh, both are on hit and run, I'm pretty sure. Let's check Comrades. Yeah, Strong Blorg's on hit and run. We're yeah, both on hit and run. Tricksters. And now Comrade's defend, uh, Comrade's repaired, and he's going to push forwards, and he is going to say, Strong Blog, how dare you attack me? Yeah. You know? Neutron launchers are allowed in two years. But the thing is, uh, Comrade's using destroyers, which... How is Ragoon still building up his... Ragoon's has 110 <laughs> destroyers queued up. What is he doing? Chances. It's all in the Surely same star base, too. <laughs> No, he's trying to lay a trap. Oh. He's trying to make it seem like he's a weak little defenseless empire. And the minute you go to fight him... Just pops him out. Pops out. 110 destroyers. Uh, 110 like destroyers would be almost as many as Comrade has. That's why he's using like a buffer. So he doesn't yeah. actually pop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ruggins is such a good player this game. <laughs> but the thing is, he's hoping someone takes the bait. I don't yeah, think anyone's going to take the Everyone knows the okay. nonsense Ragoons can pull, and no one is willing. No one is willing to take that risk, yeah. not even for a moment. Strongborgs, are, uh, ships have just landed, but it's next to Conrad. They might not actually be able to heal in time. Oh, 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 them healing. oh, sugar. That is going to be such a crushing oh, blow for Strongblog. No. This is it. This is knocking Strongblog out, basically. Yeah, that's out. He didn't. That's why he set Star Blade. <gasps> no, they, they, they attacked in different parts. <gasps> Comrade's forces attacked at different times. Oh. And the ship just appeared behind it as well. One fleet was behind. He still, kill, he still killed them. But Comrade lost way too much then. Now he's rushing back to the home system because he knows they're going to appear here uh, above the capital in basically no time at all. Oh, I actually switched mid-fight. That was very confusing. I thought Comrade lost then. Yeah, Comrade just catched a strong Where are they going to turn up? They are going to turn up. 22.49.03. Here they come. They're going to come to the capital. I'm almost certain of it. No, they spawned below. Oh, no, that's different. One of them spawned below. There, yeah, they've all spawned in Lishval. Okay, he must... He set his thing correctly. Oh, Comrade hasn't quite caught them. They're such heal. low health. He's going to heal up, and then Comrade's going to be in a weaker position. Mm. Problem is, Comrade has to heal now. But Comrade only has 220 destroyers. It's... Strongblog has the, has the military advantage at this point. Where are the rest of Conrad's forces? That's it. That's all he's got. His destroyers yeah, are outmatched really, by the... 35k there, but it doesn't look 35k, I guess. Let's just count it. 25, 30. I only count 30k. Where's this 37k coming 7K. from? Yeah. Oh, Strongblog has sent a little... Strongblog sent a little fleet of two mm. two cruisers to go and capture the old planets. Strongblog, Strongblog's going in. Right now on the capital. Oh, he's lost his, he's lost his uh, little... Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Engaging. Here we I go. I think Strong Blue, Strong can... Strongblog has bigger fleets. This is going to knock Comrade out. Unfortunately for Comrade. Oh no, no, no. That's it. Yeah, Strongblog's going to knock him back. 
Oh, it's so close. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, wait, no. No, it's not. Those this. cruisers are just piercing. Piercing yeah. straight through Comrade stuff. It's unfortunate Comrade couldn't catch them. It's not GG. The war exhaustion is massive, but this means yeah. that Comrade won't have an easy time of it. He's not yeah. just going to easily take over um, Strong Blog stuff. Now, if he can, what Comrade should do here is grab a couple of worlds. It's not really going to help him that much, but if he could grab a world or two. Just make it as mm. hard as possible, I think, on, on the um, the new planets he got. Like, his, his home systems are fine. I don't think you can get through that in time. <sighs> Meanwhile, but... Hattori and Rek are really going at it. Both have 20k. Rex, some of Rex's forces are in retreat, are they? No, they're bombarding up north. Okay, so Rex is trying to take over the world's taken while Hattori's coming up to try and make sure that Hattori can keep hold of the previous spoils of war. <laughs> but Hattori has to go through some of next to Rex capital systems and all that sort of stuff to get through to those worlds and protect them. Rex forces are split up between two different systems, though I don't think this is going to be uh, helpful for Rex. Rex in with an issue. Skill yep. gap time, ladies and gentlemen. Another skill gap time. The R singularity was still going on, but not really. Mule has 40k. Whoa, well, whoa, whoa. Mule's just gone in. The mules, mules, who? Mules fight. Mules defending against. Um, Silas. And Silas has a lot more than 40k. Silas has Silas 50k. Has 50. Yeah, this is. Okay. It's looking like it's Silas is going to be the young... Silas is pulling ahead here. Neutrons and kinetics are available now. Available now. They can start putting them on ships. So, basically, anyone now who's not at war is going to be upgrading their ships to have neutrons and kinetics. Oh, here we go. Just Mule a moment. Lots of the war doctrines. Off. The mules got armies. So does Silas. But Silas has such a big fleet here. And also, Silas has psychic evasion destroyers. They're not going to be maxed out yet. What are they at? They're only at 52% evasion, but that's still going to be really useful. The Mule I say has that. the Omnicodex. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore, but. Not anymore. The Mule Silas doesn't have. Yeah, the well, oh, no, no, he might just be lost. If he, if he does get it. I... Yeah, that's a, that's a clear win for Silas here. I can't see it going any other way now. Yep, yep. There's the mule feet routed. Silas has taken the mule's capital. Oh, that could be quite bad. Is Strongblog pushing into Comrade Space? Yeah, Strongblog no. Strongblog, Strongblog is just defending. Oh. Yeah, but he's not. He's not able to take the planets. He doesn't have the armies, and without no, actually doesn't. being able to take the planets, it doesn't matter. He's only oh, got 1.3k. Comrade's actually going to send a fleet just to deal with that nonsense. He's just sending 4k up to deal with the 2k. It's so petty. Um, I love it. R is in the defensive while still with Singularity. I'm surprised they haven't pushed forwards on the aggressive. Oh, here comes Singularity again. 26k here. Trying to push south into our space. Oh, a good point has been made. Comrades also was making 400 alloys per month or something. He must have just stopped. He's had to just stop it because um, he's had to just convert one of his world from into a consumer goods world, unfortunately. That's a shame. Otherwise, he was making 400 alloys a month, which is going to really help him rebuild his fleet. Yeah. He has... Now that the year 50 is passed, he is retrofitting by it. Imagine so is Strongborg. He's retrofitting into tier 1 kinetic, though. He does not... Let's check. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have... He has tier 3 plasma, tier 1 kinetic artillery. What he does not have is the neutron launchers, and they're the more powerful. Yeah. Does Strongblog have it? That's the question. That tier 1 proton? He's, no, he's got proton. Connect. That's it. No, but proton is better. It's longer range. Yep. Proton is it. Sorry, when I say neutron, I, I, was saying, I meant the same. My apologies. Um, he's, so that's he's longer range. It'll hit first. Kinetic, okay. Yeah, I mean, having a mix is good. I'd probably recommend you just put the, pro the protons on. You'll do better. You'll do better. Yeah, but um, he might know what uh, comrades are running. Maybe he feels like it counters it a bit more. Comrade only had tier three shields, if I remember. Maybe they were tier four. Tier four, okay. How is Ragoon doing? Still hasn't sprung the trap. Yeah, he, he, I don't think he's going for the dragon. He has 130... <laughs> Called destroyers queued up. How is he going to support this? His energy income I is don't rubbish. Think he's planning. I don't. I don't think he cares. I think he just wants to murder someone. <laughs> this is hilarious. 
He, yeah, basically what he's going to do is he's going to wait for someone to think he's out because no one's touched him. I, I can't believe yeah. no one's... No one trusts him. Even when... Even without a weapon, you have to fear a goons. Yeah. So Hattori is still in just a weird... Stalemate-ish, I guess it is. Nobody's really treated much territory. Oh, they... somebody in my chat's asking is kinetic artillery is good versus the regular guns. Basically, any of the large slot only weapons, that's the kinetic artillery, kinetic battery, proton launcher, and neutron launcher, are the best weapons in the game other than X slot. So for every ship except a battleship, they're the best weapons. They've got longer range, higher damage, and higher DPS, and just better stats. They're going to hit harder f uh, first, which basically means faster, and they're just better. I, yeah, I can't really go yeah. more than that. Where Current's now at 40. Silas Strong Blog's just... only at 35. Silas just lost to what? the mule. All of his fleets are... How, do we... I... How did that happen? I... I... Don't know. No retreat. Oh, the mule went no retreat. The mule went no retreat. Oh my goodness me. So the mule was... Oh, well, let's just check that. Okay. <laughs> so the mule was in a war, switched in a retreat. That means basically he saw his fleet had was He was like, this is it. The line must be drawn here. We must be drawn here and no further. And then after Captain... Uh, after Picard was like, did his little thing, that increased the fire rate 33% and then you cannot, cannot... Um, retreat and the ships will die instead of uh, disengaging. So it is really risky but gives you massive power upswing. However, it's yeah. worked. But what a bold does play. does not have any transports, it seems, so he can't... He has make... a planet. He's got the Relic World. Yeah, he just doesn't have transports. As long as he takes the star bases back... Oh no. Silas must have unlocked some technologies let me just check his tech stack he has minus 10 percent war exhaustion does he have it twice or just the once i think just the once he does have all little rings now too which means his economy is going to Oof. skyrocket and he does have kinetic artillery he's he probably take this opportunity to retrofit his ships with kinetic artillery now that he's gone back home yeah well, he hasn't made a design for it though how is Conrad Far out. Three and a half thousand dollars on the table and you lose to someone doing something like a no retreat switch that you just didn't quite nice. expect. Oh, painful. I can't believe it. Conrad has dealt with uh, Strongborg's guerrilla warfare, but they're both just kind of sitting, building up again. Conrad is at 42k, Strongborg 39k. And Con Conrad's is also at 100% war exhaustion, so very soon Strongborg is going to be able to force a peace. At which point, Conrad have no choice. Want to, it, well, he, he not anymore now that he's now that you know um, he's lost all those systems that he'd taken. Yeah. It, possibly, it could have been worth it. Can I point something out? Yeah, yeah, Krill, please. Krill sheet is now on forty-three k, and he's just he's just vibing. He's just building up. He's I don't vibing. believe it. Uh, let's check the situation log. Krill she is eighth. Eighth ain't fifth. Doesn't yeah, matter. Well, everyone's going to kill everyone. He's just gonna vibe. Top five. Maybe. I'm predicting it. I don't know. To be fair, he could stand up to Jojo now. And the thing is, because of he, he might be a peace type, but has he claimed Jojo's stuff? Let me just check that. Yes. Well, he has. No, has he? Well, oh, he's claimed all the systems that used to belong to the other player. Yes. Yeah, okay. Though. And interestingly, those systems are probably worthwhile to him because the pops on these worlds are. Oh, no, they're becoming hive minded. Oh. Does that mean, please tell me that doesn't mean he's going to be getting psionic clone descendant hive minded pops? Oh my Jojo. lord. Jojo, no, that's not legal. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. So Jojo's now gone genetic ascension, evolutionary mastery, meaning that he can do a decision in the species rights to assimilate non hive minded pops and make them hive minded. Yes, the Hiverian, and now he has access to psionic clone descendant admirals. <laughs> Let's check his admirals. They haven't appeared yet. He should get access eventually to um, <laughs> psionic clone descendant hive-minded admirals. Well, the wreck is just gg The wreck is out. Is wreck out up north? Smart move on the fortress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, his fleets were split. He had half a fleet in his capital, half a fleet there. It, 
Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't gonna. What was he gonna do? And his his core systems here. Look, they're a little cul-de-sac, and he doesn't have any sort of defense on the entrance. There's no planet to stop anyone coming in. So. Pff. Yeah. He's out of it. Comrade is apparently Whoa. fighting Strongblog right now. Ah, here we go. Here we go. It's about to happen. 50k is moving to hit Strong... Uh, Comrade's 50k as well, though. And Comrade he has tier 1 kinetic. Star base. He has... Here we go. They're incoming. Let's see. He doesn't have Comrade's got it. Comrade's got it. Oh. Comrade has won it. Holy moly, Comrade How really hit back. Comrade went to no retreat. Comrade has gone no retreat as well. Oh Comrade drew, drew a line in the sand. And he was like, that's it. I've got the yeah. economy. He's making 450 alloys a month. He's got. He's trying to push the economy. Sorry, E-3, please tell me. Yeah, that Starbase didn't have any building, like, negative things. It just had a Hydra Bay and a crew core. So that oh. was without any Starbase oh. It was just a That was just raw power. Raw that's the kind of That's the kind of thing that Comrade likes, though. He's very much into his honorable fights. Uh, yeah. That now puts Strongblog, though, right at the bottom in terms of power list, while Comrade is at the top. Yeah. We're rooting for Comrade, I feel like. But I'm sure, I mean, in some ways, I feel like we are rooting for the bad guy. Um, I'm rooting for the... The pacifist. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you say yes, okay, fair enough. I mean, so actually, there's there is something I want to look 52K. at here. He's at fifty-three k. Yes, so there's one, something I want to look at here is Bedobu's <laughs> Bedobu's old capital here, right? Let's think yeah. about what happened to his previous. So Bedobu's planets here, thirty, the species thirty-one were used to be um, mandatory pampering living standards. Then they're invaded by Ezreal and made into slaves. <laughs> then immediately afterwards, they're invaded by a hive mind and turned into livestock. And then eventually the hive mind said, no, 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 you're not having fun as a livestock. Don't worry, we'll integrate you into the hive mind. <laughs> Assimilation, uh, sorry, resistance is futile. Um, this is like an atrocity. In the last 50 years, these bioorganics have had like an awful life. Yeah. So the Red King's asking, what is the uh, clone buff? So it's not really the species trait that's any good for the clone descendants. It's all right, but it's more that it can go on the leaders, right? The clone. Uh, I think they might have actually got rid of that now because I'm not yeah, seeing I'm not it. Seeing oh, any. the hive mind maybe just don't get access to it simply because they're hive mind. If you look at Silas, si uh, Silas though, he doesn't have any leaders with the clone buff either. Ezra does. Clone Descendant Admiral Army Admiral oh, plus 50% fire rate minus 5% upkeep. Maybe you have to have the it's Origin slave. 2? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's right though. I can't remember. There's some some mechanic here I don't remember that's happening. Surely they have to be like... Oh, sorry, no, it's, he just hasn't spawned the right Admirals yet, somebody says in chat. That's a very good point. Thanks, Yontex. So, um, Jojo, the one I looked at there, this this is the 31. It's not the Clone Descendant Admiral. This is not a Psionic Admiral. Um, he just hasn't spawned the right Admirals. He there will... is a 31. If you click recruit, there is a 31. No, no, exactly. But the 31 wasn't a clone descendant. That was the pa pompous... That was the rogue servitor oh, ones. Oh, it's the uh, yeah. Hyvarian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wait, the wreck left. Is the wreck allowed to leave? He's out, I think. Oh, he had one planet left. Well, one system, sorry. What's on that planet? Was it anything good? Oh, 11 pops. Oh, There's the hive mine's planet. not going to be so great. So this does put, um, as I said, Hattori is far ahead now. Oof. Jojo has 70k. Oh. Jojo's at peace. Jojo's at war. It is the Krill. She has declared war. Mm. Along, not along with Ezreal, just the Krill. And there's the fight happening right now. Oh, I had Jojo's no. going to win it. Jojo's won no. this. Yep, there goes the pacifist, get... ladies and gentlemen. No, and you know why this is? Pacifist <gasps> cannot take no retreat, and Jojo can. Press F to pay respects to the pacifist. Thank you very much, Ewis As. Thank you, Yearn Sax. There yeah, goes pacifism. Look at pacifism crumble and burn. Here we go. No. How could this be? Disgusting. You know I'm what you get? Sure you get what you deserve. I'm about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> The mule uh, and Silas yeah. are one system away from each other. The mule has 34k and Silas has 44k. Oh, oh, oh. And, si and the thing is, the mule is, Silas is scared now because he knows the mule is no retreat. Yeah. So Silas it's like, is still on rapid, so he can go to no retreat, but does he risk that? Well, the th his he's ships, though, he's, 
he's really vibing on the fact that his admirals are psychic for extra evasion and he's got destroyers which are high evasion. Yeah, there's no point going. Mm -mm -mm. No retreat on that. Because even if he loses here, he's going to keep a lot of his... Ships. So everyone's saying how powerful no retreat is. And yes, it is powerful, but... What the problem is, is that you lose so many more ships than in the long run, unless you're, you know, knocking the enemy out in one quick battle or two quick battles, yeah. or, you can't sustain it. So, or it's a last stand. That's yeah, or it's a last stand. Later. So that's why the mule deer is like, it's a do or die. I'm going to lose or not. Yeah. Um, my chat saying the only thing more powerful than the retreat is the high ground. And uh, <laughs> I, I, that's, that's pretty accurate, to be fair. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> Don't I don't have it. that. I don't have that on my soundboard. I wish I did. Otherwise, I would. To destroy uh... the Sith, not join them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's, a wall. it's still the same wall. Comrade pieced out. Comrade pieced out, and he took a couple of systems, and he's going to colonize those planets. <laughs> what a st And no one has taken. No one has taken this size nineteen ocean world. What the nerd? <laughs> Why not? Singularity and Silas are now allies, apparently. I should have a, a, uh -oh. a Star Wars soundboard. I should. They're just hard to set up with OBS and Discord. And oh, I've got um, I've got some things. Um, I have voice changes. I don't know if they do they work. That's... Another happy landing. It won't be on Discord, but on my stream, I will. that's the issue. No, you're like, not on Discord. I'm... You sound normal to me. Yeah, like I can. Completely normal. It's because it's filters through OBS, not uh, Eesh. like my actual mic. Yuck. Can Krill she leave? He cannot. He has to play. He wants to give up. Krill she wants to give up? Yeah, that's not. No, he I... can't leave. Can't leave. He's no, at 100% war exhaustion already because he lost all his ships in. Uh, yeah. yeah. And look, there to... go the rest of them. There go the rest of them. He had a psionic entity. He's dead. And JoJo's Sad. claimed quite a few systems JoJo's. here gonna be strong yeah i mean this puts silas jojo oh, comrade we missed, hattori we missed the battle oh they the actually fought lost. it yeah, then you the lost, lost. Uh oh uh oh yeah, that's why um silas didn't go yeah so yeah so no retreat uh wasn't as good silas lost a lot of ships here they're both at 100 percent exhaustion yeah okay so the mule could survive but with like nothing uh one planet here one two planets here, i think It's a shame when people leave before. I mean, the thing is, it's like people leave because they decide they've lost. Like in this case, it looks like uh, the mule's lost. Possibly someone else could come in. Oh my goodness, Comrade's stolen a system here in the middle of um, the space of uh, Strong Vlog. That's just so <laughs> cheeky. Um, people decide they've lost, they leave. And then sometimes that's happened, as we saw in the previous ISL recently. It then turns out they didn't lose. That in fact, like somebody came and saved them later on. Yeah. Do you pay to enter these tournaments? I think it's just... Um... Oh, Silas also can't go no retreat. So somebody's pointing out because he's he is clone. Silas was clone and therefore he can't be militarist. Yeah. Uh... No, he is militarist. No, Silas, Silas wasn't clone. Oh, Silas, Silas was go. Teachers of the Shroud. Silas, Silas is Silas on isn't no clone. retreat right now. Whoa, think... Ragoons at 40k fleet power, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's taken out, he's taken out the dragon. Come on, project. Ragoons. Victory for Regalia. Oh, yes. This is what we like to see. He's going to reanimate the dragon, and then 60k worth of ships from Ragoons are going to be... So he's at dragon. minus 400 energy. Oh, he can't support it. Uh, No, he cannot. He's so got Silas 14k go minerals. No retreat, by the way. Yes. Okay, now he's done. Okay. I think he did it before the battle. So Joe just saying, no, I'm dead. What? What? Oh, so Ezra attacked, and then the Fire Nation attacked. I so this is why, this is why yeah. you can't just quit. Krillish uh, decided he was going to quit, but no, his capital quit. is about to be lost. Silas, is, uh, sorry, um, Ezra. Uh, uh, wait, did he actually quit? Oh no, no, wait. he's still there. He's still in. Krillish is still in the game. I see him still playing. Uh oh, and right, here come the boom. Oh my. Where, oh, he's, got, he's, he's on it. He's on his capital. Almost. 
He's uh, he, he can't get there. He can't get there yet because of the. Um, yeah, it's almost at 50% though. Exactly, yeah. He's got it nothing else on the shield. defense. It doesn't have a shield. He doesn't have any um, any of the unyielding traits. Oof. Oh, see, just like that, Jojo was looking real strong, but he got distracted. Shroud incursion. What was that? Uh-oh. Oh no, a shroud incursion in Ezreal's space. Goodness me. Oh, Singularity's actually dying now. You... Oh, really? They've finally gone to kill him. R is going through. Oh, yeah, I see that. He's and they brought a dragon right? with them. And and they have a cave troll. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. I think that's the uh, here be dragon. Uh, Ukukuril as well has, if you look at the fleet power matchup, look at Ukukuril 67k here. Wait, it's yes, just diabolical. He's just kept the economy. He's, he's just, just kept on his, he's gone, kept even, he's kept on he's got, uh, he's got proton launchers. It's just, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Here's the fight. Here we go. Singularity's actually oh. coping a bit. The dragon is coming out, but I the don't dragon's think it's pushing. Gonna be I don't think it's gonna be enough. Let's see. No, it, it is strong. Like it does have a lot of um. Is that hull? Hull and armor, and see the armor keeps regening, which yeah. is annoying. But luckily, protons are the best thing to deal with Sp vermin like this. Um, I think we're gonna have to have another F in a minute to pay respects to the. Uh, the giant, um, the giant Bubbles who's dying here. Unfortunately, not named Bubbles, but that's just because people are confused. Granddad? Bubbles' granddad. Any yeah. minute, we're going to have to have some Fs here. And down it goes. And there goes a noble creature. Singularity. Oof, pay respects there. there. Silas is at... Zero... Silas lost his fleet. Silas went to no retreat. And Silas went to no out. retreat, peaced out. The but... mule is still in it. Yeah, but he's only got that one system. You know what the mule's got on his worlds, don't you? Um, I do not. Well, the mule actually left. Oh. But he's got one world with, guess, wait, you wait for it, minerals! Yay! <laughs> he's making 400 minerals a month. Isn't no, it I... lovely? <laughs> That was Jojo's planet steering. Has he got back in time that he's at Okay. Comrade's also at 53k now with 14k saved up. Where is he gonna go next? That's what we gotta ask ourselves. Um is he gonna attack Strongblog again? You're gonna have to assume so. Who's Strongblog at war with? Strongblog's now gone to war with the Mule's old empire. Just to quickly grab a relic world with all these yeah. minerals. That's just gonna um, benefit them. The thing with Comrade, he can't really go up north, because if the war takes long enough. Stronglock's just going to come and backstab him. Like, they only have peace well, for like 10 years, right? Well, the thing is, he's taken Jolderun here, right? He's taken this Jolderun planet, colonized it. If he puts a fortress down on it, and a shield generator, and he has taken tier 2 unyielding, so he only needs to go for adaptability, and then Jolderun could hold forever. And the same with Sol as well. If he puts, he's put a shield generator and the army thing on yeah. Sol, right? Yeah, so these planets fine. could basically hold for like five to ten years because the bombardment is capped at a maximum cap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back to the Red King's question a while ago. The way people entered in this was through. Uh, they did a lot of tournaments. I think it was free to enter. Well, they've had they've had Brandon. three. It was free to enter, but they had three heats over the last three days. And then the top six players from each of those three heats have now found their way into this, the final. Yeah. Um, how did people find out about it? Well, it was organized by Aggressor, so he promoted it and told I people about it. I think it's on the ISS server too. There was a bit of promotion there as well, I think, yeah, but I don't I don't know how much. Yeah. So, um, Ezra has taken Jojo's capital. Jojo still has a massive fleet, and he's come back now with that fleet to go and kick Ezra's ass. His economy's not suffering too, which is quite a big deal. He's doing fine economically because he's managed to actually do okay. He's also he hasn't lost his capital and stuff, so like his worlds are still doing a massive econ economic output. Um, yeah, he, they've not been bombarded. R one has been bombarded. To be quite honest, what uh, Ezra should do is leave one ship behind to bombard R one and then start bombarding the capital because this capital Trisolaris three body problem reference is um, is the main energy and uh, if this would go to one hundred percent. If this got to 100% uh, bombardment, uh, Jojo's economy would collapse. Uh, devastation, that's it, sorry. Devastation, yeah. yeah. Even A1, if he went a bit further, like, 
that's his alloy world. <laughs> Uh, new new on uh, stream on uh, on Twitch is asking: Have there been any builds that have wowed m- uh, me or you, EP3? What the have pacifist you been wowed by? Build. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the pacifist build. The fact it's that the pacifist build, is still fair. alive, at one point did have 50k, is very yeah. impressive. You know, another good, shout good. out to R. I think it's oh. it's not. Done. It's a shame that R was yeah. like called out so early on, so everyone knew that he had. Um, his R's capital, zero capital. Uh, he had uh, Doomsday Start, wasn't it? Yes. So he also used uh, Lithoids as his uh, serv- Yeah, his servitors. That's the word, right? Yes. So that he could whack on uh, the edict that gives sensor range. Yeah. So he could use his Corvette to scout for more planets. Yeah. So that's how he's so spread out and like long because he could identify where planets were. So there's basically no risk. He's going to find a planet. It's not like Doomsday is going to kill him off. Uh, but it did get called out at the start. The rest has been pretty much what is the meta. Yeah. Ragoons as well, though. Ragoons, actually. Ragoons, Ragoons has played. It's a build I have played before, except he changed it up for Hibby Dragons. Has he actually brought it back? Oh, he's, no. He's no, just got whelps. Yeah, he's just got the whelps. He doesn't have control of this, though, does he? Yeah, yeah, he's got control. They're his, I, I think, aren't they? The balloon. Clutch of whelps. No, they're independent. Oh, weird. Weird, weird, is, weird. Is he doing the situation? Yeah, he's got seven months left on that. Okay, so as soon as he's done, I think he's going to go for Silas. Look, Ragoons is right next to Silas. Yeah. Silas has um, nothing. Silas has nothing. He yeah, is yeah, just yeah. an economy right for the taking. Like, is he actually... He must be building. So he's not building anything. He has 17k allies. He's not doing anything with it. Um, I don't know. What? That's... I'm confused. <laughs> Singularity has nothing left. Krillish is still hanging in there. If he can take his planets back, he is starting to take systems back. While he's got 9k, so he should... Yeah, he should, he's got he's got 9k, he's got armies. Um, not that many, but he does have some armies. Uh, yeah, Jojo and Ezra are just kind of in a face-off right now. Comrade's just pushing up now. He's just pushing and pushing and pushing. He's yep. building more ships. What's he building? Let's check. Battleships. Comrade oh. is now going out with his battleships. What is he putting on his battleships? A mixture of protons and kinetic batteries. That this is disgusting. Well, no, I... it's a good mix. Now, you do want to have... I, I mean, I wouldn't recommend this quite. I would say, at this point, you'd want to have um, 20, uh, 25 to 30% kinetic with the rest being proton. In my testing, that does better than just oh, really? straight up proton. Yes. So, like, one or more it did. Proton. Yeah, I would do one more proton. But to be fair, it depends what you're going to come. This is a more balanced build. Balance yeah. is usually good, generally speaking, in these Especially sorts of things. Especially when it's it's not against the AI. These guys are quite optimized. Um, oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, because it's uh, on repeat, um, I'd be interested to know if you've actually, not if you're live, if you uh, ignore, you lovely live people who've managed to catch up with me. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to you if you're watching now later on in the future. Please let me know if you've got this far through. We're like hours into this thing. Does anyone actually watch like a live stream weeks later or days? Yeah. Are you Just a comment below. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this will be up, up forever. I might leave it up, you know. The debate is over. We need that army is- now. <laughs> I know most of you probably don't care how we run Where the is- but it's like there's Ragoon a has 80k. Oh hold everything he's got the up. dragon and it's 80k and he's going where is he going he is going to kill somebody who's he at war with he went to war with starship troopers really no he's in a defensive pact with silas and starship troopers went to war with him he is now going to be saving silas's butt silas is oh yeah silas wait what silas lost that war uh against r right but he's still playing. He's got planets. And now, yeah, they've tried to capitalize. Krill says, I need help. Speed. I need armies. Krillis is saying, help, help. I can't control my armies, please. <laughs> Hello, it's me from oh, the future. God. I watch weeks afterwards, says Bill. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, what are you, oh, it's nine o'clock. It's not too late. Um, 
Yeah, we are 60 years in. It's paused. It is heating up. We've seen a lot of deaths. Well, how many do we have left? 12 people left. So... We've only actually lost four players or something, haven't we? Oh, the yeah, Prick T spawned. No, no, no. The Prick T has come out. Oh, <laughs> yes. And the first thing they're building is, it, is a ring around their capital. Um, let's check. They've got... What is their fleet power? They've only got destroyers. What? It's quite weak. I thought the Prickty came out with battleships. I swear it used to be more powerful. They've turned every subsidy they have on as well. See you, Red King. Thanks for watching. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you think the Prick T are going to win, let me know immediately in the comments, because, like, who else but the Prick T could come back from this Grand Arbiter Ipa Prip? Um, you know, the, the genocidal geckos, space geckos, th th there's nothing better. They're trying to sell us car insurance. <laughs> no, um, um, I'm, I'm holding my hands together like the Prick T. Um, um, can I, can I, um, it's really good. <laughs> Ars sneaked into the lead here. His research is really pushing ahead. He's almost at 2k. His econ is phenomenal. He's pushing out yeah. 500 alloys per month. Jojo and... And that's because he's taken Ace. the planets. He's taken the planets straight away from um, from Singularity, and he's just using them immediately. He's taken yeah. the alloy world. He's taken the energy world, and he's taken the research world, not the alloy world. Okay, where is Ragoons? Has Ragoons lost? Or has he fallen back. back? He's falling back. Well, I mean, Ukukuril has... What's Ukukuril got? What's this? Where is he? Uh, Ukukuril has more fleet power than Ragoons, and that's regular ships, so, like, Ragoons can't take that. Yeah. He should not have been in defensive pack with Singularity. That was the wrong call. He should have attacked Singularity that first. Stabby, stabby. I'd, he was trying to be honorable or something, maybe? It just... Uh, maybe the it wrong call to talk, make. Because Singularity was quite strong. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw him in the defensive pack with, with the Silas, and I was like, uh, my, my my initial um, reaction was just kind of, I just thought it was, I, I was so bewildered. Um, yeah. Silas is building back up his fleet now. He's in three wars. Si yes. So he's at war against just uh -oh. R. He's also at war against Ukukuril, and he's at war against Strongblog. Strongblog's going to have a go as well. Comrade, Comrade com needs means... to take this opportunity and attack com somebody. <laughs> Comrade, yes. Comrade. Um, come on, Comrade. He's playing Stellaris like a casual right now. He's just exploring, constructing ships. He's just making his way to planets, really. I suspect Comrade's wondering on the legality of being able to attack a Strongblog while Strongblog is in a war against someone else. But, but it's past 50 be... years. It doesn't matter it... now, does it? Yeah, I think it probably should be legal. I think we must accelerate our plans. Begin landing your troops. My lord, is that legal? I will make it legal. A Tory is against Who? the next a Tory? Grid. Let's take a look. He's probably just going to clean them up. Next grid got kind of destroyed. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, the next grid has 30k and a dragon. 40k and a dragon, right? Which yeah. is helpful. Yeah, 44. But that dragon, next grid's got the dragon. Next grid's fine. And also, to get to any of Next Grid's proper planets, you have to go through the dragon. Hattori yeah. is screwed. <laughs> Why does Hattori... R have a dragon? What? Oh, he R? just has a clutch of uh, whelps, which is just... I don't know where they're from. They keep spawn... I've noticed they've spawned in a few places. Yeah, I don't... Oh, it's because it's an old system that used to belong to a dragon? Drake's Roost. What? Why just... is there a Drake's Roost? Oh, yeah, it did... What? Why is a Drake's is that Roost like appeared? An anomaly, I think. No, it's um, it comes with the like Ragoons has one in his capital. It comes if you have the dragons. Yeah, but that uh, was not. He was. was he yeah, dead? that's weird. Was that's a weird one. Yeah, he was Doomsday exactly. Okay, here we go. The dragon's gonna tank it. Look, the dragon's flying to the front of the system in uh, oh, in uh, Aragon space. That, right? Well, no, you want the dragon to take it. He can take the first hits. Yes, he'll take all the first shots, and then your neutrons are flying afterwards. That dragon has yep. taken most of the initial damage, and then you're going to kick butt that. and take yep. the... Yeah, exactly. Hattori is out. Disruptor too. Oh, my goodness. Let's oh. take a look at that. Yeah, Starbase has the... Yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a solid win here. I can't see Hattori wow. coming ahead. Even though... He, okay, he's, he's routed the fleets... But look how low his ships yeah. are. That dragon is just going to make short work of what's left. Yeah, and there it goes. Oh, no. But the uh, the, the the thingamajig was lost. So hopefully 
The fleet's come back relatively quickly, and he can retake the capital. He was on hit and run, Hatari. There so they are. Not, like, yeah, his fleets are gonna. His fleet. He needs to turn his ships around and retake that capital as soon as possible. Yeah, because um, he's done the good. He's just killed the fleets. Now well, he can just focus. Not on only that, him. because he's got the dragon in the system, it will never actually start regenerating health. So one ship, one little corvette. He's got one ship and one cruiser. He just sends that in, which he's done now. There we go. He sends one ship and he takes it back. Beautiful. How is Prick T doing, my chat wants to know. Prick T, uh, they've got lots of communications with people. They have a single world of Gish. They are building, they're building farms. They're oh, going to die. Don't click on the system. Why? <laughs> How many science ships do they need? What is this hell? <laughs> Did they spend all of their alloys? No. What look are they this, doing? The they're just building I science ships. On. I have a tiny outliner on I still have to scroll. Well, well this is this is this is why they deserve genocide. Oh, on themselves, I mean. They're building of course. corvettes as well. Oh, <laughs> they are researching cruisers. They don't even have those battleships researched. Oh, the whole thing's a bit, yeah. Well, um, yes, pa quality paradox programming. Someone says in chat. I have to thoroughly agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oofed. Jojo and Estra still in a stalemate, but Jojo's taken most of his systems back. Yeah, he had he had the fleets, he had the fleets for it. So Where is Ezreal's Estra? Ezreal's fallen back to Astarope. He's on the aggressive now, though. He's not. He's oh, he's yeah. going to walk straight into Jojo's forces. He's only got twenty seven k. He can't not take all that. Of his fleet. No, it's not. Where the other fleet is on the other side, it's in his capital. The other fleet's in his capital. So Ezreal's yeah. kind of split his ships up. Not a good yeah. plan. Now he's Fine running back. The pacifist. Yeah, yeah, okay. If he keeps the pressure up, that will help the pacifist out, definitely. How's Ragoons doing, though? Ragoons has just retreated. Oh, my goodness. Ragoons is like... Uh, Ragoons, is, Ragoons has allied with the wrong person. He's made an alliance with the player who's just been carved up by every other player. Yeah. Like, he's gone from failure to failure here. His yeah. his jump dragon... His, jump, his dragon is jump driving out of there. No, it jumped in. Why did he jump in with it? I don't think it was on that system. Oh, he no, just he jumped, jumped into the next system. No! Oh, he wants it to tank, I guess. Yeah, maybe. But the ships aren't in position. They're not at the hyperlane yet. They can't take... Is he just <laughs> his dragon's just going to die. Dragon? No, oh, this, is, this is a mistake. No. This is a misplay. They're coming oh. in. There oh, they go. That is up. way too late. Oh, there goes the no. dragons run away. He's probably going to win the. They're going to win the fight now though because of the dragon. But wait, ragoons can't do that. Ragoons can't do oh, what? No, it's... Can he jump into that system? Because it, that... was, it wasn't. Yeah, it's a, he, no, but he, he was a system which is um, oh, one of his well. his allies' system, right? Yeah. I think it's legal. And he had the planet was still owned. We're probably going to get some dispute in that. Oh, the Strongblog has taken that relic world now. He is looking. He's lost a lot of troops to Silas and Ragunis. Oh crap! And there come there come the massive fleet of Ukukaril in the background. The starship troopers here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ragunis is really running out of energy though. Let's see. Energy shortage and a gas shortage. His ships are much weaker right now than they would otherwise normally be. Yeah, I don't know why Ragoons has set his flag to join up with the dying state of Silas, but it was a mistake. Honor. Doesn't seem like they're actually... Go. Oh, yeah, they're driving to the What have they got? What have they got here? So, 15, 20 something. They've only got, like, there's not enough ships here. Not enough ships at all. Not with the dragon gone. Is, did yeah. the dragon die? No, it retreated. Dragon is retreated until 226405. I don't know where it's coming back. Yeah. It's, they're going in now. And this is, uh,. I think this is the end for you, my friend. Yeah, that jump didn't matter. It was a good plan, but if he it was too soon, alive, it was too soon. He, he should have, have just tried. like moved the dragon in first. He didn't need to jump it. It no. reduced its weapon output as well and its yeah, speed. No. 
And there go Ragoon's ships. He yep. pinned his flag to a... Oh, they made peace. They made peace. Oh. Starship troopers took three planets and they made a peace. Okay. So now Silas and Ragoon is, is at war with the strong bulk. And that's it. But they are really vastly diminished here. Let's take a look at Strongblow. He's got 25k. What is Comrade doing? Comrade is too quiet. Yeah, Comrade is just happy with this, I think. He he knows how to eco up like this. He's at 84k. Um, yeah. With only, what's this, eight fleet worlds? Is heading. Oh, look where his he fleet's heading. And he's at war. Oh, there it is. And he's at war. There's the war declaration. Strongblog tried to backstab him. Strong Strongblog tried to fight him. And now Comrade is coming back for his vengeance. Yeah, you can't let him build up. It's Krillish out. Oh no. Is that is that it? Is that right? That is Krillish is gone. Yes, he left. He left. He lost Rest all of his peace. worlds. Look, he lost all of his proper worlds. Yeah. Just this one system here, which has what's this got? We're down to eleven Alloys. now. There can only okay. be five out of these eleven. And of those five, only one gets the grand prize of three thousand six hundred. It it is U.S. dollar equivalent value, but it's uh, in a crypto coin. So technically speaking, I'm sure that's real money, right? Don't it's only as real as if <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> screenshot it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dear. So yeah, this is not looking good for Strongblood, and it's saving Raguna's back. <laughs> He's just getting luck, like. He's getting unlucky, and then he gets a bit of luck. Let me just grab Strongblog. Wait, sorry, let me just see. So Strongblog is trying to do something, is he? No. Don't see where his... I can't see what he can do. There's 50... Uh, like, Comrade's got a, a clean-up fleet, which is bigger than Strongblog's entire got, fleet. Yeah. MIA and a regular well, fleet. Because... No, wait. Silas and Ragoons beat his fleet in the south. They're, they're pushing it oh. on him, too. Oh, are they? Oh, they yeah. are. Oh, goodness me. But the thing is, they're not going to be able to get any of the proper worlds. They'll only get like this yeah. one piece of crap they're from um, from Mule's old space. Ragoons isn't benefiting at all. I don't understand why he's joined this war. There is no but benefit. Silas can... Uh, wait, why is... Why did he support the Silas regime? I don't know. I really don't get it here. I'm gonna, we're going to have to bring him and ask him what he was wait, thinking. Silas like... was friendly with... Uh, Singularity. No, sorry. Ragoons was friendly with um, Singularity and Silas. And he was in both defensive wars with both of them, right? Um, not sure. Like let's check on these. Let's check on the spam. Oh my god! There's a fleet of regular ships, and then they have the fleet of science and construction. Oh yes, prick <laughs> T supremacy at its finest. Someone in my chat is saying Ragoon has honor. Well, apparently honor is going to cost Ragoon three and a half thousand dollars today. Interesting choice. Fair enough. If he is honor is worth three and a half thousand dollars. Good for him. Strongblog's fleets have returned. He's healing them up, but they're not in a good position, really. They're trapped. Look, in Comrade's got 100k of fleet. Comrade <laughs> is the most powerful player in this galaxy because no one has bothered attacking him for the last 15 years. He ate an entire other player, and yep. now he's eating Strongblog too. That's the thing. The spawn he got, the, the pacifist above him above him is not going to do anything. You had Ragunas just sitting there doing nothing. And then you had Strongblog, who's trying, but... <laughs> He couldn't fight two ecos. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody in my chat saying he was out early by misjudging the dragon. No, he was set back by that. No one attacked him. Ragoon's got up to 80k at a point where his neighbors did not have 80k. Okay, yeah. he could have gone north. He uh, let's go to the map. He could have. So to be quite honest, he could have attacked Silas, yeah, and then it would have been uh, was and cuckoo because he's, he's exactly at the end. Yeah, but the thing is, he didn't misjudge the dragon. He is. There's no doubt that he's practiced this with the mods, but multiplayer sometimes can do weird things. Uh, someone in my chat, uh, so you know we were talking about the um, the value, um, so I need to answer this quickly. So Zebin007, um, we are no longer on the gold standard, so the value of a cryptocurrency is based on the same thing as the value of any other currency like the American dollar, which is belief, and that's it. There is nothing else other than human belief which rep which it represents and the, thing, the a, fact that yeah. we believe in it. There is no actual difference between a cryptocurrency and a regular currency. Yeah. They're no longer gold-backed. Um, the, yeah, um, ironically... Confidence in the currency. Yeah, That's yeah the, quite. When it fluctuates, it's just like people saying, oh, I'm actually confident that 
the US dollar is going I mean, to be quite I mean, I, I would agree with the argument here that certain cryptocurrencies don't represent a proper currency because the, uh, they're a store of value. They're an asset, not a medium of exchange. Um, for instance, Zro coin to USD, as mentioned by 1118, that'd be a good one. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but, 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 yeah. Um, Someone's saying, isn't the US dollar backed by oil? The, yeah, that and the largest military in the world, you would think. Anyway, enough of this politics, schmolitics. Back to the real fun things, which is uh, space politics. Um, how's Comrade doing? With Comrade right now. Comrade's just sitting there. Yeah, but Blog's not going to be able to do any. Oh, Blog, wait, Blog's got 45. He's hyperlink camping, I think, right? Well, the thing is, good. Strong Blog's got less than Comrade. Comrade's just waiting for his other. Oh, no. And Okay. Here we go. Strong yeah, is going to lose the fight, but he's trying to knock some uh, Comrade stuff out. And Comrade Edict has just Chiron. activated his Edicts and got up to 80k. 80K? Oh no. my gosh. And there go all those ships. Look at them just fly away into nothing. D yeah. That is what an initial salvo death ray looks like. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, that's that's it for Strong Blog. Is Jojo's capital still under attack? No, Jojo has repulsed the invaders has taken over this space and is now pushing into Ezra's worlds. Here we go. Ezreal is not going to have a good time now. Where's Ezreal's fleets? Where are the fleets? What? Where's Ezreal's fleets? Oh no, they're too far away. Oh, oh no, individual ships just getting sniped out yeah, of existence have... there. They're running oh. away? Well, he's got, he has got... 24k somewhere. It's 20k. If you go on to uh, his outliner, oh, he's just back. Yeah, okay. He's, I mean, to be fair, you don't want to lose him at this point. What has JoJo even claimed is a good question. Yeah. Oh, JoJo's claimed all the worlds. Oh, crap. Okay, so he is fighting for survival. I don't know why he's running then. If Crystal Armor's banned, would Cloud Lightning shred people? Um... In, in the late game when you get repeatables probably but it's not really strong enough like you've seen n neutrons and kinetics just w like the alpha yeah, oh yeah it's just, you've seen the ships fly into death it's like they're flying into it's a wall of death uh, luckily Ragoon's uh, Ragoon's is, uh, dragon is back and alive and I'm happy to report no wait what where is it I swear I saw Singularity's it Singularity's still alive <laughs> barely breathing he has zero fleet power same as Strong Blog now. Where the heck is Ragoon's? Where is Horozgar? Ah, there's Horozgar. Horozgar's apparently worth 40k, representing, um, sorry, uh, sorry, Bubbles the Eternal, um, of the Endless 43K. Flame. 43k. He's Those eyes are really creepy. He's going to kill some alien so you can get a few more planets. Probably a good move. He needs to, I think he thinks he's got a chance now. <laughs> or at least a shot at that top five, but he needs to not make dumb deals. Blog is saying he's weakened comrades. You know, doesn't look it. <laughs> my, someone in my chat, I said it was, somebody said something about creepy, or maybe it was me. And someone in my chat saying, creepy, did I look at my own avatar? That's not my avatar, that's me. I'm not creepy. <laughs> yeah, he's a reptilian. That's just my face. Excuse you all. Uh, apologies from you. He's actually a descendant of Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> 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 reptilian people. Show, showing your Republican flair there, are we, ep 3 ho uh, long live the queen. See you. Thank you for watching, Jacob. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. It's been what for almost four hours, and my views yeah, are goodness very me. strong. So thank you all. This has been intense. You know, it's, it's something different commentating than playing because uh, my brain is being used, but not in like min max mayhem. And oh. R is what? at 92k now. Let's is... check. R is, is... Oh, no. Oh, and we just had a war. Next grid is a defensive war versus R. So yeah. he wants that dragon. Wait, wasn't next grid in a war? No, he next grid peaced out, he was in out against right? Hattori. No, Hattori beat him back and then managed to reclaim his stuff. And I think Hattori just went, you know what? It's not worth it. And I think that was a yeah. good call there. Hattori is not getting anything from this stuff. Hattori is not a machine. Not worth it. I was going in on that capital now. Can KT we find see wormholes the attack R and Uku Alliance? Says so Singularity. <laughs> and there Can goes the, there's the dragons. The dragon's, the dragon's gone. The dragon's gone, isn't it? No, that was no? the service. 
Where's the he's dragon? Oh, okay, he's microed it, and now the dragon's oh, tanked the first the hit. Damage. Look at how much damage it did. Now the damage is going to split onto the fleet. No, those fleets are too big. Dra they yeah, they're gone. That, there they go. It. Yeah. There goes the dragon. You have to pay that respects to another strike. mighty lord. And it actually died. Look at it die. Rest in peace. And we lose another mighty dragon in this evil game of dragon warfare. Thank you, Unalund and Zebin07 for the F of respects. And thank you, Peter Petrovic, James Lamb, Chard, uh, Michael Alexander, Matt Yan, Nip1137, Obi Wan Kenobi himself <gasps> is in my chat pressing F to pay respect. Thank you very much. It was it was it was the saddest of times. Rest in pieces, Chard. How dare you? No, rest in peace, not in pieces. That is disrespect right there. How do I? How do I how do I perma ban? Where's a perma ban when you need one? <laughs> Reminds me of that new kids film on Netflix, um, Sea Beasts. If uh, you've seen it, it's an animated film with um, you know the guy. Uh, you know, uh, have you seen the boys? Have you seen Lord of the uh, Rings? Yeah. You, okay, Lord of the Rings. Then Emma. Uh, I forget the I'm, name of the I'm actor. The He's in the boys as well. He's um, you know, the character in the boys. He plays uh, what's his name? Um, uh, what's his name in the boys? Lagoons. Carl Lassie. Urban. Carl Urban is the actor's name. What's his name in the boys? What's Carl? What's the character? Carl Urban's character's name in the boys? Uh, Butcher. The That's it. Billy the Butcher. British one. British B Butcher. He's British. British. He is. Yeah. All right. Is he oh, in yeah. That? <laughs> yeah, he's in the boys. Have you not? Wait, have you not seen the boys? No, I meant in the the kids one. Yeah, no, he so he he's in this kids film about killing monsters at sea. I say it's uh, a kids film. I'm pretty sure an actual kid would be like a bit terrified of it. Um, yeah. uh, this is yeah, ours cleaned up. Yeah, let's take a look at the chat and see what the in game. Ragoons, Silas, Ragoons? let's not let's be non enemies. Roger that. Sure. I mean, <laughs> I cold ward. We chill. That's fair. Because I wanted to get Momonga's territory. Didn't care about the space. We had quite a fight. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so strong blog on Momonga is now basically dead. Yeah. They want more prick tea, and there is more prick tea. They now have three oh, planets. Oh, prick tea have 10k of navy. They're at war with the blog, what? Look how much space the pretty have. Oh my goodness me. Their strategy with the construction ships <laughs> was such a good strategy. Look how much, how many planets they've taken. Share. This is an uh, explosion. This is in like four, three years. They've just got pumph. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I don't think anyone should be allowed to war the prick tea here. Oh, strong no. is it just strong Oh, that doesn't matter then. What's strong uh, gonna do? He's I think he's done that as a meme. Yeah, but uh, this is why it, uh, that's why you should get killed because how dare you? Yeah. How dare you war the prick tea and live How's with? What's li Jojo doing up here? He's did he just fight or is he chasing the rest of uh, Estra's fleet down? He only has seven k, so Jojo is. Jojo's... Going to take out Astra. Yeah. Yeah. No, not 7k, 700. Oh, there's 7k after the 700. I see. Sorry. With you, with you. Yeah. What? Meanwhile, R is eating another robot for free. There is the salt right... This is salt right here. You can see it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, interesting yeah. as well. No galactic community. This is not a galactic community style game. Um... Wait, is that completely banned, or is everyone just voting no? I, no, I think everyone's voting no. It might be actually part of the mod, but I think everyone's voting no. R is currently maxed out on energy and has 20k alloys saved up. Let's take a look. Has R actually turned into an, built an Acumenopolis yet? No. Has two Gaia worlds, though. Wait a minute. He's R has a new bow. Oh my goodness me. That's so good for him. He's been spamming out Gaia worlds. I talked about this. I told it was good. I said it was good, and it is. Yeah. I mean, it's not as good for R. At least it was a robot that got it. If it was a regular Empire, they'd be even better. Yeah, that pop growth speed is... <laughs> She's spamming that Gaia world just for the, uh, the resources, right? I mean, his biopops are going to get the happiness and the... Um... Yeah, at the moment, pole position, really. Fleet power is Comrade and R, diametrically opposed at opposite ends of the galaxies. Um, have they got any route to each other, though? Let's check that out. So, wormhole here goes up north. No, that's no good. Doesn't help us. Wormhole there goes up north. Doesn't help. Oh, there goes... Ezra's gone. Jojo took him out. 
just completely Jojo gone. So much space as well. Oh my goodness me. Like Jojo's those. now going to econ like oh. Jojo has and the worlds of four players. Is and Jojo can Jojo can assimilate all of those pops. Let's check. And we Jojo also has here, I think. Jojo also has leaders with psychic as well now. He's a, he's got psionic leaders, psychic leaders as a hive mind. Welcome to the craziest thing you've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen. Um, too early for man of the match, asked Sam Nichols. It, it probably, if anyone deserves man of the match so far, it's probably Ragoons for like not putting the prize. He's put, he's put the honor, his honor above any financial reward. Um, nice and well, game. yeah, he is in the game, but that's because no one's deigned to kill him. I, I think yeah. is the the important point to be made here. Um, so we're down to ten. Only half of these players. They don't have. This is a good point price. also being made. Why are uh, why has he not managed to get his hands on any? Um, those are psionic. Yeah, so these Ezreal's pops, okay, once he converts them, which he will in a minute, he should start actually rolling some clone descendant admirals. I think he's just been really unlucky. There we go, there's his first clone descendant admiral. 15% fire rate. Unfortunately, it doesn't have psychic because it pro he probably just had latent psionic rather than actual psionic. Yeah, okay, so Puzarex had actual psionic, which means they always yeah, have psychic. Hmm. I mean, he keep, he could keep rolling it, to be fair. Like, as time goes on, he's more likely to get that. Yeah, so there's... Well, let's look at the players. So, just looking at the player empires here. Jojo, no, uh, sorry, R, this part of the galaxy, and over there. Basically, number one player at the moment. Allied with Ukukuril next to him. They're a bit of a block. The two of them together represent the most fleet power. Next is Comrade in terms of fleet power. He has less than Ukukuril and R combined, next but he's still a big story. force. Who? Oh, not next. Sorry. Um, R's gone to war with Hattori. Oh, no. Oh, wow. And he's just smashed straight he's in. just smashed next. Oh. Oh, wow. We've got the three big players here. R, Jojo, and Comrade. But all he's doing here is knocking a player out. He's not actually doing it because he cares about the pops. Because he, he is a, um, he is a, uh, he's a machine, rogue servitor. So he actually doesn't want all those pops. They destabilize his economy. Uh, if he were to take the planets. He also hasn't even finished the war with Aragon. Maybe someone could come back and liberate Aragon. Because that's the thing. Aragon is only at 70% war exhaustion. Until it gets to 100%, Aragon does not have to surrender. So he can just sit there hoping, hoping for someone like Comrade yeah. to step in and save the day. But Comrade's busy eating the last of Momorg Momonger or Strongblorg's worlds. Yeah, he's just bombarding them down a bit. He's got spamming strongholds. <laughs> and that means the top players right now, number one, we have uh, Rogue Servitor. Number two, we have Progenitor Hive. And number three, we have Necrophage. That's a this... really good mix, to be fair, for the bad. And this the probably game. means I need to bring you guys a uh, Necrophage me meta build video imminently so you can, you can, you too can do it at home. Um, because it's it is a powerful build, and I haven't actually got a video on it, I think, ever. Or maybe I do, but it's from a very long time ago. Did the comrade just win the war? No, he's sorry, still going. Okay, and when he wins that war against Strongblog, he's going to get an extra two hundred and twenty pops, putting him at five hundred. That's going to double his econ. Yeah, Easy. He's getting memed a bit by uh, Strongblog. He Strongblog's just spamming um... armies armies and strongholds <laughs> it's good that's, that's what you should do that yeah, is exactly is what you should do, what you should do especially in this game like yeah he's got thirty thousand army on his capital here strongblog does no no yeah strongblog has thirty thousand sorry three thousand army on his capital <laughs> he's converted everything into a stronghold which is legal you can do that in the rules, and this is not the thing. Is here that's not burning. Um, that's not burnt. Uh, burnt whatever it's. What's it called again? Sorry, my uh, scorched earth. Oh, yeah, this cool. isn't count as scorched earth. No, no, no. Converting everything into a fortress is not scorched earth. It it's is. Still a, a working something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's just good defense. I mean, if your planet was being sieged, you would do that. <laughs> what he's like not allowed to do. 
What he's not allowed to do as well, though, he's not allowed to uh, destroy the districts. Let's check. Yeah, good. He hasn't destroyed any of the districts. So the econ won't be as good. There still will be econ, the tax, though. It, it, uh, yeah. Could you just meme them by turning them all into... No, like, Sleepless. This is not dishonorable play. This is actually good play. If you're losing, he's going to make it. So for Conrad, taking these planets is so difficult, Conrad actually will end up with more war exhaustion and Stronglog is trying to survive. This isn't Dishonor. This one isn't Scorched Earth. This is good defensive play. Scorched Earth would be if he destroyed all of these industrial districts. If he actually ruined the worlds. He's not doing that. He yeah. simply replaced the buildings with strongholds to defend. Well, and he could purge all his species as well, but he's not doing that. Exactly. He could also start doing um, purges. Uh, he could just set the species rights to purge and just kill everything. What is happening? Oh. Eh? Well, I'm going to go grab some water because I'm out. Uh, at this point in the game, we're having a hot joint. Be right back. Going to get some water. Isn't this going to desync? We brought a player in. Let's hope this doesn't ruin the game. I'm surprised that the T and there's the desync. There it is. That might mean this entire tournament is now dead because they brought a player in. Um. Um. I'm hoping not. It's an arbiter apparently. They brought, yeah, so basically what, what's happened here, they brought in a hot joiner, one of the arbiters, one of the people in charge of the rules have been brought in because they must have DC'd. I would not recommend you do this this late in the game. This could call, it's already caused a desync. And then on top of that, it could mean that the entire game becomes unplayable, at which point we will have no tournament winner. That would be very, very deeply annoying. I mean, alternative, I suppose it would mean that, uh, who would win? Let's see. Uh... Well, that look that would mean that R would come in first place, Jojo in second, Comrade in third, Starship Troopers in fourth. So that's Ukukran and Silas in fifth. If we're all to end now, okay, I've returned. They allowed a hot joiner, um, which could mean. The tournament's about to be done. Oh no. Well, uh, oh, relics. Good news. Oh, sorry, oh, yeah, sorry. go on. Sorry. No, no, um, I was responding to something in chat. Yeah, I was just going to say that I got a custard cream. <laughs> oh, good, a custard cream. That's terribly helpful of you to tell me. <laughs> Jeez. So, um, how many. The relic is 1,000 points, but that still puts R in the lead by. 300 points and even then he would still be in third second place if he wasn't in first so there we are but yeah they've allowed a hot joiner one of the arbiters to come back the hot joiner is desynced immediately on entry the desync could spread um uh and that could mean we'd end up with the game kind of finishing prematurely i would it's not we to me i'm not organizing hours. the tournament well yeah we have two hours but like the game save could become unplayable yeah uh, i was playing a multiplayer just last night and we had a desync that we tried to get rid of. We rehosted like three times and we just kept, um, yeah, it just kept coming. In the end, we had to just discontinue. It was like, it was year 80. It was a fantastic game. Um, fantastic, absolutely fantastic game. We had the a multiplayer, um, uh, War in Heaven had started. We had a League of Non-Line Systems fighting the two Awakened Fallen Empires. We were imminently waiting on a 25 times crisis that could arrive um, basically any moment. Uh, and and then we just got all of these desyncs. Yeah, it, uh, it was such a shame. And we're risking that now, but uh, hopefully it'll be fine. Anyway, what's going on? So, comrades, uh, it's a score. It's by score at the moment. R is in first place. 
Here's our machine rogue servitor. Second place is Jojo uh, as well. This is Hive Mind doing well. Third place is Silas. Lost some stuff, but still doing. Oh, sorry, not third. Th Silas in fifth. Third place is Comrade by score, not by this score here, but by the actual score. Third place is Comrade right. doing really well. Yeah, if you go to the situation log victory, that's where the score is that's placed. Silas is third for me. Oh, it must have just. I've just seen it change. The last time I checked, Silas was fourth. Now Silas is third. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Sorry. Yeah, it's kind of matched up with the... Um... And Uku Krill is fifth. It's perfectly matched up with the skin. That's that's kind of funny, actually. Um, okay. <laughs> I can't believe he's six. Like, the man that's gone wrong with him, and he's hanging in there, he really needs to... I think just expand up that north to get those planets, which he is doing. Oh, he's got them now. He's colonizing planets. I think he can rescue this. If he doesn't get attacked by Comrade. Ragoons is aiming for fifth, isn't he? Is Ragoons in fifth at the moment? He's in sixth. So, sorry, sixth, yeah. So Ragoons is in sixth, aiming at fifth. He's only he's actually got higher tech level and more economic strength. Sorry, no, slightly lower tech level, slightly lower economic strength than Ukukura. Oh, Basically. His best interest right now would be to spam habitats and colonize every planet he can get his hand on. Yep. He might want to take... How strong is the automated Dreadnought? Because that is protecting two worlds. Uh, to be fair, the Dragon could probably take it on because of the regen. Dragon versus Dreadnought fight. Let's tell Ragoons to do it. There is also a wormhole there. Which goes all the way up north. That could be a Jojo surprise attack. Is Ragoons at peace? I'm going to tell him in the chat. Let me just write it here somewhere. Ragoons is at peace, yeah. Tori is currently dying to R. Uh, next stroke. Grid's dying. It's just kind of slowed down. These wars that happened a while ago, um. Three hundred percent. He can retreat. <laughs> She's <a> red puss. <laughs> oh, boo, ragoons, boo. Let's put a poll up. Should um, dragon fight the? Uh, should dragon fight the dreadnought? There's a poll live right now in my chat. Please vote for it, ladies and gentlemen. If you are on, uh, if you're on He's Twitch, <laughs> if you're on Twitch, I'll just send you a quick link to where the YouTube is, so you can vote for it as well. Is Silas taking the Prick T planets? Oh, Silas went to war with the Prick T. Boo, boo. It's probably the right play for him to be fair, but boo. <laughs> Yeah, he's just going to take this. Free, free economy. Uh, there goes the Prick T, ladies and gentlemen. A once great nation called Prick T has now become Silas PT. I, I, I don't know what else to say, but may Silas perish at the might of the science armada. Apparently it didn't happen. Um, yeah, oof. I... F to pay respects, I guess, again, it's just, it's a sad day. It is a sad day when such a noble race like the Prick Tia so drastically and violently removed from the game. I can't believe it's happened. I get, I think we should end it here. I can't, I can't carry on. We all know the Prick Tia was the true winners, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Don't we in our hearts? Yeah, R is just decimating Tori right now. Comrade's complaining about a planet with some problems. Let's check it out. He's having crime issues everywhere. Skill <laughs> issue. You see, he, no, it, yeah, maybe I suppose. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Why are they so unhappy here? Oh, it's because it's only slaves. I see. That would make sense. Yes. 
Mm, I don't see a planet. Oh, yeah. is this a planet? No, I don't see a planet with a problem. I see no problems. It just seemed like they should have that stability. Does crime. he have a world with crime law deals? No, no. Criminal underworld, crime boss arrested, substance abuse, anti-crime, criminal underworld. No crime law deals. Nothing of that. Yeah, the beloved prick tea, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Um, How do we convince Ragoon to fight? He could use his fleets too. Ah, whatever. I'm going to end the vote there. 223 votes. 85% in favor saying yes. And apparently... I mean, this is going to lose him man of the match, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Jojo is looking strong. He's now up to 121k. Everyone seems to be switching. Oh no, he's got mixed. He doesn't have kinetic battery twos, but he's got the neutron launchers. Which is real nice. Who is winning? Someone's asking in chat. Let's take a quick check on that. So, R is really cleaning up up north with almost 120k. Um, top of the, uh, the victory. Yeah, top of the victory too. screen. And if he takes these systems, well, the problem is he's no longer got machines to eat. The good thing, he once he takes our gone, oh, it's a tributary war. He's trying to turn Hattori into a tribute. Oh, that's I didn't neat. notice that. That yeah, will actually really help us yeah. econ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be super power. Now, they can only rebel after 10 years. So he's got 10 years of guaranteed tributary. Oh. Let's check There's out Silas's. 10k next grid fleet going through the bottom. What? Of, uh, <laughs> of R. Not the bottom. Uh-oh. Like yeah, I see it. But also, R's got 17k waiting. That 70k yeah, seems to be running notice. away. I don't think he's noticed. I think yeah, I don't think he's part. noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check. Gonna... But has he got all the No, parts? R has noticed. He's catching them in, high uh, in here in uh, Hyderskant. Ah, uh, yeah. They are 16k that now, though. How's Comrade doing in his war? He's gonna He's KO. Bombarding. Oh, look at this. Strongblog is really, really probably upsetting him. Look at <laughs> this. Can, He's, He's got four and a half K. He's got four and a half K invading. Like, to be fair, it's, Strongblog's made the right call here. Um, yeah, this is what you should do to. to yeah, this is how you should defend. Like, it's maximum defense. Because during this, this time, someone could have come to Strongblog's rescue yeah. and saved him. From, and it stops um, Comrade mm. snowballing because, like, it, if ever, if only a few players just give up instantly, and then some always hold out, it's like you've got unbalanced. Victories. Someone on my Twitch chat is asking, "There is no sub button?" Question mark. No, I'm not a Twitch affiliate. If I were to become a Twitch affiliate, I would not be allowed to stream on both Twitch and YouTube. Twitch are evil and mean and cruel, and they refuse to allow anyone who's an affiliate or a partner to stream live to both YouTube and Twitch. You can stream live to Twitch and uh, a TikTok and Twitch and Instagram live because they don't view them as competitors and they're, you know, but they view YouTube as a competitor, so no. Basically, I don't have any monetization for the Twitch views. On the other hand, I'm going to set up a donate button there imminently. Um, I'm getting some panels, some nice arty panels made, and then there won't be a sub button, but there'll be a donate button instead. So you'll be able to do that. Fantastic, amazing, it'll be great. On the other hand, if you're on YouTube, you can uh, send a super chat, or you can jump over to this YouTube and send a super chat. It's very lovely and very easy. There's also YouTube channel membership, which is equivalent to a sub on Twitch. Um, yeah. yeah, I've got no monetization from Twitch. You lovely viewers on Twitch, you're just, um, you're just there to watch. Um, but if, if you do have a spare yeah. Prime, you know who is affiliate oh, on Twitch. That is a good point. Yeah, go and give EP30 <laughs> a lovely Prime subscription right now. Who's fighting? Who's fighting? Twitch.tv forward slash EP30. Sorry, we're shilling. Yeah, it's important. I mean, it's not that important for you. You're you're a part timer. This is my job now. Hey, oh. I'm a student. Technically, this yeah. is the first job. I Next have, Grid so. lost the fight. No, Next Grid won the fight. Get out. <laughs> what? Is, they beat the bigger fleet. No, he had about the same. It he had oh, but the star base. Yeah, Hyruskin had a star base which had yeah, it had look, he had some gun batteries. Battleships. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, the dragon versus dreadnoughts fighting. What? 
No, no. he's actually doing it. No, it's not. No, it's not happening. What is he saying? <laughs> They're trying to get him to do it. I just want to be really clear. Montu's Man of the Match comes with no monetary value. Um, he gets a shout out. <laughs> he, get, he gets Man of the He'll get Man of the Match, and you'll uh, and um, didn't know there was an esports side to this game, and I'm all for it. Where is her is, Oscar? This is the closest to esports we'll see. It is intense. A lot of these wars are just slow grinds now, slogs to finish them off. Yeah, yeah, they kind of are, aren't they? It's uh, it's kind of got to that point. I'm gonna have a look at people's late game builds because I feel like we we concentrate on the early game a lot, but how are they getting more? You know, it's interesting. Um, it's just really having to build more. Just build more stuff, isn't it? You know, build yeah. more things yeah. on your planets. Uh, get good. Do more. Yeah, the rings are quite important. Have we got any examples of that? Let's take a look. Let's actually... Are, are any of the Venerian rogue State servitors... Energy. It's got hazardous weather alongside an orbital ring, so they're getting... None? None of the rogue servitors, except the only rogue servitor that's actually survived to this point in the game is the Doomsday rogue servitor. And at the moment, I want to point out here, Doomsday Origin is winning. Okay? Yeah. Winning. He's done well with the like diplomacy side as well. A lot of the rogues fighters have just gotten murdered by like people that were around them while they were fighting something else or doing something yeah. else. Yeah. But R is like taking someone out and he's not getting attacked by anyone else. I think he did once by Singularity, but he w had that defensive back with Ukaril who could just defend him. So it didn't matter. He's just spamming out battleships at this point. <laughs> like, I'm still trying to convince him to do it. I yeah, I'm still going here. He's just chilling. Um, he's just trying to get more planets. He's building a lot of destroyers. I guess that's what he's going for. Does he? He does have battleships. He's going for large, medium destroyers. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just trying to convince aggressive him, saying right? aggressive saying no no that no the deal <laughs> uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see is, is ragoons doing it not yet not yet can you show each player in our empire yeah sure we'll see since there's not too much going on so we have r in the lead he is doomsday with rogues to rapid replicator and ota updates it's quite interesting he does have a relic as well, which is that the Gaia World one. The last battle, which is just insane. He's just spamming that. Then we have in second Silas, who is playing Teacher of the Shroud, Masterful cra Crafters, Meritocracy, and Mining Guilds. And he kills a pretty good late game when you need just that mineral. Because the stacks, it gives plus one, but all the bonuses go on top of that plus one. Then we have Jojo, who is a... Uh, Hive, primogenitor, primogenitor. Yeah, pr uh, progenitor, not prima donna or whatever you were saying there. <laughs> and that's that's similar to a build I showed off recently. Though the main difference here is that in the main hive species, they went for intelligent rather than um, rather than phototrophic. I'd recommend you go yeah. phototrophic. They go with intelligent. It's worked out fine for them. Yeah, um, they got budding, which just is going to scale them. Well, yeah, let's take a look at their capital for a minute. Trisolaris here, they've got an extra 1.38 pop growth just from the pops on the world. You know, that's 0.6. That's, you know, that's more than you get out of having... Um, having it's almost uh, the same as the offspring drone. Yeah. I oh, know it's not. I thought it's one. I was looking at the capital. They've also got a plus one from a planetary feature. Which I'm going to assume is the progenitor nest. Yes. Yeah. There is a bio break. Um, yeah, they're having a quick bio break. I'm going to quickly take a bio break while uh, they're yeah, bio I'll breaking. Go the... 
you go through the stuff. I'll leave everything on screen for everybody, um, and you can go through it briefly while I'll be right back. Nice. So yeah, we've got Comrade Truck who is playing Necrophage with Masterful Cap, Crafter, Technocracy, and Distinguished Admiralty. Um, yeah, it's just strong. He's probably practiced this a lot. His species? What did he do with his species? He did grab... He didn't grab any of the uh, strategic resources. He just went Lithoid, Necrophage, Intelligent, Charismatic, and Natural Engineers. Oh, Montu's chat. Wait, shall I get Montu's chat? Oh, yeah, let's get Montu's chat. Should we prank him? Who's down to prank Montu? I think we should prank him. And Ukaril has Prosperous Unification, Meritocracy, Masterful Crafters, Distinguished Admiralty. My chat is catching up. I'm just going to click refresh. So I'm not going to actually see. Oh no. Hello? Just spam. What on earth? What oh. is this nonsense? You told I, 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 you know, I, I can hear you. What's this? What, what's your plan, eh? Because I mean, I, I, I've still got my headphones on. I just walked into the oh, room and got a bit. Yeah, I heard everything. I'm like, what? Why? What's your, what's your idea here? Huh? What's, what's the big game? I bring you in. I replace Ooh. you with Comrade as a co-host of a tournament because Comrade wants to play. <laughs> no, don't, don't spam it in the chat. Ooh. Stop this now. Immediately, Ooh. no. <laughs> Boo. Yensax, yeah, Yensax, yeah, stop it. You're meant, to, you're meant to defend the chat, not destroy it. <laughs> Boo. Oh. On Boo. I'm not, I'll fine, do it, do the prank. You know, you just do it. Let's, let's, I'll, I'll pretend I'm not here. No, I, you know I'll go and get another bit. No, I don't know what's happening. No, what's going on? No, I, no, I didn't ruin no. it. I just, you just, of course Boo. I can hear you. Like, what on earth? <laughs> And did you? Someone said at least he has his legs. How, is that? Is that? Is that an ableist joke, sir? How, how very dare I won't you? Stand for it. I, oh, God no, you won't. You won't stand for it. Oh. But anyway, man. back to the game. Ragunas no. has uh, a <laughs> be dragons with masterful. Everyone's got masterful craft. It's such a good. Setting, it's just though. massive masterful crafters. It's the meta. Master it, crafters, it, it, aquatics. That's it doesn't the, need that it's building so slot, good. I think. No, it does. Like, no, that's what's good about it. If you take away the building slot, no one would run it. Um, so the, the Masterful Crafters, let me grab an empire with it. Right, here we go. Masterful Crafters gives oh. us <laughs> artificers that give us more consumer goods base output, plus a tiny bit of trade value and a little bit of engineering. Those two are nice bonuses, but the main thing is here, the extra consumer goods makes our pops more efficient. So we need less pops to get the same yeah. number of consumer goods, thus less artisans or artificers. On top of that, every three industrials gives us a building slot. So in, in the meta of multiplayer, on your, uh, on your industrial world, on your industrial world, you can build no city districts and still max out your building slots, meaning you can get many more pops working the metallurgist jobs. It's just yeah. so good. How would you balance it then? Because it's obviously too strong. Um, I would balance it by completely getting rid of it. And <laughs> hear me out. No, hear me out. The way I think I'd balance it is I would put the the industrial district thing here into a tradition. Three industrial oh. district grants, one building slots, except on habitats, put it into a tradition. Um, like, for example, let's see if I can get a tradition. So, no one takes so, like Harmony. Put it in something like Harmony and, and scale down some of the other bonuses in Harmony. Um... Yeah, that would be quite good, actually. Jörn's actually well, saying... Not have that Civic anymore. <laughs> well, no, no. And, and, well, as in maybe, and maybe keep the Civic the, and still give, like, artifices with con extra consumer goods, trade value, and engineering, and something else. Give them some extra special gimmick which isn't as powerful as every three industrial district transfer building slot. Something in my chat is saying... Um, remove the trade value, and instead of one to four... Ma instead of one to three, make it one to four. Maybe? I'm not convinced, to be perfectly honest. I'm not convinced. You no, know, the trade value it, is like it's it's all right. It's not. Well, it's energy basically. So, like, let's say you have the that basically means the energy upkeep of the district is zero, 
because you're going to cover that with your artificers. Mm, that's true. Yeah. It's, it's just good. It's like uh, with the, the other one, the other civic that gave building slots. Um, oh, what's it called? Like, I can't remember what it's called. It's about architecture, functional architecture. Oh, yeah. That I mean, when the thing is, that gives... So, that's the thing. Functional architecture now gives one building slot, right? Um, has anyone? No one's got it, have they? I can't imagine anyone no. does. Look at uh, no. This okay. Is really good on habitats and. But if you start the game as let me find someone who starts as a spiritualist. Great. Okay. If you start the game as a spiritualist, looking here at Silas again. Let's look at his capital. Is that his capital? No. Where's his capital? Did he lose his capital? By the way, comrade just said that his friendship has ended with Silas and Ragunas. Jojo is now my best friend. End of the next grid. There goes the next. The next let's. Oh, this is going to be terrifying. R has just is going to catapult even further ahead. This is. Uh, this is like unless anyone can do anything about R now, he's going to take Hatori. That I think then means he has to end his alliance with Ukukaril. Yeah. Does he still have that? Um. Let's check. Yes, defensive pact. So he will have to end his defensive pact with Ukukaril because he'll then be a team size episode. three. And he's got, and ours also got 750 pops at this point in the game, year 80. What are they? They're mostly machines. Yeah, mostly machines. It's ridiculous. Like, this is... Oof. And what is it for Tributary? 30%? 30% it resource. This will basically save his entire energy economy. Yeah, and then he can just push more into... <laughs> he's making 700 alloys per month now. Silas is also making 700 alloys per month. Comrade's going to try and kill him. Silas is at 90k. Yeah, Comrade just needs to kill something after Blog. But we Comrade hasn't like met Silas. Out. Comrade hasn't met Silas. <sighs> but he knows he's past uh, Strong Blog. How has he done it yet? Is he just not doing it so they can't see each other's powers? It's like a stalemate of not doing the... Uh... The communication thing, the event. I'm just reminding them all there's a big prize and they need to fight each other. Oh, wait, there's six um, people that win, isn't it? Not five. I keep saying five. One, two, three. Four. There's nine. Five. No, there's... it's five. It's five yeah. that win. Three. Five win. It's five five win, winners. But it ends when there's six. No, no, no. When six are left, they will announce an end game date. Oh, I can't read. I should learn to read the rest of the yeah, sentence. Yeah, yeah, that, that would help, wouldn't it? first half. That dash told me not to read the, the, the rest. Hmm. Well, I was trying to tell you anyway about um about what's going with slots. So here's a capital, all right? When you start the game, as a, as a uh, spiritualist, spiritualist, you start with three industrial districts. Meaning if you are masterful crafters and spiritualist, you, in essence, get plus one building slot. Well, that's um, actually really strong. Which is equivalent to being so basically, Masterful Crafters at the very start of the game is plus one building slot if you're a spiritualist, and it's all the other bonuses too. So it's equivalent to um, uh, functional architecture with more bonuses for all your pops. Yeah, that building cost doesn't really matter from a uh, functional. Oh, you know, sorry, did I put my uh, somebody in my chat said I put my can down a bit too heavily? Yes, I am not drinking a yeah, I'm drinking a beer. No, I'm drinking a little beer, it's a little bit of a beer. So. It is such a shame that the uh, orbital rings don't have a building that buffs researchers, it's like so increases annoying. base research output or something. Oh, look, there goes Necroblog. There's Momonga. Yep. Yeah. GG. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. Ragoons is still in it. He's got 100k now. Two, la two more will die, and Endgame will be announced. Now, I gotta say, you gotta, you gotta salute. Sorry, you gotta salute Strong Blog here, though. Oh, I mean, definitely. he he fought a losing rearguard action for years against Comrade, who had more planets, more everything. Who's Jojo at war with? Jojo is currently at war with uh, Krillish, just taking the final systems from what is now an AI. It's just this one planet here, basically, with uh, a few pops on it. So, in chat, who do we think is gonna win that first grand prize? Because I feel like it. it can... 
Jojo's got it. Is Jojo it has it. Psychic. Jojo has psychic clone descendant admirals. Oh. Four of them now. He's finally... And he's got some... All of his admirals. He's a hive mind with all psychic admirals. This is craziness. This Let's is put insane. up a poll for winner. I'm going to put a poll in 15% fire rate from descendant and 5% less upkeep. That's going to add up. Then 10% damage. So he's getting fire rate on top of the damage. And he gets 15% evasion. Along with aggressive, which is also more fight a five percent more fire rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nuts. It's completely nuts. Fire rate, weapons damage, reduction of upkeep, evasion. I mean, yeah, it's what you. Yeah, it's just clone armies can produce some nonsense. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, this is this is dumb. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a four horse race right now between uh, yeah. Silas, Jojo, and Comrade for the top. I'm agreeing. Position. I put up a poll right now. Who's going to win? Poll position. Who are you predicting yeah, to win point. at this point? Um, come vote in my great poll. It's fantastic. If you're on Twitch, here's a link to the YouTube so oh, you can quickly on, watch it. But who do you think is going to win, Monty? I actually think that... I think that JoJo's going to take it. He's just been left... Because oh, no. he's been left. I feel left. like there's going to be just one big war between Jojo and comrades. I no, I think that R's going to get knocked down to size because people are going to be, you know, he's the player to beat right now. Look how far ahead he is. And he he really needs to be taken out. Yeah, he he's a he is he. Ha oh my goodness, he is six thousand score ahead of second place, or five thousand when you take out the extra relic. And tributaries give more score as well, right? But we don't count tributary score. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's insane. Let me just... Well, I'm, I'm on your... I'm just going to vote in your poll because uh, I can't vote to my own. I vote for uh, Jojo. I think he's ahead. And, and actually, it looks like your viewers are agreeing with me. On the other hand, oh, my viewers are saying they think R's going to come out ahead. Okay. Oh. I mean, yeah. If R can maintain and not get killed by everyone, yeah. he will come out ahead. But... That's, that's the thing. He's got three and a half thousand on dollars on the line here. Exactly. EP through. He has a target right now. You know, the difference between second place and first place is like two thousand dollars or something, isn't it? Yeah, two thousand dollars. If you're playing a board game with your friends and you you start winning, everyone goes for you. It's, yeah, you need to be assured of your unassailable victory, or you need to be in second place till yeah. the very end. <laughs> is he, where's the blue shell? Yeah, he's also increased the tracking. He's ready to deal with psionic. Oh, um, He's, he's just gone substitutes just yeah. to spec in for that extra tracking so That's that he smart. can deal with uh, psionic destroyers, max evasion destroyers. He has also gone for Arcology Project. Why has he not upgraded a world yet? Let me check. He's got a uh, dragon scale armor as well. He's not upgrading any of the worlds into Ecumenopolis worlds. Maybe, hmm. He's got the minerals for it. Yeah, he just doesn't have... He has the decision... He's taken... Um, he's taken Arcology Project, but he's not used it. He probably took it earlier and just hasn't used it. Yeah. He's just spam upgrading and building right now. Proton year 65, neutron year... Eight, Important point to make here, my chat. Don't forget that this is not just any hive mind. This is a progenitor hive mind. So all of those psychic clone descendant admirals are also passively gaining XP forever. Oh... Yeah, yeah, this is like the most power. So they've also oh. been getting more traits. Oh, Dragon Slayer! Somebody had Dragon Slayer in his army. Who was that? I just noticed uh, one of his leaders had Dragon Slayer. Wait. Oh my... Jojo's yeah. at war. Who's Jojo at war with? Oh, no, that's the same oh, wars before. No, Sorry, yeah, I thought it was war with Ragoons for a minute. Descendant, psychic, unyielding. For a minute, I thought he was at war with Ragoons and he killed Ragoons as dragon. I was like, no. This is insane. He's got 20... He's got 35%... No, sorry. Yeah, so 15 let's look at the map. damage, 25% more fire rate, less upkeep, and just... 15% of agency. That's nutty. That Admiral so, is so strong. There's level two. Yeah. So we're just looking at the, the forces now. So R's number one. There he is. Wrapped around there. Jo Let's actually check that. Is Jojo number two? Okay, here we go. Yes. Okay, so R's number one. Jojo number two. Comrade number three. Right. So R's number one. There he is. There he is. Massive economy. Massive army. About to take another... About to take his first vassal. 
Jojo's number two, up here in the north, quietly economying away. He's got the worlds of four players under his belt, plus his own. I'm doing fine. Silas, Silas and PT. Silas, PT, and Ragoons are in an alliance. Silas is in third. Goons is in sixth. Let me just double check that, though. I'm pretty sure. Surely they're going to team up on Ukril when... Um... Or Comrade. Oh has to get rid of him as an ally like that's an easy picking when R is not his ally yeah anymore. yeah i mean what, something like that is going to happen yes but at that point what if r declares war on them or closes borders to them yeah you know it's not as simple as it would appear on the surface now it's a way a bit of a way we're gonna i think we're gonna the next five ten years we're not gonna have that much action we're it's going to cold. enter a bit of a cold war and we're gonna get a big build up until people have like 500k of naval capacity when they're starting to feel confident then they'll go and attack that's yeah. what i'm thinking oh five, sorry 500 uh, naval power not naval capacity poor hattori <laughs> there goes the there's the final pacifist world gone rest in peace they Singularity still really. in the game here with just a few worlds left. He's just chilling. He's trying to sneak into that top five. Well, I mean, if you can survive long enough and get like and get and get into top five, that's six hundred dollars. Yeah, six hundred dollars. It's not uh, nothing to shrug your shoulders at. Just for chilling, you know. Maybe you get lucky. There, there's no point giving up for. Oh wait, he's in if, war. If who is? Singularity. Who with? Yeah, he declared war. Trying to kill the wreck, the AI. Ah, fair enough. Just grab it out from uh, those 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 few little worlds. He's actually gone up and attacked it. Very the opportunists. He's called his fleet, yeah. <laughs> and they're, they're going to take that world easy peasy. And it's all machines. Oh, that's fantastic for him. Yeah, that could be really nice for him just to build up a bit of an economy. Maybe he can get a fleet that can try and defend himself. So he's maybe not worth it. It's like a big bug. Hattori's basically yeah. out. Hattori's basically out because you cannot podium in any way, shape, or form as a vassal. So if Hattori loses this war, which it, it basically looks like he's going to do, look, he's losing pretty much all of his stuff. He oh, maybe not. He's, he is coming he back with his fleets a little bit. Where is R right now? Where are R's ships? Oh, crap. R's got like 100k upgrading. What's he upgrading into? Neutrons, tier 2, dragon scale armor. Good lord. Good yes, lord. Um, Ultimus ship. Like the best computer as well. Yes. Plus 20% weapons rate fire jump engine. drives a lot. He's got jump drives as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. He hasn't put them on his destroyers. I assume he hasn't built any destroyers then. Let's look at his fleet manager. Um, uh, no, no destroyers. Okay, cool. Oh, my goodness. So many battleships. Where are his fleets? Let's take a look at the, 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 the leader of the known universe. Though, right? Huh? Max evasion destroyers are just going to counter its battleships. So they are going to counter its battleships, except... Jo uh, except because of a subterfuge, plus 10 tracking, there goes the wreck, plus 10 tracking, along with, I assume what he's also going to do when he gets the technology, let me check, I don't think he's got the technology yet. Let me just check. As soon as he gets Titans, which I, I'm not seeing... Oh, you could put the tracking on it, yeah. Yeah, as soon as he gets Titans... He could build a few Titans, one Titan per fleet. He's got big fleet sizes here. That would give plus 20 tracking. And then we look at the ships themselves. They've got tier four uh, sensors. That's 15 tracking. Um, also, what something he's not noticed, which he really should, is that here in the, Elib in the uh, Iberi system is the Enigmatic Fortress. If he knocks out the Enigmatic Fortress, he can get his hands on the Enigmatic Decoder, which is equivalent to the auxiliary fire control in terms of the chance to hit but it also gives you extra tracking if he were to combine all of that on his battleships no the evasion would mean nothing he'd have enough tracking to completely counter it yeah at which point he's laughing and or he just builds more ships either of those works build more <laughs> ships is probably easier though <laughs> <laughs> just like just a really complex plan so comrades saying i see you your fleet's moving towards me did you change your plans he talking to oh, Jojo? Who's he talking to? Comrade's there with 170k. Jojo's got 200. Comrade is sitting on 20k of alloys, though. So is Jojo. So is R. All of the big players right now, except except Silas has no war chest. Silas is desperately putting out ships. On the other hand, R has the biggest war chest in the game, the largest alloy income. And on top of that, he is going to be converting one of these worlds. Here it is. 
This world is becoming an accumulopolis. There we go. In 3,000 days, so nine years, this planet becomes an accumulopolis, a forge accumulopolis, at which point he can start stacking bio trophies there, and he can put the um, he can put the uh, the bonuses they're getting here into the stratosphere. He's also got Sky Dragon's Plume, giving plus 20% yeah. max district. Oh, oh wow. I just, that is... And let's look at the orbital ring. Of course, he's got the alloy processing facility. Yeah. R is currently, if no one attacks it, if there isn't a joint alliance now between someone like Co Comrad and someone else, I was going to storm ahead. I think at this point, I'm going to stop the poll. You guys have all voted. You voted enough. Said done. Who, what is Comrade? That's your question. Comrade is currently playing a Necrophage. He uh, has Distinguished Admiralty Technocracy Masterful Crafters. He's putting out almost 3k research, 600 alloys. If I was him, actually, I would recommend drop off the research at this point, maybe, and push into alloys instead. I mean, look, let's look at his ships. He's or like, what really is he going to get now that he doesn't already have? He has yeah, safety and compact computers. Off a bit, like with the yeah, scaling. yeah. I'm about to sneeze, bear with me. Oh my goodness. So yeah, Comrade is quite scared. He's in between Ragunas, he's in between Jojo and Silas. He's scared of the... He's just going to get triple teamed, I think. I'm so and upset. He... I've suppressed the sneeze by closing everything for too long and now I can't sneeze, but it's right on the tip <laughs> of my nose. Oh, Sorry, you were saying about Comrade. Please continue. Yeah, Comrade is in quite a tough uh, position. He didn't really have any allies early on. He's completely surrounded by three players who would just probably want to murder them in Jojo, Ragunas, and Silas. I think Ragunas With... probably wants to wait. The... He want... Ragunas wants to murder someone, but Ragunas isn't sure yeah. who. But as soon as Comrade attacks someone, the other two are going to attack him. Or the other one. With Jojo... He has no one to worry about, really. I must admit, though, eventually. I think even if Ragoons doesn't kill the automated Dreadnought, which is a travesty, everyone's voted for that. I'm very upset with the fact he hasn't <laughs> done that. But even if he doesn't, this comeback is so severe. He failed at year 30. His entire plan failed. He didn't kill the dragon, and he's still here. He's still around. He's in sixth. I mean, yes, no one attacked him, which is probably, you know, the biggest help here. So, like, no one just ate his empire, which they probably the should have done. He was in the middle of nowhere, and then, I mean, I don't know why si Silas attacked his the neighbor, mainly because Ragoons wasn't a good target. At that point, Ragoons' economy was a bit crap, wasn't it? Yeah. Ours almost have 300k now. And it's just going to get stronger. He's not even over his naval cap. <laughs> He's over his star base capacity, but once he gets that economy from H uh, uh, Hato Hatori... This, these stars have been at war forever. This is the Star Wars. <laughs> 400 stars. One yeah, thousand two hundred energy credits. For his overlord? No. No, just now at the minute. So he's going to give 30% of that, right? To... Yeah, he'll give... So he'll give 300 per month to R, which will balance R's economy entirely. Yeah. yeah. And he could just go above... Oh, R's, found, R's, R's set up a shroud tunnel and gone, gone through the shroud tunnel, I think, maybe? I'm not sure. No, he's just flying around. Okay. Yeah, I mean, R's now just... R's basically going, that's it. I'm going to end this war. I'm annoyed now. You, you've, you've tested my patience for the last time. <laughs> 300k and accelerating. He's like, he's over his nav cap. That's actually... 43,000 alloys. Still. Whoa, 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 whoa. The problem here R has, though, is energy. R does not have enough naval capacity. Jojo, on the other hand, has 900, 300 more naval cap and, yes, less allies per month, but he's going to be able to... Jo, uh, Jojo can put out a much bigger fleet than R before yeah. his economy collapses, meaning that R can't bring as many ships to bear. Comrade's in a similar position, a bigger naval cap than R. Silas yeah. as well. This actually is... I, I'm starting to think R might have a bit of a problem here. If he can't scale and micro his naval capacity properly soon, it's going to be a real issue. He only has two energy, three energy wheels, but none of them have rings above them. But one of them has a ring above them. He really needs to get the stratosphere stuff over it. I think E2, one of his planets, is upgrading to a primary nexus, and that's when he can um, 
get a ring above it, right? He has 32 texture and drops then. There and oh, he... there's a good point being made here. Arcad balances eco by downgrading a few stations. What's he got on the stations? They're all anchorages, though. The, no, there's some which are solar panel networks. At this point, actually, the solar panel network stations could be should be killed. I think there's um, only one. Uh, there's one with a half and half as well. Why doesn't he upgrade Starholds instead of having that many? So, like... I think he's just... He just conquered them, didn't he? He just conquered them. And he's probably busy microing an annoying war against Hattori. I mean, mm. that's the thing. Fighting a war like this... What's the actual win that he's going to get here? Right? Yeah. He's not going to knock Hattori out. He's just going to make him a vassal. So there's Dragon a problem. Avatar coming up for oh, oh. Wait, versus Avatar. The thing is, though, like, some of the star bases that he has, it's been in his home territory. And some are just empty. No, that's Ragoons. Where's Ragoons? They, um,. Yeah, oh, now he's starting to upgrade them, actually. Oh, he's, yeah, no, he's just attacking a modified probe. <laughs> Raccoons is... Uh, um. Roll insight. Chat, he's going to fight the wrong thing. Oh, wait, what? No, no, he's going... Yeah, he's going here to Raman. He sent a science ship in first. This is... <laughs> this is where he's going. Oh no, the... it's the wormhole goes to oh, where the psionic it? thing, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I told him. I know more. Monty. You do Shut up, you don't know more than Shut up. It's the corrupted av- No, it's the- <laughs> Last Airbender. So many of my chats like, Last Airbender, how dare you? They're reading what I'm writing on the screen. Don't read what I've written. Pay no attention. <laughs> Pay no attention, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, the, the mind of their own. Come on. He there is it. no war in Regalia Prime. Here we go. Here comes the dragon. Come all you young spacefarers, listen to me. Or some crap like that. <clears throat> Yeah, it's really going to slow uh, down now with the Cold War. Who will strike first? That is the biggest question. I think whoever strikes first will die. The thing is, you kind of. That's the thing. You punt, you know, you fight first, you might not be around to fight longest. All right, let's yeah. watch this dragon go. Dragon versus psionic entity. Deathmatch. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, I'm placing bets, ladies and gentlemen. Who will win? Dragon or um, a corrupted oh. avatar? Let's put a poll up. Dragon of Orb. Is it going to be Dragon or is it going to be Ang? Who will win? <laughs> I don't think it can even do damage. The yeah, dragon. the Dragon can't actually take damage. Look, it's uh, it's kind of I I don't want to say that. I'm, I'm going to let people vote. The 11% <laughs> of you that voted Ang. Just think about you. You just think about what you're doing here. Look, it, it can't take damage because of the regeneration. <laughs> the dead. There you go. Dread not. Dread not. Dread not. Dread not. Do the dreadnought. Do it. Do the dreadnought. Come on, Ragoons. <laughs> Boo. The dragon is Iro, the dragon of the West, says Yozak. Yeah, that, that was that was that was Iro versus Aang, the fight we all never got to see but wish we had. Yeah, yeah, that, that seems pretty reasonable. How does dragon regen in combat? Well, ladies and gentlemen, anything uh with the regenerative hull tissue or light light kind of regen regens in combat now. Yeah, it's they buffed I'm just going to end that vote because no, we're so not So you can get the juggernauts to be very strong if you get the nanite repairing thing. Mm. That works. I mean, even just, no, even the juggernaut can have four regenerative health issues. That'll do the same. Yeah. But the nanite one's better. <laughs> it can be un invincible. Tar is running into energy shortages, but this one Ahem. should be. Done soon. I'm hit. Ragoons is coming back with with references. I'm hitting his references with my re return references. 
Ah. Can I change? You can't change the dragon's loadout. No. You should have like a bio shipyard where you can actually like change organics stuff. Like you can equip bubbles with like a laser. <laughs> that just sounds horrific. What you're just gonna strap a laser onto bubbles? Like drill yeah. into the surface of that poor fleshy amoeba? No, it could be like a belt. Like Iron Man, make an Iron Man suit for bubbles. Someone's asking, is regen back to TA? So, no. The problem is, regen generally on your regular ships is not enough to actually be an, a thing. It's a, yeah, it's a percentage. So it's good, but like daily versus a neutron launcher, two, even if you're at a 4% regen of your hull, three neutrons and you're dead, and that'll yeah. take three days. So you can't regen your way out of that. No, it's not possible. On the other hand, if you are a massive ship like a, uh, where is Ragoons, like a dragon, which has a hull point of 15, or 15, uh, sorry, 157,000, 1% per day is much more than a neutron launcher. I mean, you'll still have issues against neutron launchers, but you see what I'm saying. I wish we could bring Ragoons into the chat and just berate him for his evilness. What is this over here? What are these fleets doing? Are they at war? Sorry. They've oh, just gone to war with Ukukuril. They know literally okay. just now Ukukuril and R are still in the defensive pact. Oh, because he hasn't taken her Tori. No, but R's fleets are up north, aren't they? Yeah, but if... Uh, no. If they waited R's bringing his fleets back. R's brought them all back. If they waited for the vassal, they wouldn't have had yeah. the defensive back. So yeah, this is a, this is this they, here. They uh, proverbially shot too okay. early. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, they, we've got they, some action. Here we go. We thought this was going to last a lot longer than it did this Ooh. Cold War. They are hoping hilarious. that they're um, they're hoping that their destroyers are going to make the difference. But look, they've not got they've not got max evasion destroyers. Oh. No, they've not got max evasion choice. Also, the enemy can see what they've got. R can see. Has R got a um, espionage? No. How can he see? He's got a, he's got a spy network on Silas. Yes, uh -huh. full spies on Silas. Ninety. That gives him open access to the fleet. But here we go. No, not yet. We're gonna. They're now gonna see um, the the fleets arrayed against them, and I'm pretty sure they're just gonna turn around. There's a psionic. Oh, what's going on here? Is that a jump? They've jumped. Where are they? They jumped miles away. Why are they retreating? I think they think it's too much. Oh, they haven't all... Oh, there we go. Now they've all retreated. I think they think it's too much. Where did they jump to? They jumped to uh, Ibrixadda, which is west. One, two, three, four, five jumps west. You see if you follow the chain. Don't do your AP history homework. History will always be there. You know why? It's in the past. It's always <laughs> there. Um, no, that's that's a joke. Do your homework if you need to. I'm, I'm, uh, Stay I'm in not... school, kids. Yeah, totally. Don't don't listen to us YouTubers who don't. Hey, we both have a degree, so. To be fair, actually, you know, I've got three degrees. Um, I'm, so... I'm going to have a second one. You are? Really cool, even. cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. How do you have three? Uh, well, um, uh, I don't want to dox myself. And if I say too much, I'll dox myself overly, possibly, because the internet like exists. You have, undergrad, masters. I've got two masters and an undergrad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nerd. <laughs> Draz just says, Montu said, I don't need school, mum. I just need to min-max better. <laughs> List the degrees. No, no, no I'm not a lawyer. No, I'm not a lawyer. Um, I've got a degree in uh, natural sciences, physical. Um, I've got a master's in physics and a master's in natural sciences. Very nice. I have an undergrad in physics and I'm doing a master's in computer science because physics bad. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I mean, my... my um, uh, sorry, I say master's in physics. It was computational physics with a specialization in... Yeah. Blah, blah, it's blah. Just, when yeah. I was looking at jobs, I was like, I don't, I don't actually care about any of these. It's like, <laughs> well, I was looking banking. at... 
so I, ha I, I was working a, a proper job um, before this. Oh my goodness, ours at 400k. Let's get out of this job nonsense a minute. <laughs> Um, Woly moly, where is that? Is he bringing his other fleets to catch up? No, he's gone back to his own space. I'll tell you what he's done. I know what he's done. He has turned on desperate measures to give him a 40% home territory fire rate, meaning that his fleets are now going to be insanely quick. Let's take a look at this quickly. Uh, oh, so, yeah, so he's going to be getting ship fire rate plus 70%. Holy moly. He does have it on no retreat as well. What are his admirals like? Oh, his admirals are so bad. Machine intelligence is get the worst admirals in the game. Yeah. You can't really do much of them. Hattori is going to start pushing forwards in a minute, though. Because he's retaken all his systems and he's now on the aggressive. With his, like, little 28k piddling fleet. That is hilarious. I just want to see that as a tribute tree, but <laughs> he's holding on. Oh, you can jump into enemy territory. I forgot about that. Because it's yeah. past year 75. Just not oh. the Colossus. Yeah, 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 you can. Will we see the trap? There's no way they can beat this. So let's look at the total fleet power. R has 500k. And... Um, Where's Horozgar? Ukuril has 150, so they have Horozgar's fighting somewhere. A Horozgar's just like running around fighting stuff. <laughs> Silas and Ragoons only have 430k, so if they were to fight just 1v1, depending on... Yeah, if they fought Ukukuril by himself, they'd have won. But now, yeah. they're letting our win by fighting Ukukuril too soon. Comrade surely has to capitalize on this. What, what is Comrade doing? He's waiting. Where are his fleets? Where is his backbone, sir? He's got. He's maxed out on allies. I think he's AFK having a smoke. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> he's literally um, just in his home system. Comrade's also never met Ukukuril or Ars being pointed out to me. That's a good point. I mean, maybe Comrade has to fight yeah. Jojo. But Jojo's a bit too strong for him, I think, at the minute. No, they've got a defensive pact. Uh, sorry, a non-aggression pact. Oh. Jojo and Comrade have a non-aggression pack. So this is the alliance here is Jojo Comrade. Together they're going to try and push into the top spot. So we have Jojo Comrade, R and Ukaril and Ragunas and Silas. And there's only 400 points of score between when you take out the relic, only 400 points of proper score between Comrade and Jojo. So Comrade could just out Econ Jojo into second place and that would that would net him like 4 or 500 dollars. Do um Relics not count. To no, relics don't count. Tributaries don't count. None of that crap counts. It's just things you can control. Yeah. Okay. All right, here they come. They're pushing on the aggressive again. Let's follow them into glory. Oh, let's go. Ah. Oh. They're jumping a bit early. Ah's oh, jumping a bit early here. He's not waiting for anyone else. No, they're jumping. <gasps> what? When they caught they... them. They caught oh, one fleet. Oh, almost. No. Did they catch all of them? No, they no, caught they half. No, they, did they get anything? No, I swear they got something, didn't they? No. Wasn't there a... Didn't there an explosion? Didn't I see... No, okay. I thought I saw an explosion. They just missed it. Go on, get out of there. Get out of there, Reg Silas. Quickly. No, they're coming together. Oh. They're going to fight together. They're going to try and stop them from having the range advantage. Oh, now they're retreating. The back and forth here is hilarious. Yeah, I, th they got I thought I saw shots too. Hattori is still... Hattori is now pushing the offensive up north. They're chasing Ragunas and Silas. Oh, no, they're just sitting on it. No, they are going. Are they? Yeah, they're are jumping they in. They're jumping in. They're jumping in. Not they're jumping in. Fighting. They're coming. Here we go. This is the battle of the ages. This yeah. may decide eight and a half thousand dollars of a... Oh, oh they got away. No. Okay, okay, maybe they're going to run through. Let's hope they don't jump at the wrong time. Oh, no, they're going to jump piecemeal. They're not maintaining their... They're going to jump in a piece at a time and die. They're not maintaining oh, their forces. No. Oh, no! No! They kind of went in okay, but I think they came in too piecemeal. They didn't come in know, together. Mike. No, the back It looks like they're back. winning. It looks like they're winning at the moment. Yes, and two more, more fleets just turned up. Oh, they won it. What? That's knocked. That's knocked three or four hundred k off the map for R. R has just R been knocked down a peg. That's four hundred k down just from R. 
Yeah, exactly. He's oh, yeah. He's at 72. That's it. They they actually managed it. Oh, my goodness. Ragoons <laughs> might... Ragoons is going to podium. Ragoons is going to podium. <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't be possible. <laughs> it's not possible. No, it's necessary. But Comrade's going to come in... <laughs> Comrade and Jojo could decide who wins here. Like, if oh, someone's asking... On... Sorry, uh, sorry. Please, uh, please continue. I'll say my thing in a minute. If Comrade and Jojo go in on Ragunas and Silas, it could be really bad. Or they could decide to go for R. Ragunas isn't worth it to them. Ragunas isn't even podium. That's true. They don't know what's happening. Yeah. But are they just? They're not just going to sit there, are they? They might. Comrade might. Comrades doesn't. Comrade don't think it's dishonorable to fight Ragoons while Ragoons is fighting somewhere else. The and honor. in some ways that's some ways that's great, but also sometimes honor can be a weakness. It might cost it's, him top spot, for example. So, someone would do it to him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If someone's going to do it to you, exactly. So there's a question being asked in my chat uh, on Twitch. Douglas OG777 says, someone explain this artillery range versus carrier type thing. Okay. So carriers, when you fight artillery range things versus carriers, carriers come out of the um, carriers is come out of the ship. They then take time to get into range. They fly across the system, get into range, and shoot. On the other hand, artillery fires immediately and boom, the other ships are gone. They don't get a chance to fire back. So while your car fighters are flying across the system, the artillery ships will get one, possibly even two salvos in, destroying the carriers themselves, thus meaning the fighters will not get to replenish and then get taken out. And, you know, it just it doesn't work, unfortunately. Fighters just aren't, they're not up for it. Yeah. They're good against the uh, destroyer, evasion, max evasion sort of deal. Uku's dead. I can't see how Uku can come back from this. No. There we go. Oh. And there's the piece. They just pieced it, did they? Or is Ragoon... Were they in separate pieces? And now Arza get at war with Singularity. Different wars. Entirely on. different wars. Singularity just at that exact moment went to war. And they and just went... They the pieced out. Gets... And Singularity's alone and going to get wiped out. That is such a shame for Singularity. <laughs> oh my goodness me. But Silas and the Ragoons just took the best worlds. From, that's Podium. Ragoons is on the podium. Ragoons is in fifth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, I, uh, uh, give me a huzzah or a hooray in chat for Ragoons. Like, lead, what? Only 1,200 behind fourth. I'm losing my right. words here. It's like, R pieced out happening? with Hattori as well. No, R is, yeah, R just pieced out with Hattori too and gave away a couple of systems. So Hattori didn't end up as a vassal. I lost 400k fleet power, and Ragoons is now podium. <laughs> this is, uh, well, no, he hasn't got man of the match yet. He might get man of the match, or the Montu's man of the match, even. Not, it's that, that's the important award you want, really, in this game. Um, ignore the money. It's the feeling of man of the match that you really need. Um, yeah. R didn't lose his EQ. No, R did not lose his Ecumenopolis. It's still... Where is it? It's upgrading. Yeah, he has the Ecumenopolis. It's currently under siege. No, it's currently it's currently been taken by Singularity. Singularity is trying to retake the Ecumenopolis. That's why R had to had to fight back. Unfortunately for a Singularity, he's not gonna be able to hold it. He will not be able to put enough war exhaustion on R to actually force R out of this war. And therefore, Singularity is just gonna die. <laughs> This is crazy. And yes, who? what is Jojo doing? Jojo has the power to kill anybody on the map. He's got all the alloys, yeah. all he the was... energy, all the naval cap. Jeez. He has 859 pops. It's ridiculous. Silas is still in first place, though. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, Rag sorry, no. R is still in first place. Unfortunately he for Silas, he's killing a load of their stuff. R does have a relic, which takes him within 500... a thousand points of Silas. Without that relic. Oh, what was that? Ukukuril just quit. What? Why? Ukukuril just oh, disconnected. 
Uh, he lost all of his core cool worlds. Look, he's in last place. He has no fleet, 32 pops. And if Singularity dies, that means the end date will be announced. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're down to the, down to the last seven players. Eight and a half thousand dollars on the table in uh, uh, cryptocurrency. About to take out Singularity, but who knows? We've seen just madness. Now Silas is almost the strongest person in the galaxy. Let's see how the galaxy is doing. Yeah, I mean, unless they actually knock R out, R has the Ecumenopolis. Where is it? Future here. Yeah, he's lost it, but it's still making 700 alloys a pop. A 15 alloys output for each of these for each of these drones, good lord. And remember, don't forget, this is a doomsday start, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's not even on um, the. Benissi alloy. says, um, somebody in my Twitch chat says the prize money will be down to two thousand, four thousand in value by the time this is over. <laughs> no, so um, it's it's uh, as far as I know, the the crypto that's been given is USDT. So they're giving a, a dollar amount of crypto, not. A an amount of crypto that is currently worth a dollar amount. If that makes sense. I hope it does. If it doesn't, then go Google stuff. I don't know. Don't show us. We're just common casters doing this. Well, yeah, free. We, exactly. <laughs> Nothing to do. Well, not free. I mean, hopefully, we're generating some revenue from this. Um, yeah, but not otherwise, paid by the tournament. Oh no, gosh, no, no, no. We're just paid by advertising and all those evil other things in the world. And if you click that join button down below, smiley face. Oh, yeah, US, Alfred points out USDT is tied directly to the value of the dollar at the moment. And in theory, well, basically, by the end of the tournament, you'll get it, and then you could just immediately sell it for dollars, and you'd have your dollars. So it shouldn't be a problem. I think, as far as I know, the reason for this is that the one of the organizers is based, Aggressor is based in Russia. And, of course, um, we're not going to talk about it. No, we're not going to go into it. But there's um, some terrible things going on in the world at the moment involving Russia, and there are sanctions against Russia. So... Russians can't exchange currency with other parts of the world. Um, and that's why it's, as far as I know, in uh, cryptocurrency, basically. Because, the yeah. Big Kappa. We're not the talking about the terrible all. things happening. Um, but, but yeah, in essence, th that's the reason it's in a crypto. Yeah. Yeah. Singularity lost his ships to R, so it looks like he's going to be knocked out soon. Oh, he's just going for murdering. So somebody in Twitch said, Benici in Twitch says, very cryptic in air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing this? So, ah, uh, yeah. So basically, they're going to knock Silas, uh, sorry, not Silas, Singularity out now. Once they've knocked Singularity out, um, after that point... R remains in prime position. I don't know. I don't know what. Um, I don't know what Conrad's plan is, but he needs to act soon. Yeah, he needs to do something. You know what? Silas is only seven hundred off becoming first. Is that including the? Uh... Oh wow! Silas has really ready. pushed up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I see that. Six hundred now. 600. Less than six hundred. Five hundred something. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he's he's converting the econ of those worlds, and Ragoons is pushing up too. But unfortunately for him, Comrade's just yeeted ahead up to 17,000. Yeah. And um, up there too. I think he'd take fifth, to be honest. Like, after his start. like. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I. it gets intense, doesn't it? Um, look at all these worlds. Who, who am I looking at now? Com is this Comrade? No. This is... Oh, this is Regalian. This is Ragoons. Ragoons has so many planets. Does he have more planets than some of the others? Comrade's oh, just spamming habitats right now. For the econ. Yeah. Oh, I see that. Yeah. He's pushing that out for the econ, basically, because he knows that he needs to get his econ up, and he's doing that. Also, habitats count as colonies. Colonies count as give you score. Pops and colonies are a good way to boost score. Economic strength is the pretty much the best way, um, and you'll get that by, like, making more alloys, to be, to be quite frank, because alloys are worth so much, but yeah. Is there a reason Ragoon's not building any buildings in the some of the orbital rings let me check that 
Oh yeah, oh, they're just not worth it. A lot of the time, they're not worth it. The build, sorry, buildings or um, buildings or do you mean the, the, uh, the like the the modules? So you mean buildings, no, yeah? Buildings, yeah. No, I don't. There's, there's never a reason not have... to build buildings, except for unless you're like, is it above the research world? There's one above Could... an alloy world. It just doesn't have the alloy building. Oh. Oh, he's got no about... moats. Oh, he's got fifty six. Yeah, I see that. He needs like three hundred. Yeah. Uh, yes, Dolus OG777. When you colonize a world, you're not creating pops out of thin air. You build a transport, which has a pop on, that gets created on the transport. Then when you land the transport on the planet, they come out they and the pop... Ta-da. And then they breed. Yeah, exactly. They, when, when so I guess pop loves it's kind of out of thin air. Yeah, it's not like Civ where you like minus a population from your city to then go sell them. Who has the highest unity output? Right now it looks like it's Jojo with 600. Yeah, Jojo's got the highest unity output with 600, but R is currently spending 700 unity on Edict because he has Desperate Measures active because he was trying to win the war. Oh my goodness, I just kicked my computer. Uh, is he still activated them? Yeah, it's still active. He's just not getting any unity because of it. And he's got an Ascension perk anymore. sat there too. Or is he using it to build up his fleet in there? No, no, it, uh, well, it does give you plus 100% extra um, fleet, but he's not really building any ships. So yeah. I think he's just it's... forgotten about it, to be quite honest. Yeah, but that happens, you gotta... you're so busy. Yeah, there's so much going on at the minute. We're just like watching. So, <laughs> But when you're well, in exactly, this situation yeah. for that much money, Comrade's Traditions, you we can look at Comrade's Traditions. He has Prosperity, Supremacy, then Unyielding to take Never Surrender, then Adaptability. But he hasn't taken Survival of the Fittest, which I'm confused by. I would have gone for that one first. I guess he's gone for the Econ stuff first. Adaptability is really good here. Extra Habitability, Extra Building Slot, uh, Reduced Resettlement can be useful. And then the best thing of all, Survival of the Fittest, when you pair that with Never Surrender, and as well when you pair it with, um, oh, Comrade has an Accumulopolis. Oh, uh, uh, Blorg's Fortress. No, I think he got that from... Uh, I think he got... He, he upgraded the Relic World. The size 25 Relic wow. World. Oh, fantastic. That it's is going to push his econ up. So basically, Comrade... I think Comrade's plan now is not aggressive. It is to econ. Yeah. I think they're hoping that R and Silas get knocked down. It's not going to happen, though. I mean... Well, no, they only need one to die. And then the end game dates get set, and then they just exactly. If Singularity dies, maybe it's in ours interest to just peace out the wall without killing him. But he is winning at the moment. Oh, I just realised. Sorry, I was. Just, I just did a real derp. I'm a bit tired. Um, I was trying to respond to someone in chat, and I typed it out rather than just saying it out loud. <laughs> I literally just did that. Um, so on Twitch, uh, Doulas OG777 says, that seems gamey, uh, the bit about colonies things, but but um, you could just recolonize a planet over and over, essentially generating pops. And my response was, it costs 200 influence to remove the last pop from a planet, so no, you can't, um, basically. Yeah, it's not worth it. I don't have a thread ripper either. I've only got, um, I think I've got 18, uh, 16 cores. I've got the, what was the newest generation in 2021 of um, AMD processors, Ryzen. but I have the, yeah, the Ryzen, it was the, the 5000 Seven. series. No, the 5000 series, or maybe it was 2020 that was the, that was newest gen. I can't remember. Yeah, it was Ryzen. I, I think I've got Ryzen a Ryzen five. 7 or a Ryzen 5, one of those two. It's not the best. Yeah, I got Ryzen 5. 3600 six core process i just looked on my task manager <laughs> if you go to performance under your task manager you can see what cpu is in my oh, graphics sam nickel says i have a ryzen 5 it's a ryzen 5 there we are <laughs> in my graphics cards gtx 1660 super which i got like two years ago for like quite cheap and it just does everything i need to because stars is not a graphics intense Oh, game. get that out of the way. Oh, let me just check. I'll just check my PC. Properties. Oh, get out of the way. Stop doing that. Do we have the same um, processor then? I've got a Ryzen 5 56, uh, 5, oh, 000, uh, 5600 6 core. Obviously, it's 12 with the dual threading, but yeah. Yeah, yours is... 
And then I've got, in terms of my graphics card, it doesn't. I don't see it written here, but I've got the. I've got a, a, a GeForce 3060. I RTX. remember when you used to use GeForce Now on a laptop. Yeah, I did. Yeah, well, that that was back in the days before. Like, uh, I, I had, had enough. More subs than you. Well, yeah, wait, back when you had more subs than me. Yeah, exactly. That was uh, <laughs> back in the good old days. Yeah. Balance was restored. It will be. I'll come for you soon. No, I didn't say GTX 660. I said GTX 3060, not 660. Yeah, the problem, with, as Sam points out, is six-hour timeout on the GeForce Now, so like it kicks you out every six hours. Yeah, and with Solaris, you're probably going to be playing it for longer. How are we doing? Sorry, the game is at this point we're in a bit of a lull because, unfortunately, no one is challenging the overwhelming might of our even though raccoons yep, silas and silas managed to win oh silas is above silas with more above fleets minus the relic. oh wow only just though it's like a hundred in it yeah did comrade ever get the under dragon that was raccoons it yeah raccoons got that. it jojo it. comrade is actually in third place by score jojo has a relic Ooh. comrade is out econ jojo his econ score is above jojo's and he's got more tech weight and then Ragoons is in fifth at the moment. I can't believe Ragoons has come back from this. What a, <laughs> what a redemption story. And basically, there is pretty much no way now of Ragoons losing. Singularity is going to get knocked out unless Hattori pulls something amazing out of the bag. I mean, Hattori is making a good number of alloys. Hattori has a good naval... Ca Actually, what am I talking about? Hattori's fundamentals here are fine. Hattori is doing okay. Hattori could come back from this. Uh... Yeah, actually, oh, I don't know. Ragoons is just min-maxing like his eco so much right now. Is and he spamming ships and everything? Battleships. What's on the battleships? Only tier one protons. That's kind of awkward. At this point in the game, not having neutrons is a bit awkward. Yeah, we're hundred years in. Yeah, we're a hundred years in, and he's a little bit behind. He's had to fully go in to, like, just survive. Uh, yeah. He hasn't even taken the next level of flesh is weak. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Did you get less pop score? Is that not calculated in the victory? You don't... Wait, score from pops? No, you don't get any pop score. Oh, you do get score from pops. Yeah, yeah, okay. You get score from pops. But, like, do robots count less to that? Essentially, no, I don't think so. I don't think it's based on happiness. It's not like the Diplo Very way. There's a galactic community. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Silas R um, and Starship Troopers are all now finally in the galactic community at year 100. <laughs> and the only item up on the agenda is Tianki Pest Control, ladies and gentlemen. Are you pro Tianki Pest Control? Are you against Tianki Pest Control? Let me know immediately because it well, is the one the thing we got to know about. Oh, is that what's on the floor? No, no, no. That's, no. that's already passed the ready shield. Oh, have they? Oh, yes. They, so they passed the ready shield. Apparently, there's not enough defense in the galaxy. And then we need to save the space whales from the evils of Comrade Truck, I can only assume, is yeah. what they mean here. Wait, what? No, the space whales are dead. What? No. Uh, they're, they're dead. Tianki Vec is gone. There's nothing. Somebody has scoured the system clean. <laughs> Who did this? Who did this? R is third now on the uh, observer outliner. I don't care if it's 90,000 energy. It is wrong. Oh, Jojo's catching. Does Jojo have a relic there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Jojo's a relic. Jojo also has 65,000 alloys and isn't spending all of them. He should throw a fleet out. Like, there's no reason yeah. not to. He's 2,000 behind. Uh are at the minute he also done, hasn't done things like upgrade the alloy building on his uh, on one of his alloy worlds to the maximum level um or put down the uh oh, i can't show you the replacement but there is uh, the, the alloy building uh, I can do you think it's you worth here. it no that's too risky to remove some fortresses or strongholds from where just from their planets some planets to build up the eco a bit more to the score. That'll probably happen uh, closer to the end date. Oh, he's yeah. converting... Is that to in Hive Worlds? 
Yeah, he's converting like loads of planets. He's terraforming on Jojo. Our meanwhile is wiping out the last resistance of Singularity. And now he comes. Uh, he's going to jump down onto... Uh, here it is. Jump down onto this Cuminopolis. I'm guessing he's got war forms. No. no. Apparently not. Where's the planet? Show me the planet. No, he's just got battle frames. Oh. No. That's not a war form. Were there enclaves in the game? There were, I think. But um, yeah, they're doing okay. There's like some enclaves all over. Uh, where would the enclaves been? Let me check. There were enclaves. I've seen them. Where are they? Oh, goodness. It's already midnight where I am. That means we've been going now for like five or six hours. We are on, Oof. according to my OBS, five hours and 24 minutes, but we didn't start for a bit. Of the actual game. Brad and Below Ragoon's capital has an enclave. Yes, it did, didn't it? There was something down here. Ah, oh, there it is. Here we go. Here's an enclave. Uh... Wish we can get organic ship designs, especially. Uh, here we are. There's the salvagers. There's the salvagers. Who kind of have this weird artwork where there's like ships half falling in but never actually done anything with. I suppose maybe these are docks or ports or something that these ships are in. Um, yes. Interesting stuff. Very interesting. Jojo's now less than a thousand away from R. Really? Yeah. They both have a relic, so... Don't need to do any quick maths. And that's put Silas firmly in the lead now by a thousand points. Yeah. R is hanging on, though. If he gets these planets... Comrade's fallen up. back a bit here, actually, hasn't he? Jojo's managed to push his economy forwards quite a bit. Dreadnought. We got Dreadnought. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ragoon said it. Ooh. Dragon. Fight. <laughs> We demand blood! Blood for the blood god! Uh, wait, no, no, no. Likes for the like throne! <laughs> That's your opportunity to like both EP3O's video or stream and my own. Please enjoy yourself and click that like button. And if anyone's watching the stream, that's a VOD. Five and a half hours in. Comment right now. Some of my chat says dreadnoughts don't have blood. Uh, yeah. What do you think does. all those nanites are inside? And also, yeah, the dragon does too. Maybe the dragon's just sacrificing itself. Let's look at what the dreadnoughts got then. Neutron launchers, guardian point defense, plasma cannons. No regenerative properties though. That's the thing here. Yeah, why can't? Why does he think they can't take it? I, does I don't have know. Lots of plasmas, to be but fair, it's got but... half the sh half the hull points. Oh, it's got so many. Pl it does have so many plasmas, I suppose. But they're all little. If oh. it can tank the. Surely it can just regenerate. He has babies, but I guess you don't care. Just retreat it. All right, what's going on? But the mods are also a thing like in the game. The mods scripts were better written than playing with them would have less like, like the game less. Yeah, I suppose. You fool YouTubers don't have souls to surrender the dark gods. So surrender the souls of your followers. Oh no, it's a cult now. What use is the cruisers compared to battleships? The cruisers spots. are better against destroyers. Cruisers yeah. are anti-max evasion destroyers, so they actually work really well. In the tic-tac-toe of late game Stellaris, um, max what evasion destroyers beats battleships. Cruises. Oh, uh, you want to go with... Let's see if we can, I can find one. Let me just go to Ragoons. Hello, I'm at Mizzet. So, well, if you're going to go anti-destroyer, yeah, or large, large, medium, medium, and then picket combat computers. Here we go. Her where's Horozgar going? He's got. Where's he? He's going the wrong way round. Wait. Oh, it's an uprising. Never mind. Where? Oh no, it's. Somebody got rebels. The They're killing the starship troops. Just like the AI, final stuff. I just saw Warners. Thought we were gonna have some fun. How is? Uh, not like how is. Sing. Who's at war with Silas? 
Uh, that's the defensive part. Oh, a Starship Troopers just declared war. The AI yeah. with 1.4k fleet power and has just taken a star base. Lol. <laughs> no, sorry, I've just misread that. That was Silas's stuff. Okay, let's go to Ragoons. Where's his? Where's his? Where's his dragon? Oh, he's, he's not going bothered. To kill. Coward. Ooh. Oh, now he's going. He's got. He keeps just changing his mind, doesn't he? Changing his mind. It's the French. <laughs> Wait, he's not going for. He's going to kill the Shardlands first. No. Is R still on belligerent? Let's check that. R is still on belligerent. Must have got knocked out of um, supremacist by the uh, the challenge of for, by the war goal. I assume he got a war. The war goal did that. Um, the the humiliate war goal. I assume that's what happened. Yeah. Didn't actually see it, but. It's just a real rat race for economy right now. Nobody wants to make a big war because. Well, that's the thing. If you you yeah you could lose, and that is hundreds of dollars. Yeah, everyone's playing it safe. Silas is just gone. No. Oh, so the point is being made by Yernsax that the reason R is in belligerent is not not because um not because he uh, got humiliated out of it, but instead he's been at war for the entire game. And thus, he's oh. never had a chance to change to supremacists because <laughs> he didn't finish supremacy at year 30. But since then, I don't think he's ever been at peace, is the point. But doesn't the red... Oh, no, the red's like that because he's at war. Uh... Yeah, it is not at war. So uh, this just... Oh. Silas just declared war on R. Oh. Wait, no. No. Wait. What? Yeah, Silas declared war Defensive. on R. Oh, shit. No, it's the wrong set. I thought for a minute we were missing something. I'm sorry. Let me just check Silas and R thing. So. Yeah, no, they are at war. Oh, yeah, Silas declared war on R directly. Okay. So Where's the fleet? Ragoons isn't in that. No. This is a bit of a mess. If Silas can take out this world here the future that will probably knock R out of podium not out of his top position in the podiums yeah what's we doing we don't want to miss it after i couldn't move my fleet and realized that the <laughs> there was time manager on it and it was paused <laughs> after i started to join the game yeah when you play the game the game is a lot better <laughs> i'm just having it paused uh i think i think also silas is using this opportunity to, uh, oh, there we go. Big fight and doors yet, closed. Yet. Here we go. Oh. Silas has the bigger fleet. R's going to get knocked out. They're both on no retreat as well, aren't they? Yes, yeah. they're both on no retreat. Silas has the better admirals, I believe. Here we go. We're engaging. It's There's the engagements. It's, uh, it's going to cause a little bit of lag. R's lagging a bit. Destroyers, Destroyers versus battleships, battle. isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Cruisers. But those destroyers are not max evasion. They're only sixty percent evasion. They do. They have auxiliary fire controls on them. It's. I actually think the battleships might come out ahead. Yeah, Look at all those dead destroyers. Oh. Ah, uh, it's about even Stevens now. No, I was out. I think. I think no. I'm not sure. It's so close. Oh yes. No, you're right. Yeah. There we go. That it's might just... have actually decided this game. This field of death here decided the game. That was insane. And uh, well done to uh, the winner. Who was the winner again? Silas. Well done to Silas for coming through this with uh, strength and dignity, I suppose. Yeah, Silas is wanting that money. To be fair, he's he's fought his fair share of war wars to get to He's also, fight. thing is though, he's not the aggressor. He's fighting R. Ah. Yeah. Jojo just declared war on Silas and Ragoons. Are we ready to watch? We're ready. Go now. Wait, where is it? The uh, It's in north. We're just... Come on. Come on. we got to go see other things happening. There we go. He set, the, the, he set it. Here we go. Dragon duel, ladies and gentlemen. Dragon <laughs> duel. It's just... Jojo's killing someone as well. 
70k. He said his edicts. Here we go. This is dragon. it. It's the death match. I think the dragon will be okay. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, wow, no. Oh, wow, no. This dragon is getting toasted. 200% oh, yeah. efficient weapons. Maybe it can survive it. Oh, no. Yeah, retreat that. Retreat! <laughs> Don't let him die! No! Yay! He retreated. But yeah, look at that. The Dreadnought was rubbish. But still, Dragon Told lost. Dreams, it couldn't have won. So, who's at war now? Jojo, Jojo has war on, on Silas and Ragoons. Oh! <laughs> What's Comrade doing about all this? Comrade is just. Where driving. are Jojo's fleets? Jojo does have four. Jojo fleets are in Silas's space. Call that shit the dragon. The northern stuff. He's in the prick T systems. Gish. Oh wow, look at him go. Poor enslaved prick T. Once nobly free, now the horse overlords dictate their every whim. <laughs> Thing is, this means nobody's getting knocked out because. If Our Singularity dying. doesn't get knocked out yet. Yeah. Well, the thing, it, 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 but that's okay. Arm might get knocked out. You know, we're only down to seven. They only need to knock out a couple of people. The, the, the other point here is you want to knock out those last position peoples like Singularity or Hattori. Only when you're in first. Exactly. So Silas wants to, not, Silas is only down to 120k fleet. Yeah. Jojo. Jojo is going to stomp him. Yeah. I mean, if I were Jojo at this point, but... Jojo should also declare war on Singularity. Yeah, just so you can swoop in. Silas has just gone to a wormhole. No, that's Regalian. Where has, uh, but he doesn't have the wormhole tech. Does anyone even have wormhole tech in this game? We all just skipping it. No, I don't think anyone's actually bothered with it, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> the wormholes could have presented some real opportunities to these players, and unfortunately, they just haven't bothered with them. Yeah. I mean, they can all jump drive now, so... Probably don't feel it's worth it. Jojo is coming in. This is crazy. Ragoon's also at war with everyone, too. So Comrade's just sitting there. <laughs> Building his eco. He's just not near Jojo or anything, though. Oh. Somebody in my chat has pointed out, um, pointed out something in the rules, and I'm just going to ask. Oh, is that actually a rule? In the rules, it says the game ends at 2310. That is... Which is in it's three close. years. Doesn't it? Does it say that? I'm not entirely sure. Let's... Uh... It said it somewhere, unless it's been deleted. I remember reading that as well. 20, what was it? I'll just control that. 2310. At the end of the game qualifying matches is 2290 for the final 2310. Yeah, okay. At the same time, the organizer can extend the match if, for example, events occur that can completely turn the map of the galaxy. Okay, yeah. So the fighting means the organizer may still continue the game. It's up to organizer whim. Cool, cool, cool. Would be nice if ships didn't cluster up together. I always found that annoying. Yeah, but I don't know. It's probably very intense for them to form out like a proper formation. Especially when you have this many ships going on. Like Jojo has what? So many ships. Jojo has 1,000 nav cap right now. 
uh, a total of 440k of navy. Yeah. Uh, comrade. Edicts on. Is that without edicts as well? Yeah. What happened to Silas? He pretty much came back and then everyone declared war. Well, he declared war on R and then Jojo declared war on him. But he is first. So basically oh, no. what's going on with oh, the yeah, rules yeah, uh, is that if the game would end at 2310. Except in the rules it does say unless, uh, basically unless there's events ongoing which could change the balance of the game. Um, so... Uh, so basically that means that the organizer can decide to continue until those events have played out. So all these wars mean the organizer is going, well, it would end at 20 to 10 because they're all fighting. We'll let the fights run out. Basically, yeah. people need to fight. Because it's really in the balance right now. Silas could drop down to third or fourth, even though he's first right now. Just telling Comrade if he wants to fight, he needs to fight now. Where, how are we doing with the fleet? So Jojo's fleets, where are they? Oh, wow. Yeah, Jojo's fleets are chasing right after yeah. Silas and Ragoons' fleets are together. Are they in a joint war? Yes, they are. This could actually knock Ragoons off the podium, though. It could. Jojo has tasted blood. He is, he's, yeah, he's storming through here. All of these cruises and stuff. Those cruisers are going to work really well against all of these destroyers that they had. No, they've now got battleships. Mainly battleships. Okay. Sil oh, we're going to have... They're coming creep. together. They're coming together. Have they noticed? No, they're just forming up at the edge of the system. Good. Okay. Okay. Here come Jojo's fleets. His clone-descended psychic hive-minded admirals. Yeah, As just... one, they're going to oh, push geez. forwards. Jesus. Here we go. Geez. Fact one has oh he backed out. Did he back out at the last minute? Yeah. Oh. Ragoons has two seventy. Uh, Silas has two hundred. Jojo has about five hundred. Okay, so Jojo yeah, does have more. Nobody has Titans. Oh, here we go. This is the oh. fight. I think Jojo's won it. Jojo has the power. Yeah. The, the he's pushed. He just smashed lie. through that. Yeah. Absolute smash. Whoa. And he's not really even taking any casualties. Look at these losses here. The forces that together took out R from podium position have now been completely and utterly annihilated. He's only one, uh, 2,000 off Silas. He just needs to go murder a few planets. Goodness gracious. Where does that put the scores right now? So Silas is still in first position. Don't forget, Jojo has a relic, right? Yeah, yeah Jojo has a relic. So Silas is still in first position. So if Jojo takes his stuff, Silas is done. R now is all the way down in fourth, though. These wars have really pushed R down. Oh, yeah, R is down my. in fourth. Ragoons might even overtake R. No, actually, Ragoons is too far oh, behind. Geez. The tech the tech level. So tech no, never goes away. You can knock out a player's econ strength, but their tech strength, that's never gone. Silas thinks there's four more months. Matthew no, Silas says four months. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> so four more months. <laughs> no. I says left for a while and just got back and I see R is still in it. Yeah, well, they were winning. Well, yeah, I was winning. Now he's still in it, but he's like only fourth. fourth now. The podium at the moment is Silas 1, Jojo 2, uh, Comrade 3, R fourth, Ragoons out of nowhere basically is in fifth. But yeah, he is followed closely behind there. by Hattori, who's pushing really pushing to overtake Ragoons in school. Yeah. He could do it. I'm not sure. It's Although possible, but it'd be unlikely. Here. I don't think Comrade is. He's just I don't think he needs and... to. He's going to take his money and say, thank you very much. It's you know, yeah. That's a lot of money, isn't it? It's a lot of money to risk losing your position. Isn't yeah. it? But you go for that balls to the wall. <laughs> you go for the balls to the wall. I mean, what is it? At third, one thousand was it or something? Or oh, two? I can't remember what I said. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think he will. It's a lot. That was like a month's rent and like two days of energy prices. All right, Jojo's fleets are pushing through. Ragoons is sixty-five k left. That's probably mainly Horosgar, isn't it? Comrade saying he gave his yeah. word. Oh. oh 
To be fair, he has been honourable. There's money on the line, so more honour is here. Reason why. I Let's see if we can tempt him by pointing out the re to remind him about the money. We just want blood. Also the wall. Come on, Cran comrade, get your wall on. I think he'll chat once. Blood. Oh, they want blood. blood. <laughs> yeah, we both did, and we both put blood in capitals. <laughs> <laughs> we did there. That, we're just in sync, EP3. We're just too in sync. Yeah. Oh, terrible. Right, I, okay, so how's it going? I around you instead of punching you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Estrion. What's Estrion? I don't know who. Estrogen. Estrogen? Wait, is he. Yeah. Who's Estrion? Estrion? What? Is it his planet? Or system? Let's, let's search it. Ah. Oh, is he just spamming habit? Oh, he's got... Well, the, the ships? Uh, it's... Yes, it's a forge world. What What, what about Eastrion? It has ships? I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's unlocking... Oh, he's in Simp uh, Evolution. Oh, is that what's happening? Well, ah, thirty-seven yeah, months. Okay. And then you'll all his ships are fully well. upgraded, ish, ish. How is Silas doing? He's never taken out these pirates. There's been pirates here the entire game. He's even <laughs> built a habitat, and he's just gone. Yeah, I'll leave the pirates alone. They they have rights. Pirates have rights too. They're just trying to get along. You know? It just that's their job. R might overtake Comrade again. I mean, R was ahead of Comrade at one point. Let's see. It's only recent. Um, he is ahead, but Comrade doesn't have a relic, and R does. Twenty-three. So Comrade is ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, twenty-four. No, no. I think R just R just went ahead of Comrade there. Three hundred in it. No, Comrade's ahead now, but only by three hundred. We end in twenty-three, two, five. Oh, that's okay, we're ending in fifteen time. years, apparently. Official end dates given at twenty three twenty five. So, how's Jojo doing? Jojo's pressing even further forwards. I love Shellyak. That's a great Star Trek reference as well. Um, uh, I like that system name, throwing that in there. Anyway, uh, so Jojo has claims on basically none of Silas's stuff. Like a few bits and pieces, but nothing important. He, he has, has the influence. Yeah. yeah, but he's not spending. He should basically snipe the big planets. The, um, the you know, the anything with like a lot of econ, he should be like, yes. Yeah. Comrade's think he's not going to attack Silas Ragoons or Jojo. So he's just going to sit there. So I don't think he can get anywhere. Else. Why? I mean, I guess being honourable and being a man of your world is fantastic. But, like, you know, every now and then, a man of honour has to break the honour. Otherwise, what's the point, I yeah. suppose? Jojo's just rocking the blue moon. The Starship Troopers are beating Ragoons. <laughs> the Starship Troopers are, like, taking all Ragoons' stuff. Um, oh, this is sad. Is that a yawn there, I heard, mister? Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> long weekend. Is it worth it for Jojo even ending the war, someone's saying? And I'm like, I'm not sure it is. I think it's in Jojo's interest to just keep Bombard wrecking planets. Yeah. yeah. Bombard it all. Get Oh, there's an Ecumenopolis. He should take that or at least bombard it into the dirt. Save his claims till he finds all the good planets. Mm -hmm. Claim those. Bombard the rest. Bada boom, bada bing, you won 3,500 grand. Oh, R's, R's just got ahead now. R is getting further and further ahead. R's now, it looks like, in second. Oh, no, R's still in third because of the relic, but as soon as as soon as soon um, Silas gets a bit more bombarded, Silas is going to drop down and R is going to go up in score. Silas is now and in fourth Comrade's behind Ragoon. Oh, no. 
Yeah, Comrade Zone Wolf's overtaken Silas. That would push Ragoon. Oh, Ragoons can't get pushed into. He can't get above fifth, though. I it's can't see. It's top four. And there is still a fight on for fifth place, it looks like, though. Yeah. Go PvE, kill the trend. And this devastation is going to be really hurting <gasps> on the. What? Comrades at war! Who? 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 With R. Oh! That'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the war we wanted. Where's his fleet? He told me to, he said. <laughs> It's moving through uh, Ragoons' territory. That's going to potentially bring him up to second. If Silas keeps... Yep, there we go. Comrade is now third. And if he breaks down R enough... No, wait. He'll get into Comrade's second. second. Comrade second. Yes, he is right now. Comrade is say in second place right at this moment. As <laughs> soon as he crazy. made contact with R, he declared war on R. The first communication R ever got was, You're, we're at war for the fate of the galaxy. Comrade just said, but if you tell me to retreat, I'll go away. <laughs> William wants Comrade to go in right now. Uh, unfortunately, though, Comrade's retreat is his policy. Um, yeah. Don't... Break RP, please. <laughs> yeah, no, no RP breaks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're fighting over scraps at the moment. So um, Ragoons and Hattori are kind of fighting over six hundred dollars worth of scraps. Jojo is looks like to be in an unassailable lead. Defensive pact with Comrade means Comrade cannot knock him out unless has Comrade reneged on that pact. No, Comrade still got the pact. I don't think comrades will go against anyone no. he's made So that means Jojo game. is in an unassailable lead for first place basically at this point. $3,500. Oh, holy lord. Or to be the best. It's a month's salary. That's an entire month's salary. Like, more than. Um, anyway. <laughs> That's a lot more. After taxes. Wait, is this taxed? No, it's... it's, it's <laughs> no, it's... Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's cryptocurrency. What money? It's not real crypto. money. You can't tax my crypto, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Unless the the IRS take a screenshot of it. Damn. No, no IRS screenshots. Don't do it, sir. <laughs> so we do it 12 years still. The game is... <laughs> Dagroth said, on. yes, it's taxed. It's winning category. Um, Yes, it would be taxed if it's reported. <laughs> Who might be... Um, For instance, Ragoons... Do you know his, 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 whatever it is and what countries he's, exactly which country he domiciled in and all of that things? I mean, basically, if no one reports it, it's hard to tax it, is my point here. Yes, you should report your taxes. Don't not do it. But can it really be taxed? Really? William let's let's be realistic. Paid, he paid taxes on his crypto. Rest in peace. I mean, if you don't own, I don't know how it works in other countries, so do not take this as legal advice. <laughs> or or in, financial advice. Yes, <laughs> but in the United Kingdom, where I live and reside, you, if you don't earn over like 11k or 12k, you don't pay taxes. So it depends what you're doing, really. Most no, but that's income tax. As a student. For example, if you're selling crypto, that'd be capital gains. It's very um, different to income tax entirely and has a different cap and all sorts of things. I mean, on top of that, if you, yeah, let's not get into the legal situations of. No money winnings here oh, um, intercepting the AI. oh it's dead already somebody wanted to see jojo's uh stuff they've got an erudite leader aesthetic subspace e-phase subsumed will progenitor hive ether drake triumph still going on studying resonance fl flagellating movement all of that sort of stuff. right how's comrade doing though where are his it's ships oh they're right at the front man. now yeah coming to batter them ours running away as well R's got a few ships kind of scattered, but they, they won't be enough to stop the might. No. R's also currently making 1,000 alloys per month. Um, let's look at the Forge world. Oh, no, that's not the Forge I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the future world. So this future... Oh my goodness, he's got 39 pops on there. Each oh gosh, of these fabricates is making 19 alloys. Comrade Synth Ascended. Let's check out yeah. that then. Ew, he's a robot. Yuck. They Clara Superior. Wait, he got rid of all the traits. No, but that's because you Synth Ascend, you don't get any traits. 
Oh, he has to create the template. Oh, I'm done. Leave me alone. Then you it's, create a template. It's late. It's past my bedtime. Aww. <laughs> What's the war exhaustion between R and Singularity? Very low. Singularity could stay in this for quite a while. I mean, that's the thing. It is kind of all to play for here. Um, yeah. All it takes is, like, Silas or... Um, Silas has no ships anymore. All it takes no? is Silas... Or... Silas has no ships! Oh, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, goodness gracious me. Yeah, that's, that's because Jojo's just ruffle stomped through the space. Yeah, Silas is at war with Jojo, Starship yeah. Troopers... And R. Uh, and Starship Troopers again. <laughs> They're two... What? They're in two separate wars? That's ridiculous. Um, hmm. Yeah, all it takes is a few people to get knocked out from these big wars, and you're still in it. Like, Singularity's just holding on. He is getting invaded. But you know, um, Hattori, 200k naval uh, power. Just sitting oh. there. That's and more than Ragoons. R, could get revenge, take his planets back. He's also next to Jojo. Oof. Jojo only has 400. And Jojo's fleets are at the other end of the galaxy entirely. They're as far away as a fleet could get from his northern borders. <laughs> the issue is going to be that Hive Mind gets oh, minus 25%. Sorry, you one. Silas? Oh. We well, just said GG, Silas. He took back some claims. With her Ragoons took back some claims. Oh, there we go. Only one world. Silas is now... That will allow oh. Silas to shoot to head up, though. Because he only took a single world. Oh, mm. sorry, no, he took the worlds up north. He did take a couple of worlds up north. But not yeah. the important stuff. Huh. Why did he... Oh. Oh, it timed out. Huh. For Jojo oh, or for Silas? For Silas, apparently. Comrade feels bad. <laughs> All chat's fault. <laughs> we forced him. How much money does the second and third place get? Remind me what the numbers are. It was... 3,000 for first. Second gets 2,000 something or other. I don't have them in front of me. Yeah, I don't. It wasn't. It was in the chat before we oh. got into the game, remember? Um, I can't remember. I've gone back. Wait, I'm going through the chat piece by piece. It was in the lobby chat, though, wasn't it? No, 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 no. It was in game. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it was, it was Maybe it wasn't in game. 8.30? No, it was before 9 o'clock, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, our viewers can scrub back through the... The push. total is 8,500, but... Um, yeah, it's distributed. Yeah, it's distributed. 3,500 for first, 600 for last, and then there were some other numbers too. What designs is Jojo using? It was around 2,000, then like 1,500, then 1,000, something like that. I can't remember exactly. And... How are we doing for score, though? Right, we are now 10 years off the end of the game. Ours in... Oh, no. Ragoons... Uh, sorry, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my goodness. Comrade is 400 points off first place. And he doesn't even know it. And he doesn't even know it. He is 400 points away from a difference of getting, like, $1,500 and $3,500. Holy moly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my. Um, Yuen says, "I think what I think what uh, is meant by um, EP throw is that it was in the lobby, the pre-game lobby chat, maybe." Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. So it's not going to be in our game chat. Yeah. Unless that's where you looked and you couldn't find it. Jojo could bomb Singularity for free points. I don't think that gives. Jojo free points. That's not it's how that It's over anyway works. now. Yeah. Well, Comrade's at war with R. And if Comrade knocks R down and takes some of his stuff, it's good. It's good stuff. Ah, yeah. okay. Basically, not just economic strength, but economic strength, tech level, number of systems, number of colonies, number of pops. He's 200 away from Jojo. Comrade is. No, Jojo just went up by another thousand. Oh. Never mind then. Yeah, Jojo just went zoom, zoom. 
He's converting no. the pops over on those worlds. I expect. Yeah, he's got a relic, but no, he's... Comrade doesn't. Yeah, but Comrade's... Uh... Oh, sorry, I was looking at our score. Sorry, uh, our just dropped down. Yeah, it's yeah, sorry, it's 400. Now. Okay. Oh, goodness me. This is so close at the top here. Yeah, Cormac's saying, Psionic Clone Army Hive Mind Admirals look interesting. Yeah, I totally agree. So Jojo at the moment yeah. has some of the most broken nonsense going on. He is a progenitor hive, so he gets passive XP with a hive mind. And he's got, you know, genetic ascension, so he's got, like, good traits like Erudite. <laughs> then he's modded Erudite onto his Admirals. So he's got... Um, they don't end up with Erudite, though. Oh, because of Psionic, you can't have multiple of these. Yeah, they modded that in the patch, unfortunately. I thought Erudite was only for governors. No, no, Erudite gives bonuses to scientists, and it gives bonuses... So look, here's a scientist with Erudite, plus 5% research speed. It also yeah, gives governors plus 5% output, but it doesn't yeah. overlap with Psychic or Cyborg, I'm going to say. Oh, uh, sad. And you got to remember, the um, Jojo has insanely leveled... Uh, admirals because of the shared xp oh yeah so the they're constantly XP. getting ticking xp we've got like level yeah. seven here level like seven clone descendant psychic rate. admirals it's nuts jojo's a piece comrade house comrades ward doing every level gives like three oh he's bombarding he's found it and he's bombarded this world into the dirt even at minus 100 percent output from jobs they're still producing nine alloys per pop <laughs> Even at 0% stability, so that's minus 150% output from alloys, they're still making 9 alloys per pop because of all the massive bonuses you get from being um, a rogue servitor. It's just insane. Rogue servitor at Cuminopolis is like, and this is only with 40 bio trophies, this could be 100. Yeah, Jojo has 1,000 less points because of Relic, but he's currently 2,000 ahead of Comrade. Silas, does Silas have a relic? Yeah, I don't think so. Now. Silas has no relic. R does have a relic. Ragoons does not have a relic. And then Hattori does not have a relic either. So Ragoons is comfortably in fifth at the moment. So this is the score as we see it. Comrade is, uh, sorry, Jojo's in first. Comrade is in second. I put in the Empires as well. Oh, I need see, to be on the thing Empire. Is, R is trying to plead because he's just losing more and more points. <laughs> <laughs> just slipping down the leaderboard. Oh, this is intense. R is now below... 2,000 below Silas. Comrades, yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying I beat you win. twice fair and square? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, 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 this is the salt now. The begging, the pleading, the desperation. It's real money at the end of the day. That's very true. And now... Art has been pushed all the way into fourth. Fourth place. He's 2,000 behind Silas as well. Jojo just has so Three many thousand. pops as well. Yeah, Jojo's running away with it now. Completely running. I believe yeah. in an R suit. He's untouchable. Um, don't think that's happening. Wonder if uh, the Tory will make any plays. If Comrade gives up in this war, he will go down a podium place, probably. And not only that, R will go up a podium place. Comrade could end up in, like, third or fourth place if he stops the fight. Uh, actually, it's like it's not in Comrade's interest at any point around to stop the fight. We're only seven years left. There is a defensive pact between him and, uh, and, and Jojo, so there's no war there. The only thing that could happen is Ragoons could backstab him. Yeah. Or attack him in some way. I don't think it's going to help. No. Where are comrades? Where are Jojo's fleets going? Oh, just going home. Jojo's going home. He's now confident in the win here, ladies and gentlemen. If he docks them, does he get more score because he's not using as many resources? Or huh? is it just raw output? It's raw output. The yeah, economy. no, it's raw output. No, you, you spend expenditure doesn't matter. Yeah. Bots are cringe, I agree. I hate the bots. They, how does the YouTube pick it up? I haven't got any bots. Don't know what you're talking about. Fight before and Comrade wants to do a fight. <laughs> but just fleets. Where's he pieced out? Comrade, no. He's still bombing. Oh, he's trying to make... No way. 
Comrade's war goal is tributary, which means R would On get who? any prize pool. Oh, but he can't. Comrade's not going to win. And Comrade's also pulled his fleets back. Look, uh, he's brought them all the way home. He probably feels bad. R does have 300k now. Oh, that could be a problem. Also, R's going to start climbing back up the leaderboard as this world here starts getting more and more devastation. There's a devastation ticks down. Yeah. Same with Silas, right? Like, that's slowly going up. Yeah. Yeah, Silas's econ is going to be going up as well because his worlds, which were bombarded... No, they've come back mainly, haven't they? Oh, yeah, and they he lost actually. his main alloy world, did he? No. Yeah, he lost his he lost the Cuminopolis, so that was like done. And R is assimilating all the pops here on this Cuminopolis world. Good lord! <laughs> so Comrade could drop loads because he's playing nice. Exactly, Comrade could end up screwing himself out of literally thousands of dollars because he's not prose prosecuted the war here. But if this is a cutthroat, bloody game. You don't fight, night. you don't get the prizes. Joseph's now at 1,500 nav cap. Comrade at 13. Silas here at 300. Silas is pretty much out. Ours at 800. Can't really do anything with it. And Ragoons is on the offensive at the moment. Ragoons is here. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, just jumped in. Literally just now jumped in, oh. and that's Ragoons' fleet gone, <laughs> completely annihilated there. Every ship, every ship, pretty much taken out. Down to 90k. What's left? I don't know where it is, but it's not here. Oh dear. That is um. Ouch! It's a big ouch. Yeah, he's just making loads of hive worlds. That's boosted his economy loads as well. Getting 10% resources from jobs. So what's left? Uh, no, there's one fleet. Ragoons has a single fleet here of 16 battleships. And of course, Herozgar with the battleships. That is it. That is all his forces. Silas basically has nothing as well. So between them, or well, Silas has 100k. Between them, though, they cannot repulse R and his massive alloy output. It's not going to happen. You can just keep rebuilding if you don't finish him. He's at 300k already. And we're almost down to the last five years here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be pretty cemented unless Silas gets knocked out now by R, which could happen. Five years isn't isn't that short a time, but it's also not, not that long a time. So, very... Your comrades just left. Which could be... He thinks he's secure in his victory, um, and I think, I think he, uh, I think he's misunderestimate. To use a Bushism, he's misunderestimating his enemy's potential. Yeah, we got six, well, almost five years. Do I see if I can lose now before I see it? <laughs> Someone's asking how the hive mind can be Sonic. Well, basically, they took. So first off. They have evolutionary mastery, meaning they get access in the species rights to assimilation so they can turn non-hive mind pops into hive mind. Then they got some of these Hiverian pops in their empire, which they turn into hive mind that also happen to be clone descendant, latent psionic, and they've also thrown erudite on them because why the heck not? On top of that, there's the horses. Um, and budding. Yeah. All of these people. The Puzirek, which have actual psionic, not just latent. Oof. It's nutty how much you can do with stacking specific traits. Yeah, that's at least... Tw uh, let's, so if you have... You could put together psionic erudite here. Uh, it's only 25% because it's latent psionic. Really, he should go down and put proper... Uh, remove intelligent and put erudite on this Puzarek species. They have plenty of... Um, no, let me give that back. They've got plenty of uh, points for it. Get rid of Deviance, for example. You could also throw in... Oh, I don't know. You could throw in Robust. Here we go. 5, yeah. 20, 35% extra bonus plus 
That's research speed. But if you've got an, uh, a governor, let's go to one of the systems. A governor with error. Oh, I can't find, can't see systems. It's broken. Ah, oh, here we go. Governor with error gives an extra 5% there as well. Yeah, it's not you. Is R actually doing anything? I think he's killing. Oh, he's jumped on Silas. He just murdered most of Silas's fleet. Whereabouts yeah, is that? Silas Sorry, I didn't catch it. Again. I was grabbing a quick glass of Kuna water. Hide him. Oh, I see. Oh, he's yeah. I mean, R's fleet. going on a full retake, and I assume what his other part of the plan here is that he is going to go and. Um, take Silas to space but I mean to be fair it's a shame R didn't win with his doomsday doomsday start it was just such a fun build to see yeah. um, and to see that kind of play out here it's been lovely Singularity's going around stealing all of his stuff as well okay R is at full war exhaustion on the war with Silas Silas could peace out at any time with R so actually if R so Silas could force status quo and grab stuff but if he does, there's no more war. Yeah. Because that you know, the you know, there's no more game will basically be over for him. If R tribute Silas with Singularity make the podium, he would not, because there's somebody above him. But R would uh Silas would miss out on getting a prize pool because he's a tribute, but the war goal isn't for that, so Silas could also happen. be forced into peace by by uh by R as well. They both have hundred percent war exhaustion and they've got the timeout going. Oh, we I don't know why R's not. I don't know why R's not going for peace. He just wants them. I think he's trying to take Silas's stuff. Okay, no, he's not. He's going back. How is Singularity still alive? Hattori's doing all right as well, actually. Um, it, pushing close, but can't get up to Ragoon's power. Basically, yeah, he needs to go kill. Ragoons, really, if well, he wants to I don't him. think it's he's only got there's only three and a half years left. I don't think it's gonna happen. Ragoons is he's got his stuff on his systems, his home worlds. He's not gonna yeah. be losing anything quickly. He's built up plenty of armies, I'm assuming. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Oh. Well, he's got plenty of alloys. But at the end of the day here though, Ragoons has been a true kind of turnaround uh yeah. underdog comeback story. Ragoon started off failing at year 30 to kill Herozgar the dragon, or Bubbles 2.0, if you will. No, the and... dragon! What? Oh, okay. Yeah, Didn't it's die. fighting in uh, Akom. Akolam? Oh, no. Oh, in, wow, uh... against 25k. I think it... Oh, I, don't I don't think know. can win that. No way. Too many targets. Yeah, it has got too much anti-armor stuff. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. To be, at least Ragoons are oh, there comes another no. 29k. It's the AI killing it as well. No <laughs> retreat. Re oh good, it retreated. Thank goodness. Oof. Almost lost another dragon. And the man of the match. <laughs> I'd estimate patch 3.5 is going to come out in about September, to be honest. Don't know exactly when. That'd be my estimate. Yeah, because they're on holiday. I mean, dev di diaries... No, they're back from holiday. Start. They're back from holiday. And next yeah, week is uh, PDXCon. Yeah. They'll probably reveal a bit there. Is it next week? Yes, next week. I'll be at PDXCon next week on Thursday. And if you'd like to follow along with my PDXCon adventure, follow me on Twitter. I'll post stuff on Twitter. There's a link to Twitter in the uh, description of my Discord on my page. Not Discord, but what's we call it? <laughs> Scared to us. Uh, it's almost 1 a.m. Description. Yeah, it's almost 1 a.m. And we've been going it's for I'm seven hours. You in Denmark. Oh, wait, Is what? Wait. I is don't it? work. What do you mean I don't work? This is my I mean, job. I don't have a proper job. <laughs> what do you mean I don't have a proper job? No, like, What's bank this? Bank holidays don't apply to you, is what I mean. Oh, no, bank holidays don't apply. Like, it's a Sunday, I'm working. It's a, it's a Monday, yeah. I'm working. It's a Friday, I'm working. Every yeah. day, I'm working. king. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, here is Jojo's traditions that people ask. Supremacy, unyielding, subterfuge for that extra tracking and extra uh, evasion as well, I would assume. Wait. Comrade's now 1,000 behind Jojo. It's a shame Uku didn't left the game. His his nation would have been in a position possibly to knock, to knock into fifth. Yeah. If Uku Kuril hadn't have left. Like, that's the thing here. Uku Kuril left and he cost himself possibly 500 or 600 dollars. 
Yeah. If I was him, I would be kicking myself for the rest of the year, going, oh, I should have stayed and played. Defending him. He yeah. Could have gone through and just destroyed loads with R. They were allies the whole time. But yeah, um, back the victory score. Comrades now we've won one thousand of fist. Really? And yeah, Jojo has Jojo has a relic. What's yeah, Comrade doing? Has, what is his? I've, is he? Is he? He's not doing trades. Let's see if Jojo is doing lots of trades. Jojo is selling lots and lots of um, food. Yeah. That's going to be banned, as far as I recall. Like he's going to have to turn off his trades at the end. I'm pretty sure. That's a lot as well. Yeah. Yeah. Why did he leave? He thought that he was dead, but he wasn't. Yeah, and that's really unfortunate things. Like people basically give up. They're like, I give up. Because they lose some stuff and they're like, I can't win, I give up. And my perfect empire is destroyed. And it's like, okay, yeah, but the air actually managed to come back and is now on the offensive and winning. And is yeah, going to retake all of those planets that were lost. The AI's built 100k, 110k. Yeah. And he was allied with R the whole time. It was 360k. I assume everyone has to turn off all their edicts and all of their things like that at the end of the game. We'll see, though. I don't actually know. I think everyone has yeah, to turn I'm off things like capacity sure. subsidies and stuff. Oh, they're trying to form I mean, the Galactic Council in the... Uh, <laughs> are they actually? They've got... Oh, uh, they've got... Just control. Starship Troopers is going, yeah, let's have a Galactic Council. We love it. <laughs> oh, it's the AI putting it all forward. <laughs> oh, Yontax, sorry. Yes, you can share the... Um, please share the link to the Discord. So actually, wait. No, wait, wait a minute. I'll do it. I'll do it. Bear with me. Just do it. Give me a second. Wait, there's private... Da, da, I've got it. Boo, boo, boo. So thank you very much if you stay with me for this long, arduous game. If you want to play multiplayer games on my in my community, we host a game every Saturday um, for all ability levels, pretty much. Click the link in the description. Um, yeah. You'll, uh, not the link in the description, the link right there in chat right now. Enjoy yourself. I don't know what I'm talking about with descriptions. Ain't no description. There's... One year and four months. One year and... Yeah. yeah, I can't see anything else happening now in the grand scheme of things. This Everyone is... Pumping out uh, as much as Yeah, possible. yeah. The war between Silas... Silas is still kind of going on here. Oh, no. Silas and, and R must have made peace. Did they? Mm, uh, yeah. Silas and R made peace. Yeah. Regalian, Singularity, Comrade. Yeah, okay. So Ragoons is still at war though, but nothing happening there. And Ragoons is comfortably in fifth. Yeah, this is going to be settled. Oh no! Oh, Comrade's in first! Comrade, Comrade has sneaked into first, it looks like! Oh, Holy right, so moly! With that 1,000. No. <laughs> Sorry, I waited because you were going. Please go with one year left. One year left, Comrade has snuck into first as Jojo has that relic, which is cost, which is up 1,000. So if you minus that, quick math. There's only 300 Comrade, points in it now, though. 200 even. 200 above. Then Silas is coming in at third. He doesn't have a relic. R is fourth. He was at first for so long. He was, he and he relic, got but it tanked. doesn't make a difference. Jojo basically came and went, no, I'm yeah. taking the first prize. You can have fourth. <laughs> and Ragunas is 3,000 uh, 3, above the Armenican, whatever they're called. <laughs> The peeps. So it doesn't look like we're gonna have much shift except for these top two positions and maybe third and fourth. Yeah, yeah. Battle is between first, second, and third and fourth, and Ragoons looks like he's gonna finish on podium as as fifth. Yeah. It's nice to see a streamer, two streamers actually, finishing up this tournament. Comrade Truck, uh, great streamer. He streams on Twitch. He's also hosted, co hosted the ISL tournament games with me. We've both been co hosts, um, just kind of going over it. A bit like, exactly like EP3 and I today. Understanding. <laughs> well, I was actually meant to host this with Comrade, but he decided he wanted to play for that juicy, juicy dollar. Um, yeah. And uh, it seems like he's won. Yeah, you, you all should go check him out on, well, Comrade on Twitch, Comrade Truck, and then Ragoons on YouTube. Comrade's Ragoons. getting more and more ahead now. He's three or four hundred ahead. And he also hasn't active. Oh, he's activated capacity subsidies. Okay. 
Yeah, but surely JoJo's got that on too. Yeah, no, sorry. Before, though, Comrade didn't have mining subsidies. No, I'm looking at Silas. Ignore me. Yeah, Comrade doesn't have oh. mining subsidies activated. He could Jojo turn on mining activated. subsidies. Jojo ah. has nothing. That's because you have to stop all trades and turn everything off. Yeah, that's why Jojo's dropped. He stopped his trades too. So it Has Comrade stopped his trades? He's buying moats. He hasn't he turned has off capacity subsidies yet. He could fall down. I think he will. Look, there's, on, there's only... There's currently 20 points in it. 21 <laughs> points in it. But he's going to fall down. Month left. This is it. No, this and is the last hit. They have to tough, stop all trades, all edicts. A tough battle between Silas and R, but R does have that relic. Did he turn off edicts? Yeah, he did. So, comrades won by 190 points. Is that? Well, no, 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 no. They're not. They have to end the month. They have to end the month first. Oh. So they're waiting for everyone to turn off all of their edicts, and then they will end the month. And trades. Uh, R has a load of edicts turned on. Between Jojo and uh, comrades. And lots of trades. I don't know why R's edicts are still on. I mean, to be fair, he's not going to be knocked out of... He's not going to He's not gonna overtake anyone above him and he's not going to knock Ragoon out. Yeah, it's just between first and second at the minute. Final, Final results be announced in a day? As in... What? As in... No. What? Oh. Apparently, we don't know who won. Well, I'm going to call it then instead. I'm going to say that um the winner here was gonna is almost certainly given the no, scores I think it's game, is it no is that what they meant uh, a day in game or a day in server <laughs> i don't know <laughs> surely they're waiting for like the next day to tick over yeah i assume so i'm just gonna confirm that because i'm like i assume it's a day in game not we're gonna wait 24 hours um yes a day in server. Oh. I have to check everything. Well, that's... Okay. Yeah, let it tick over so we can get a rough score. If you've rough watched score. this stream entirely to the end, let me know in the comments. Um, congratulations getting through. I think we might be... Um... Silas, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> I think we might be able to call it, though, once we see what happens. Yeah, I think they're going to tick over, but it's unofficial winner. It'll be the unofficial winner, yeah, yeah, exactly. They need to double-check everything, because there yeah. is money at stake. Yeah. Which is yeah, fair enough. Yeah. If we force that to go with R, I jump to six to five. At no, YouTube, the, the edits on YouTube don't work like that. I can't edit in other video. I could just cut things out. That's the only way YouTube editing works. Um, but what I will do is tomorrow I'll put it in a pinned comment on this when I know basically but for now without seeing what's happening I would we don't know exactly who's won first place but third fourth and fifth are set in stone unless there's been a rule break which we don't know about but I'm pretty sure they're set in stone Silas third our fourth Ragoon's fifth first place is either Comrade or Jojo not very much in it very close is yeah. Jojo still assimilating pops it's 80, 80 A couple. Six pops. Seven, eight. Eight pops. Three, He's two, assimilating one. 12 pops. It didn't change. Oh, it, it did. did. It did. It did. Jojo won. Jojo wins. Jojo wins by 200 points in game. That's my current call on it. We're going to see what happens at the end. Fantastic, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. It has been a blast. I'm calling it. I will post exactly what it is in the comments, but hive mind. So the number one player here, ladies and gentlemen, has been apparently hive mind in first place, Progenitor Hive. Second place, Necrophage, Comrade Truck. Third place, Cheaters of the Shroud, uh, Silas PT. Fourth place, Doomsday Rogue Servitor. 
Doomsday Rogue Server to fourth place and fifth place coming back from behind. Here be Dragons Parliamentary System Ragoons. Absolutely MVP. wild. And also, yeah, Montu's Man of the Match Ragoons. Congratulations. Everyone else that's played, it's been fantastic. I didn't organize this tournament. Massive big thank you to Aggressor um, for organizing. Yeah. Go check him out. But it's in the channel, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can check out um, Aggressor's channel. There's a link in the description of this video too. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's been a fantastic blast. I'm going to also post again the link to my community Discord for those of you if you just want it. I'll link my Discord to my stream. If you, uh, if you want to as well, because uh, feel free. We have a game every Saturday. Next one will be next Saturday. I won't be in it. I'll be somewhere else. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for those that have super chatted, those that have become channel members. Thanks to those of you on Twitch. It's been pretty fun. Um, all of you Twitchers too. Um, and if you're watching this later on, thank you very much if you super thanks, if you've done any of those things as well. Do as well, check out the Patreon, whole uh, massive updated set of things there too. Also right now there's some fantastic bundles available on Humble Bundle. Check out the link to that in the description. Um, at the moment there is uh, a Lord of the Rings bundle, a fantasy bundle actually, which includes Shadow of War, uh, Lego, Lego Lord of the Rings, a whole sorts of fantastic fun things actually if you want to go out and grab that. I think it's under 10 euros, which is really quite cheap. Um, Otherwise, that's all the thank yous. Thank you. Big thank you as well to um, the other MVP of this uh, tournament, who's uh, EP3 for joining me. Oh, you're too kind. It was it was good fun. Thank you for having me. We we saw bloodshed, and I liked. <laughs> it was it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, absolutely was a, fantastic. A great night. Thank you, Monty. Shout my chat for joining. We'll see you in videos. Well, I will see you around, EP3. Thank you for joining. Yes. Bye, Bye for now. GG. And if you've got anything else you want to ask, basically, um, Aggressor said Jojo 100% first place, did he? Ah, there's a battle going on somewhere. Do we want to watch this quick little fight? Between Jojo and Comrade. I say quick, how long is it going to take? They're going to fight in Beta Ursa Majoris. Uh oh, EP3 is leaving. Come on, let's get on with it. Get on with it. How's the distribution of prize? Three and a half thousand dollars for first place. I something in the region of two thousand two four hundred, something like that for second. Third was like fifteen hundred or eighteen hundred. Fourth was around eleven hundred, something like that, uh, and fifth was six hundred. I haven't got the numbers in front of me. It's not my tournament. These aren't my prizes. That's what I roughly remember. Yeah. So Jojo had. Let's check out Jojo's admirals. Jojo had these insane. He's a hive mind, but he's still got psionic clone descendant admirals. Uh, for instance, here unyielding psychic clone descendant. Uh, phew. And because he's progenitor, they're all massively high level because they're constantly gaining XP. Um, and we're going to watch this fight now between Comrade and Jojo. Just see whose fleet would have actually beaten whose. I mean, look, Jojo's got 700k compared to Comrade's 500. I'm not... I'm not seeing it as being possible for, for Comrade to win this. How are they going to do this? Because they do have a defense, uh, a non-aggression pact. Well, one of them is guaranteed Hattori, I believe. And then by... Oh, I'm not an attacker. I can't do it. Well, one of them is guaranteed Hattori. So that then means that they can declare war by... Let me just check. Uh, no, maybe, maybe there's no guarantee. One of them will guarantee someone else, then make a war. And that will get around this non-aggression pact. Where are they going to, though? Let's see. Trambodon, it looks like. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. They are both, are they both no retreat as well? We've got no retreat here from Comrade, no retreat from Jojo as well. Jojo does have the better admirals. 
Let's see. Here come Con here's Comrade's forces. Here they go. Where are Jojo's fleets? I think they're meeting up somewhere. If Jojo has no Jugger chat, needs to decide if I can use the Jugger range advantage. Can Conrad allow to use a Jugger range advantage? I think he should be allowed to. Let's, uh, let's, uh, because he's got a lower nav cat. He's got a lower um, fleet power here. Can Conrad Jugger? That is the question. Poll up right now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still with me. Fantastic. Um, we are doing one last little bit. Yeah, the yeah, it's a bit of a chad move there. Uh ninety-four percent say yes, apparently. It's down down to eighty-eight percent now. Only fifty votes. If you want to vote and you have your voice heard. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, well, Jojo has, what, 15, 20%? Yeah, that's probably about right, Yearn Tax. Um, let's see, where are the fleets going? Here we go. Here we go. Any moment now. What? Where's all Jojo's fleets? I swear they were coming. Oh, here they are. Okay, yeah, they're on the way. They're on the way. And we will see them fight in glory. At the edge of this system here. I'm going to end the poll now. Thank you very much for voting on that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all right. Who do you think is going to win? Who will win? Is it going to be Jojo or is it going to be Comrade? Comrade has lower fleet power, but probably is going to have the range advantage. Or is it going to be Jojo? Jojo has more fleet power and the better admirals. Alrighty, here we go. Where, comrades, what a lovely red giant to fight around as well. Isn't that nice? And there's a nice little gas giant here. That's kind of cute. Um, kind of pleasant barren world. Devoid, lifeless. Never seen a bacterium. You know? 78% of my chat say JoJo's going to win. Oof. Here we go. Here we go. Any minute now. Here's, there's Conrad. Don't forget Edicts, ladies and gentlemen, I would assume. Have they both got their Edicts on or not? Some of them have Edicts, some of them don't. Let's make sure they remember them. And let's have a war. Jojo's forces over here. Jojo has lots and lots of cruisers and mainly cruisers actually and some destroyers. Still not max evasion destroy. Well, he's got high evasion though. Plus 80%. What? What? No. Is he How did he get plus 80% there? Oh, psychic and gale speed as well as having Plus 10% there. So that is what? 5, 20, 30, 30. But he's got plus 80%. Ah, also from having offspring, I would imagine. That's still that's very high evasion. Goodness gracious. Let's get ready to rumble! And they are not at war yet. Uh, 
Oh, Comrade's going to get in the system. It's going to be a nice, a fair fight here in the Skeptrum system. The, the, the fate of the galaxy will be decided. Comrades, uh, one corner over here. Over the other end, we've got uh, all of the massed weight of the hive. And for glory and uh, the sake of all sentient life, the non-hive-minded stuff is, uh, is comrade stuff. Uh, the, uh, the necrophage. I don't see how comrade can win. Says someone in chat, yet. Yeah, he's like, he's 20% behind there. Any minute now, any minute now, ladies and gentlemen. Go on, go on, do it, do it. Ragoons are still here. Guarantee Ragoons. Yes, do Ragoons. Yes, fantastic. Let them fight. Here we go. Let's turn the music up. Let's find a good one. I want to play Gather the Fleet. Here we go. I think that's a good one. No, I don't want that. I want Menthos. Menthos. Uh, what can we have? What can we play? What can we play for the fight of the century? Um. Oh, here we go. It's happening. Are they engaged? Not yet. The engagement's going to come any minute. It's racing ahead is those destroyers. And here we go. I think we're going to have the first engage the first shots coming here. There they come. Wow, we're getting some damage on over here on these destroyers. So he's knocked about. Oh, oh my goodness. They're even. Comrades accelerating ahead. No. Comrade might actually pull out of this. All of you people who voted Jojo might want to switch your votes now. And look at the destroyed bits of ship there. My goodness me. It's even. Comrade's pulling behind now. Unfortunately, Jojo's pushed ahead. I think this looks like it's going to be a Jojo win, but the, the margin of error here is tiny. Goodness gracious, only 100k left in it. And there goes the Juggernaut. GG. GG all. Wow. That is, uh, that was some good stuff. Uh... Alrighty. So... There we go. Game's over. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> um, and uh, I will probably see you all next time. Don't forget to join my Discord if you'd like. I'll also put the Discord link, uh, sorry, in Twitch chat. There it is. Sorry, Twitch. Forgot about you a little bit there. Um, if you want to join, feel free. Uh, thank you very much. Don't forget, you can become Patreon channel members. Donate. It, it really helps because, you know, this is now my full-time job. And... Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's been uh, it's been it's been a stressful one so far, but it's uh, it's definitely rewarding, and I'm really kind of enjoying it, no matter how many hours it may be that isn't normal regular working hours. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. It's late for me. I need to go to bed because I've got a video to deliver for you all tomorrow, uh, which some of you have been asking for. I'm I'm, I'm finishing off a uh, part two to my idiot's guide to Stellaris with a um a planetary management video it's gonna be a chunky one as well so if you're if you know the basics but you're unsure about planetary management go and check out that tomorrow when it drops if i manage to finish it which i'm hoping to do if i can get to bed early enough 
It's only one o'clock now. I should be all right. Ah, and then on top of that, I have promised a necrophage video. I will bring that in the coming weeks. Don't worry. Um, also, Ragoons is in the chat now. Uh, good, glad he's here, but you know, he did not bring us the dead dreadnought we wanted. Humph. But fantastic comeback by Ragoons as well. I have to, you know, I have to give him a clap here because he came back from basically going GG I lose to fifth place. That is perseverance, that is dedication, and that wins you Montu's man of the match. Ragoon is Montu's man of the match, is the correct terminology we're going to go with right now. He definitely tried, yeah. Um, but until next time, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Montu. Thank you for watching.